can tell you stories which are brighter than stories which are brighter than Namaste to all the viewers of Healing Our Earth. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I, Amrita Sharma, with a spirit of joy and pride, welcome you all to the 235th episode at Healing Our Earth, where we are going to celebrate the fourth anniversary of this online global channel. And it's not just a celebration but it has been a journey, a journey where so many people have shared their feelings, emotions, thoughts, expertise, and so many other things. And also, we all have envisioned a common future, a future of good and wonderful life. And that is why today's episode is also in line with the World Health Day. And I wish health, wealth, and prosperity with all the family members of Healing Our Earth, to all the audience who are listening to us globally at various partner channels. Before we move on to take wishes from all these participants, let's start with the Gayatri Mantra. Om Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Parinyam Harigo Devasya Dhimahim Tiyo Yuna Prachodaya Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha 
भर्गो देवास्मी धियो यो न भर्गो शांति 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 दिस एपिसोड इज अ स्पेशल एपिसोड बिकॉज it's not just an episode it is also your voice and your presence that will add on the essence to the celebration today's event will reflect the path we have traversed together the bonds that we have built up together the strengths that we have collated together and also the collective efforts of our aspirations to make a healed earth together with this healing our earth a free global online platform that started on the 12th of april 2020 with its first episode with gayatri mantra chanting at the onset of pandemic is now counting 235th episode and has reached out over 186 countries it's been a big journey and big time and therefore to celebrate this i have with me my co-host as a lovely lady and a companion of mine my friend vishali acharya she is a resident beauty expert as well as senior anchor at healing our earth global namaste to you vishali global namaste amrita global namaste everyone the whole healing our earth family and what a wonderful occasion today and the way that you introduced to all of us and the history and how we started just imagine four years just passed like that you know time just flies but today is going to be not just an episode it is going to be a nostalgia it is going to be a revival it is going to be lots and lots of stories and music and this this let's make this episode most most memorable and today we we have all our guest and all the prestigious guest our our supporters our family members the whole world is our family and healing our earth is not just a platform not just a free global online community channel but it actually heals the world people just connect to us and they heal and what a wonderful occasion i just i'm so privileged to be part of this and um my my co-host amrita and i can't wait for this journey yeah and it's a very beautiful day because it's world health day as well and which talks about healthy living and health and health and happiness and healing go hand in hand isn't it vishali so yeah, where is. the health ends healing starts and that's what it is all about and it's it's also a journey to to take the wishes from all our contributors who have been with us who have supported us who have shared their expertise their their experiences and also lived with the time of all the shared memories that we all had so it's time to welcome our first guest from australia who is in australia right now vishali and i'd like to just introduce him he's dr raja gopala dr raja gopala uh, shri krishna is md phd in ayurveda pediatrics with a uh, 30 years of professional experience and more than 20 years of exclusive teaching and research experience he has been a dean at international corporation cell and medical superintendent at aiia uh, hospital at 
New Delhi. And now, presently, he is on Ayurveda chair in Sydney at Australia. And he has been one of our contributors who had shared his expertise about pediatric sciences and Ayurveda. So it's time, Vishali, to take wishes from him. Over to you, Vishali, and then we move to Dr. Raja Gopala. Thank you. Global namaste, Dr. Raja Gopalaji, and what a wonderful um, credentials you have. And we are so lucky and privileged to have you in, on our platform. Raja Gopalaji, we would like to know what are your memories? What are your What is your affinity for healing our earth? Uh, we would like to hear from you, your your thoughts, your memories with us. Go ahead, Raja Gopalaji. Over to you. Thank you. Global Namaste to all of you. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to be with you all. A global platform, a global family. Uh, it, is, it is our Vedic, uh, I mean, Puranic uh, verses that Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. We are all one. One family and uh, we are all with the uh, one one aim of health for all. Uh, today hospital has become a incidental it has become the World Health Day also and uh, World Health Organization and uh, has also given a slogan or a motto that uh, my health is my right. Earlier we were speaking about my health, health is my responsibility. Now it has become my right. Okay. In the global uh, scenario, yes, it is true that it, it, is, it should be our right as well as it should be our responsibility too. And uh, this, I think it is the mission of a global community or two to go ahead with. My association with this community started with uh, nearly just one year ago. And uh, it was uh, uh, Professor Shantala Priyadarshini, who is an Ayurveda Academic Chair at Latvia. She introduced me to this platform. And there was one occasion that I could share my knowledge a bit of it with the, you all in a, in a program. And after that, of course, uh, due to hectic, uh, my engagements and all, I could not associate. And uh, uh, this is a very good opportunity. Fourth uh, anniversary, you are celebrating four years are over. And uh, during the pandemic period, when, when the world was all uh, in, uh, blind about the future, and not knowing what next and what is going to happen. And it was, it was one of this... Uh, efforts that led to hopes to them all. And that is Ayurveda, of course, has given good good hopes to the world also. Not only Ayurveda, but India too. You know very well about it. And uh, this effort is very good. And I congratulate the team. And uh, unfortunately, my time zone and your time zone are not matching. We, to, from today, uh, we are running one hour plus or one hour minus to that. That means it's almost uh, 11 o'clock here. But at your place, it may be... Uh, evening, evening time and in the UK, I mean, UK it will be early evening time uh -huh. if I am right yes. afternoon time right? yes, afternoon. Uh, okay <laughs> because I am not I cannot be able to spare much long time with you because of the night I was here but anyhow my best wishes are with the, the, the team as, as, as well and whenever whenever any help needed from my side yes for the Vasudhaiva uh, Kutungabagam purpose we are all one I am there with you uh, hearty congratulations and good wishes. Thank you, Raja Gopalaji, for your wonderful you. wishes. And uh, yes, we understand the time zone. And, you know, still you are here for us, even during yeah. the awkward time zone. We really appreciate. And from Australia, we are moving right to Oman. Uh, Sai Chitra Narayan Chitraji. And she is a wonderful soul, amazing dancer. And look at her. Chitraji. We would like you to have you and uh, your chanting and your mantras. Yeah. So now we'll have our next guest. And thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rajagopala Shri Krishna. Uh, he's one of the very big experts in Ayurveda pediatrics. And um, so it's really nice to have him, in fact. And we'll be inviting him further for his expert opinions for uh, uh, for his expertise in different, different episodes of ours, Vishali. And Anita, um, we just he, shared her flyer when he first came into Healing Our Earth. So that's why the flyer yes. was there. And now we yes. go to Oman, where our smiling Sai Chitra Narayan is waiting. She's expert in children, but she makes a lot of outreaches in Oman, in Muscat. A global namaste to you and Sai Ram. Sai Ram, global namaste. Global namaste. Global Chitra Narayanji. 
hearty congratulations to healing on earth group because it is said the time to be happy is now the place to be happy is here the way to be happy is to make someone happy and you have a little heaven right here that is what is created by global namaste team so i would like to offer five six gayatri mantras for the well being of the entire universe Oh Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Vakratundaya Dhimahe Tanno Dandi Prachodayat Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahasenaya Dhimahe Tanno Shanmuga Prachodayat Om Tat Purushaya Vidmahe Mahadevaya Dhimahe Tanno Rudra Prachodayat Om Narayanaya Vidmahe Vasudevaya Dhimahe Tanno Vishnu Prachodayat Om Vedat Mahaya Vidmahe Hiranya Garpaya Dhimahe Tanno Brahma Prachodayat Om Katyayanaya Vidmahe Kanya Kumari Dhimahe Tanno Durgi Prachodayat Om Mahadevyaicha Vidmahe Vishnu Patnyaicha Dhimahe Tanno Lakshmi Prachodayat Om Hamsa Hamsaya Vidmahe Parama Hamsaya Dhimahe Tanno Hamsa Prachodayat Om Bhu Mangalam Bhuvana Mangalam Gagana Mangalam Vayu Mangalam Agni Mangalam Jala Mangalam Jaiti Jaiti Jaya Om Jaiti Jaiti Jaya Om Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Om Shanti 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 Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Arihi Om May God bless everyone. What a beautiful divine atmosphere you created, Chitraji. Purushaya Vidmahe and the all divine chanting. We all can feel the presence of divine energy here. And today as we are celebrating fourth anniversary, this is what else could be the, the best start that we had today. Um, so Amrita, what you have to say about the chanting Chitraji just now recited for all of us. Over to you, Amrita. Very spiritual, very pious, and very pure. In fact, full of love that I could feel. And she really prayed for everybody's peace and happiness. And um, yeah, Vishali, we have our founder and director, Neil Kumar. Because of his blessings, this whole family is prospering. And let's have thoughts from him as well. And then move to Bindu and Rena to Israel. Over to you. And Chitraji is not just a wonderful soul. You saw how soothingly she presented her chanting. She is a side follower as well. She does lots of outreaches, not just in uh, Oman. She also goes to India and does a big contribution over there. And Chitraji met Bindu in Mumbai, in India, met 
uh, Rena in Israel. They're all part of the team. At some point, they will be connecting with you because uh, uh, Bindu and Rena are both into yoga as well. So when you are doing some online, they will connect with you. Our Vishali is a healer too as well and a beauty expert. Amrita is an Ayurveda expert and a yoga expert as well. So whole family is one and uh, they will connect you and share you with each other. But stay around because we love your chanting. Stay around and later we want another chanting from you. Uh, thank you very much for being here and thank you for your blessing with a wonderful chant. We are going to come back to you over here. Vaishali, let's go to Rena and Bindu. So one is in Israel, one is in Mumbai, you are in London, Amrita is in Punjab. Isn't it wonderful that because of pandemic we are globally connected? Bindu Vora in Mumbai, global namaste to you and please share your thoughts. Over to you Vaishali and Amrita. Global, Global Namaste. namaste. <laughs> Global Namaste. <laughs> no, that's okay. Bindu. Go ahead? Yes, go ahead? yes. Please, what oh, are your God. affinity with us? And please go ahead. Over to you. And first of all, a virtual hug to all my beauties and all my family, friends, celebrating the fourth birthday Second. together. <laughs> Happy birthday, all of you. <laughs> It's taken with a... all the love, Bindu. Taken with oh all the love. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Lots of love, 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 and love to all the Healing Our Earth family. And we will celebrate this day many more years together. In fact, forever. And this family has to be intact like this. I, I have to go out, but especially I have stayed back. Just to wish my all my family members because I love Amrita, I love Vaishali, and, and thank you, Neil Kumar, for creating such amazing group all over the world. So wish you all a very, very happy birthday and let's create some amazing things together. And uh, this is what I wanted to say that I love you all. <laughs> We love you too, Bindu Bora, and uh, you know your you are princess you are a yoga princess you know your <laughs> your videos and everything it's so inspiring and we love you yeah. and thank you so much for for a wonderful and amazing yeah. wishes yeah please go ahead Bindu. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you chitra ji for amazing chanting it was so soothing like for a five minute also like it was really amazing so thank you for contributing your chanting and uh, thank you so much like <laughs> yes and we will definitely connect so thank you everyone and I have to leave but please excuse me but wish you all a very happy birthday <laughs> thank you Bindu thank, thank you, so you Bindu. much thank you so much we love thank you, you. Now love you all now love from, you now from Mumbai India to Israel we are having our Rena Forrester, amazing soul, beautiful soul, who is a yoga expert and resident panelist. Rena, thank you so much for being here. And what are your thoughts? What are your memories? And what are your wishes for healing our earth? Over to you, Rena. Global Namaste, Vishali, Dr. Amrita, Neil Kumar, the whole Healing Our Earth family, the people I can see and the wide family that's all over the world. It's really such an honor that's hard to put into words to be in this family. And I remember it must have been just around a year ago that Dr. Amrita invited me to join. And it just felt something that was it's hard to describe in words. And I didn't really know what I was being invited to take part in, but it felt like something that was important and Living in a place with unreliable Wi-Fi, I felt like this was something I needed to have reliable Wi-Fi for. And at first, I made an effort to make sure I would always have reliable Wi-Fi. And every time I hopped on the call, I understood another layer and another layer of this community that I had been invited to join. And every time I'm inspired by another little different thing, and it could be today I won't be able to stay for the for so long but even just being here for the short amount of time to be able to hear that beautiful chanting is a gift in and of itself and every time there's just a little 
something, a little piece of inspiration that is a, that and and there's something for everybody here, no matter where you're at in your spiritual journey and your personal journey. There's always something that you can take. And I'm inspired by the true embodiment of light and love and positivity that exists in this community. And it surprises me over and over again from week to week. And I am taking a moment to just feel the gratitude, feel gratitude for that, that it exists in my life, for the invitation to be a part of this community, for all of you that show up every week to make this something that exists in the world. And my wishes for the future are that we get to change the name from healing our earth to healed our earth. <laughs> that might be wishful thinking, but we, <laughs> and um, I just, I love the simplicity of the name healing our earth and may the words continue to spread like, like the fibers in a cloth that connects the whole world to the wisdom that exists in the people who share here so that the people who will be healed will be healed. Wow, that's so nice, in fact. And I think it has contributed you personally as well, Rena, to your journey of life for, for discovering yeah. the peace within you with amidst war times and, and you spread that energy all over. So from one point to another, I think it had been a real healing for you. And I know that as well, which is really great. And um, thank you very much for being with us and always with a smiling face, bringing new things and new facets all over all the times, which is really remarkable. So let's hear from Neil Kumar and move to Nishit. Over to you, Neil Kumar. Thank you. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you, Vaishali. Both of you are doing a sterling job. Amrita, who is our uh, senior anchor and an and a admin head as well, and a producer now. And Vaishali, who started even in a production for the, for the women episodes, which is something we are going to talk about. Why don't we welcome our Nishit Kota, our technical director, and uh, one of the founding team member. He has been there ever since uh, we started these episodes. And shortly, we'll be visiting Bhakti Vedanta Manor, where we've got one of our spiritual leads who regularly contributes from a spiritual point of view. Nishit, later you will be sharing some of your flyers and memories and everything. Just meanwhile, to quickly say hello to you, what are your thoughts on our hosts and producers and how do you think we will be evolved as part one? Because you are coming several times and telling us each year what we did. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so thank, thank you, you so, much so much for, uh, you know, inviting me on to today's show. Uh, the thing is, we've been around for four years now. What a wonderful milestone to celebrate. And uh, I know we started way back in the days of the pandemic, where things were not looking so rosy. And so this was a, a wonderful place for people to come together uh, enjoy and be positive and learn things about that COVID-19 period. And uh, it was such a joy to get involved with uh, Healing of Earth. Uh, I think when we started, this Zoom streaming technology was still quite new to all of us, but we've soon become experts at it. And, and um, the front of the show, the people who run the show are the hosts. And of course, we've had a whole number of wonderful, wonderful amazing, amazing hosts, hosts who are the face, the face of healing, healing of earth. earth so we've got simran ahuja Nishit. we've got uh yes Nishit, we're getting an echo because there is two instruments with the sound uh, if you just put one off please and and, and what a beautiful uh summary that is. great is that here. better now okay, carry on keep on talking please what one, one moment sorry yeah. I just need to... Okay, what we do, this let's, let's, one visit, one. let's visit, let's visit to Bhakti Vedanta Menor at the moment. Nishit, we'll come back, we'll come back to you. We're having a feedback at you because there are two instruments over there. Um, if you could mute yourself, Nishit, whichever you are on. Uh, Nishit, can you mute yourself? Okay, 
So that's better now. So we'll go back to Nishit over there. Um, let's go to our wonderful spiritual contributor. And Bajali, of course, you are also lucky that you are now um, quite familiar with this personality. So please go ahead and welcome. And let's have a mini session with the spiritual soul because she can bring so much light to us and heal us gradually. Global Namaste, Vishaka Devi Dasi. Global it's Namaste. One, it is wonderful to have you here. You've been supporting us regularly. And of course, it's going to be part of our patron team. We shall go ahead and chit chat. And I'll also bring Lalit uh, in a moment. Global Namaste, Vishaka Ji. Hare Krishna. And what a, what a beautiful occasion today. And we are so privileged and we are so blessed to have you today at this auspicious occasion that we are celebrating fourth anniversary of Healing Our Earth, Vishakha Ji. And uh, I have, I'm so lucky that I have had uh, quite interaction with you during Janmashtami festival and during Trafal Diwali on Trafalgar Square. And what a, what a pleasure to be with you. And uh, we would like to have your blessings, Vishakha Ji. We are so lucky that just to be here with you it gives us calmness and oneness. We are already feeling the oneness right now. It's an energy. And we want you to just, you know, give us blessings through your meditation. And, and please go ahead, Vishakaji, over to you. Thank you so much for inviting me to join you. I feel very honored and privileged to have your company and to be with you online in this way. And happy birthday to Healing Our Earth. It's a milestone, four years old. You're uh, emerging as a force together as a team to do good in the world. So that's really glorious and and to be commended by all of us. And I was I was thinking that <clears throat> to heal our earth must begin with healing our own hearts. That perhaps the world today is in the state that it is because collectively our hearts are injured. And so it behooves each and every one of us, including certainly myself, that we want to heal our injured hearts because actually the heart is the residence of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the super soul, <clears throat> Paramatma. He lives in the heart with us and therefore it should be a pristine place, a wholesome place. But unfortunately in our world today, we tend to allow greed to enter, lust to enter, anger to enter, envy to enter. And this means that our hearts need to be healed. And if we can heal our hearts collectively, even a little bit, I think we will also be healing our earth. Our earth will reflect the state of our hearts. So if our hearts are um, full of wasteful things, full of unnecessary things, if we're distracted, because we are after material acquisitions, which ultimately will not satisfy us, then the earth will go on as it is. So there are many spiritual paths to try to heal the heart and in turn heal the earth. In our Hare Krishna movement, we especially use Bhagavad Gita to do that very thing, to heal our hearts. And through the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, we can understand Krishna says, always think of me, always think of God. And just by doing that, by trying to think of God, by trying to understand our lives are temporary, this life is going to end, but the soul is eternal. The soul will have another body. And how we act in this life will influence our next life. We tend to hear this and think, well, you know, that's for another time. Maybe when I'm old, I'll, I'll consider my spiritual life. But in fact, we don't know when we're going to leave this body, when the soul is going to separate from the body. And that is a very important time because where we go in our next life is beyond our control in one sense. But we can, through the teachings of bona fide scriptures, actually come to grips with our actual identity as spiritual beings and actually make progress in spiritual life, which will heal our hearts and in turn heal our planet Earth. 
So those are a few thoughts that, that entered my mind on this very auspicious occasion I wanted to share with you. If you have any reflections on that or any contributions, comments? Vishakaji, first of all, I would like to say that healing our hearts, healing our earth, what a beautiful line, what a beautiful thought. And I would like to also introduce my, my co-host, our senior anchor, Amrita, and she has an affinity with Hare Krishna and Iskon. Amrita, say hello to uh, Vishakhaji. And what are your comments on this beautiful um, uh, quotes and what uh, Vishakhaji shared with us? Over to you, Amrita. Thank you, Vishakhaji. Global Namaste, Vishakhaji. Um, Jai Shri Krishna. Um, I was really touched with your line that heart is a resonance of Paramatma which is so, so important. And, and I will always remember that because from the heart, there's a connection to another world where we should look much more than we look to the outer world. And that's where the attachments will cut through and the real attachment towards the Paramatma will build up for our journey on the real life. So you made me realize but I keep knocking the doors of my heart and make it realize where it has to be. So very wonderful. And I look forward also to see you again and meet you personally and feel you with that energy that can resonate and help me to move forward and help healing people world over. Mm -hmm. So under that shadow of embrace, thank you so much for your wonderful and kind words. Please come to Bhaktivedanta Manor. You're more than welcome. We have a beautiful Thank you temple. so much. Of course, Vishakhaji, of course, Amrita, and the way that Vishakhaji shared that, you know, whatever we are doing in this life from the Bhagavad Gita, it's a reflection of our past karmas, but also it determines our next life. And to attain the higher self, to higher goal, what a beautifully narrated and we are so blessed. And uh, on, on Namrita, on the, after this, listening to this, I would like to also, you know, have a comment of from our founder Nil Kumar. Nil Kumar, what you, uh, what you felt after the wonderful thoughts from Vishakhaji? Over to you, Nil Kumar. Very soothing and thought provoking as always, Vishakhaji is. But we're not gonna let her go yet because we want five tips in this turbulent time how we can sustain in life. But just before that, let's bring in our senior anchor and official reporter at Healing Our Earth, who is also part of ISKCON at the Janmasmi because he volunteers there as a, in, a, in a good role. Global Namaste, Dr. Lalit Soda, and say hello to Vishakaji, who you know quite well. Hey, Global Namaste. Hare Krishna, Vishakamataji. Lovely to see you online. Um, first of all, Healing Our Earth marks uh, four years on this day. And this day also happens to be the World Health Day. What an outstanding day. Um, Healing Our Earth had a mission at its inception to spread positivity, to, to, to spread love, to spread kindness globally. On a very health-oriented day, a World Health Day, we celebrate four years to do that. Reflecting back to Vishakamataji's content, my goodness. You know, during COVID, COVID gave us a time to connect with Krishna. A lot of time was given to connect with Krishna. And there were many, many ways that the ISKCON, the Bhaktivedanta manner, the Brahma Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya, that is where ISKCON is, was spreading so much knowledge to connect with Krishna, to spend time with Krishna. The soul and the super soul are residing within us. That gave us time to connect. And I think through the, the chanting, through the online classes, through interaction globally with highly educated people in Krishna consciousness made this very possible. So a huge contribution was made uh, for us to connect with our soul. Um, and I thought that was the highlight of the COVID time, though it came up with a lot of devastation. But as they say, in every adversity, 
there is an opportunity. And I believe this was an opportunity given to us to connect with Krishna. And with Vishakha Mataji's comments, healing our heart, healing our earth, my goodness, what an outstanding comment. Vishakha Mataji and all the listeners today, a massive Hare Krishna to you all. And I'll, I'll continue with my little talk, but I'm, I'm thrilled to be on Healing of Earth today. Thank you very much. A global namaste. Thank you, Dr. Lalit Soda. How wonderful. Vishakhaji, but just before we let you go, we need some guidance from you for all the people on the earth in this war-torn, turbulent time where lots of elections are taking place. We are not sure how some of the countries will fare. What are the five tips that you can give to people that can simply embrace and maybe find peace of mind and happiness? Hmm. Thank you. That is a beautiful question, Neil Kumar Prabhu. Beautiful question. I would say the first and foremost is to hear. Hear from bona fide scriptures. Hear from self-realized souls about our actual identity about who is God, about our relationship with God. So hearing is first and foremost. We have, by the grace of God, by the grace of Krishna, we have a human intelligence. So we shouldn't squander that intelligence on, on mundane things. It's meant for something much higher. It's meant to be given to God. It's meant to understand our spiritual essence as an atma, a jiva. We have an eternal loving relationship with God and we're meant to strengthen that relationship, to understand it and to strengthen that. So the beginning, the number one is to hear. Hear from Bhagavad Gita, hear from Srimad Bhagavatam, hear from his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, hear from all sincere, genuine spiritualists. And that will set us on a path that will protect us from this very difficult planet, a difficult situation in the world today. And then after we hear, it's not just enough to be armchair speculators, armchair philosophers. We want to apply what we hear. We want to make it a daily part of our lives. So part of that is to chant. It's recommended to chant the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Or you could chant any bona fide names of God. This will help to settle the mind, to clarify the mind, to give peace to the heart, to help heal our planet. So that's hearing and chanting. And then we try to remember. We remember our actual identity. That makes an enormous difference. If we talk about trying to overcome greed, so many of the problems we have in the world today is because of greed. That people are destroying the rainforests, creating so much trash, you know, from things they get and then they throw away. So, so many things we have that we don't need. So if we find satisfaction through this hearing and chanting, we can reduce all this excess, all this waste. So hearing, and then chanting, and then remembering, and applying to our lives, make it a daily practice. It's called sadhana, a daily spiritual practice. When we sit before the Lord, we absorb ourselves in this, the scriptures, we absorb ourselves in the practice of chanting. We have strictly vegetarian diet, and even more than vegetarian diet, we take our vegetables and fruits and grains and milk, the nice preparations that we make, and we offer them to God. We haven't created any of these things. These things are coming from God. So out of gratitude, out of recognition for his kindness to us, we offer our vegetarian meals to him before we eat. And then we have prasadam. We have Krishna's mercy, God's mercy. And we can advance simply by this simple practice. So there's hearing, there's chanting, there's remembering, there's offering our food, and then finally, and not to be uh, overlooked at all, is trying to associate with other people that are interested in the same process, the same spiritual orientation. And th this will help us enormously, because if we're 
trying to do all these things, but we're interacting with people who have no interest, who simply want more and more and more, and who are so dissatisfied and distracted. It'll be very challenging. It's like swimming upstream when there's a strong current going against you. So the last one will be Sangha, good association. And this will help us heal ourselves and heal our earth. Thank you so much for your time. How beautiful. I love the conclusion. Heal ourselves and heal the earth. And that's what healing our earth is about. Uh, Alexandra in Croatia, what did you think of the simple tips that Vishakaji shared with us? Thank you so much. Global Namaste from Croatia. It's very sunny and warm here. As you can see, this is uh, nature. I'm always giving you my my back, my, my garden behind me as a nature is healing for me. And this is one of the one of the we can heal each other. We can heal earth. Earth can heal us. It's this uh, language of reciprocity. It's I think what we are doing in this wonderful community healing our earth since pandemic, how the suffering, all human suffering, I mean, it's not the same, all suffering is not the same, but human suffering is really worthy of our engagement. As we just heard, we need to engage in a positive manner with each other, with ourselves, with the spiritual, emotional aspects. And also what we have done for the last four, four years, we have try to alleviate that suffering. We were offering so many tips regarding health, regarding cuisine. We had like from Kenya, beautiful uh, vegetarian uh, workshops and like just understanding that, treating each other and ourselves with care. I think this is this is so wonderful. It's a, it's a beautiful experience just to share it, to have that community that supports each other and then also everyone else around the world. Thank you, Alexandra. We'll come back to you because we want more from you. You are in Croatia. You're part of our top admin team in the 22nd century global women that is in setting. Uh, Sai Chitra Narayan, what, what did you pick from what Vishakaji delivered to us? Global Namaste to everybody. I could just think about one thing. As Vishaka Ji was uh, talking about uh, Paramatma and Jivatma, I was just reading four lines. Where is God? God sleeps in a stone, wakes up in a plant, moves in an animal, and thinks in a man. That's why it is said, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana. Each and every one is God. We are all human beings, but how many of us have understood what being human is? This is what I draw from our sister Vishaka. A beautiful. Uh, thank you for your contribution from Oman. And maybe, Vaishali, maybe it's time to to chant the Maha Mantra or uh, something that you know, Vishali, it will be very appropriate because Vishakaji has delivered such a wonderful thing. And maybe Vishakaji, with your permission, if it's okay, Vishali, if you could do that, it will be very nice. Um, of course, and uh, Vishakaji, um, whatever you shared with us, treasure, treasure of wisdom, spiritual gems that you shared with all of us, uh, and sadhana, I, the one, if I have to mention just one thing, sadhana, it is so important to, to become a sadhak because be, bhakta, bhakta, devotee is a first step. But after bhakta, you want to become one with the deity. And that's where the sadhana comes in the picture. When you start sadhana, you start becoming one with your deity, with your, with your Bhagwan. So thank you so much for sharing with us and uh, with your permission, um, just one bhajan which is very, very close to my heart. Um, uh, I would like to recite just two lines of that Krishna bhajan with your permission, Vishakhaji. <clears throat> Achyutam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayana 
जाने की वल्लभम अच्युतम केशवम कृष्ण दामोदरम राम नारायण जान की वल्लभम कौन कहते हैं भगवान आते नहीं तुम मीरा के जैसे बुलाते नहीं कौन कहते हैं भगवान खाते नहीं बेर शबरी के जैसे हिलाते नहीं अच्युतम केशवम कृष्ण दामोदर राम नारायण जान की वल्लभ हरे कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्णा जय श्री कृष्ण so beautiful well vishakha ji is so wonderful to to have you here as usual and we have got other people want to ask questions as well and uh, maybe if you are okay for a couple of minutes uh, let's go to our kenya team uh, we've got our senior producer seema batia will be here but one of the new members caroline has joined because she is part of the women's uh, global group who actually is 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 quite prominent there in Nairobi in Kenya mm -hmm. and she also takes part in some of the outreaches and recently she was at the Brahma Kumari event Caroline Jambo Abariyako I'm sorry sana very good and how are you and how did you feel when Vishaka ji gave us the tips and ended that heal yourself and heal the earth what did you feel there I felt so much inspired spiritually and uh, just to echo what she said in point number five, she mentioned about um, association with other people interested in spiritual uh, activities. So personally, I found myself associating with various folks from the Hindu community, particularly with um, the Sai Sadia Center and also with the Hindu Council of Kenya, where mostly I'm involved in um, service, whereby we feed street children in Nairobi through Sai Sadia Center, we normally uh, feed at most 2,000 children and also the vulnerable communities and also the women at risk. So they normally send me to the community, to the slums, to, to take the food to the women. That is through Sai Sadia Center and also through the Hindu Council chair lady. She's called Sujatha. So I normally work with her very closely. So what she has said, uh, the aspects of association is very key to me and that's why I'm here. And I feel, uh, I really appreciate being in this team for healing the earth. Uh, global Namaste. Wow, thank you very much. And uh, your your involvement in, in the Hindu council and uh, Hindu temples and Hindu organization is so valuable. We'll bring Vishaka ji here. Vishaka ji, we'd like to actually introduce our 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 one of the senior episode producer here at Healing Our Earth. And she's a kitchen episode producer. And she went to an ISKCON temple very recently at, in Nairobi. And maybe she can tell us. So say, Seema, say hello to Vishaka ji there. And what was your experience at the ISKCON temple in Nairobi? Very warm global namaste to everybody. A very warm global namaste to you, Vishaka ji. Yeah, I'm currently visiting my home country, Nairobi, Kenya. We're very blessed to be here. And one of my must-dos when I'm in the country is go to the Iskon Temple here in Nairobi. I, I grew up visiting the temple very often. And um, it's, it's a beautiful place. And um, the energy is very vibrant. And it brought back such warm memories of my childhood, visiting the temple on weekends with my parents and going for the satsangs that they used to host over there many, many years ago. I haven't had the opportunity to go for any of the kids and satsangs yet, but I'm sure I'll make it a point to do so. And it's wonderful to meet you on this platform. Jai Shri Krishna. Jai Shri Krishna. Just coincidentally, my husband is now in the Nairobi temple. He'll be giving he's in Nairobi right now? Yeah, he's in the Nairobi temple. He'll be giving a presentation for the Sunday feast today. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I wish I knew that earlier. I would have I would have definitely made it a point to pop in. But that's that's very lovely. And does he come into Nairobi very often? 
No, it's his first time. He really enjoys, he's really appreciating the beautiful temple and the very ardent we devotion. Have a beautiful temple here. Sima, Sima, Vaishali will connect you to Vishalaji, Vishakaji, and Thank then you. he'll connect you down there. And why don't you and our Kenya team, including Caroline, Azmina, Minab, and everybody, pop into ISKCON and, and let's get the blessing from them and share your thoughts and moments that you've enjoyed with ISKCON. We can do that, certainly. That's a wonderful idea. I'm, I'm connecting with Carol week after next, and we probably have a good two, three hours together. So we could probably, I could probably drive you down there, Carol. Well, I don't drive in Nairobi anymore because it's expanded so fast that we could probably hop into the car and go together. That would be wonderful. Don't worry. Hello. Carolyn is local. She's influential. She will take you around. She knows the route all the way in Nairobi, okay? Uh, you know, so. I'm still not so bad. I still know my way around a little bit. I have okay. to confess. Thank you, Seema. Stay around. Shortly, we'll be coming to Vishakaji. On behalf of everybody at Healing Our Earth, a global namaste to you. Hare Krishna. And we are so <laughs> proud of your contribution and right being the president you have led it right from the top and you share your knowledge equally with each of your team so we are very proud of you and a global namaste to you namaste thank you so much and happy birthday to healing our earth and thank you and i loved it when you said heal yourself and heal the earth thank you very Hare much Hare krishna Hare krishna isn't it wonderful I love when she finished with that. And Nishit, keep the Hill, Hill, Hill Earth song ready. We'll come back after Lord Ranger comes over here. But let's bring our uh, Vaidya Rajan Patankar, who is there, and he's our senior uh, panelist, and he's there in almost every episode. Um, Amrita, maybe you can introduce him, and then we want to chit chat with Hiral in Mumbai. Then we got Bina here as well, and we got Lata. We got so many people to go through. So Rajanji, global namaste, and how are you? I'm fine, uh, doing well. Uh, global namaste to everyone. First of all, congratulations to Mr. Neil Ji and Mr. Uh, Nitish Ji for completing four years. It's really a tough job. Because I am working for one of our uh, association here in Maharashtra for last 27 years. But it's only limited for Maharashtra and Gujarat. Now we are uh, expanding our uh, branches all over India. But you both of us are doing a great job to connect people from different type of uh, communities. Or I should say from different uh, parts of uh, world and to connect them and to bind them it's a really difficult job and first of all hats off to you still uh, your contribution uh, is very excellent and i should say uh, you should go for many many years i should say 100 years and on behalf of our uh, hindu new year that is from gudi padwa Wishing you all a happy and healthy life. And for healthy and happiness, we must start from ourselves. And then it should be percolate to the society. That's my opinion. And once again, happy and healthy global namaste to all the panelists and all the participants. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rajanji, Rajanji you mentioned 100 years. Well, Caroline and Seema will tell you that the women project are already planning two centuries. So the current century, which is 21st, and the 22nd century. So we've already planned for up to 176 years. Obviously, all the people alive today may not be there uh, at that time, but it's wonderful. So stay around. We're going to come back to you. We're going to talk about the, the women uh, uh, 22nd century uh, formation that is taking place. Let's go and invite Lata and Bina here as well. They will have a quick hello. Bina, global namaste. You are a reason joining at Healing Our Earth. And since then, you've been following and you love it. How are you? And what was the experience when you joined Healing Our Earth? Did you feel healed and did you feel loved? Over to you, Bina. Thank you. Global namaste to everyone. 
Uh, yes, it was a great feeling. I, I joined a few weeks ago and I can feel so much love. Uh, I met so many lovely people. Uh, so thank you so much and uh, happy birthday to Healing of Our Heart. So, <laughs> so Bina, stay you. around. We want to know a bit of your experience a bit later. We'll go after three o'clock, after a couple of other guests as well. And what we'll yeah. do, Nishit, if you've got the Heal the Heal the Earth song ready, let's tell people how we started and why we created that song. Because in pandemic time, everybody was lost. They didn't know how to communicate and there was a fear of COVID. Of course, we, we were one of the first ones to start the first Saturday of the COVID global pandemic. If you got the song ready, let's play um, the song uh, and then we'll go to more guests. Sorry to disturb. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got a little song If whenever if we have time. If we don't... Yes, yes, stay around. Myself. Stay around. We want it. Just stay around about a few minutes and we want it, please. Because that's Thank the whole beauty of it. Let's listen to this. Stories which are brighter than, yesterday. brighter than yesterday. The streets have never been so quiet. The squirrels found a new hideaway. hideaway. Tomorrow will never be the same. There is so much hope in our hearts. Brick by brick, we shall overcome and walk right into a new star. Welcome to the brand new world. In the children of our Reach out your hands, let us leave our lives together. Welcome to the brand new world, we the children of our mother earth. Reach out your hands, let us leave our lives together. Flying strong and fearless, green is greener in shrubs and trees. The skies have never been so clear, air is purer for us to breathe. Tomorrow will never be the same, there's not much for us to proclaim. Now that we have learned so well, nature can renew itself and sustain. Welcome to the brand new world. In the children of our mother earth, reach out your hands, let us leave our earth together. Welcome to the brand new world, in the children of our mother earth, reach out your hands, let us leave our earth together. Isn't it beautiful? And as Carolyn says, it's soothing and beautiful. And this song was actually created within 14 days of pandemic being announced. 
and you will be surprised that the male and the female voice is the same singer. Sairam Iyer, a very famous singer in, in India, and the female voice and the male voice was sung by the same person. And the background children were from four continents. We had them. It was difficult to merge all this together and mix. But hey, we did it. And this song is now appreciated at so many places. Here, here are three of the girls from India who were part of the uh, background chanting as well. Then we had Australia, we had Africa, and one girl from America. Children of our Mother Earth, reach out our hands, let us heal our earth together. Welcome to the brand new world. We are the children of our Mother Earth, reach out our hands, let us heal our earth together. And you can see how techno technologically advanced our technical director is. Live while I'm talking, he brought the memory. He was there because he was present. So like I said, it was difficult. And then the Australian girls had to, at a different time they were, they had to merge with Indian girls. Sairam had to take them to the studio. Santos Nair was the producer over there. And basically I just gave them a few lines of the lyrics. They created the whole song and it was so beautiful. So that's how Healing Our Earth came about and so wonderful over there. And shortly, we'll be going to more guests. Lata, you have been there for a long time as well, and Bina is here. Lata, your 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 quick message of how Healing Our Earth has helped you or what you feel about Healing Our Earth. Um, Global Namaste, everyone. We finally got here four years. <laughs> and uh, when I joined Healing Our Earth sessions, it was just um, about three years ago. I can't believe three years have flown by so quickly and I've learned so much. I've connected to wonderful people and it's brought so many different flavors and tastes and oh, the wonderful things, you know, into my life. And so I promote it all the time uh, to every person who I meet and I think Last year, I'd like to say what a blessing Healing Our Earth has been through my journey of 2023. It's been there through one of my most challenging um, situations last year or through my life. <laughs> um, but we're here now and um, we're expecting another exciting year to begin. And it has been um, wonderful how Healing Our Earth is connecting to people in some 26 lands with some amazing souls in it um, around the globe and um, uh, in a healthy lifestyle which is priority and to have a happier life. But we all are already working on another exciting new feature for the upcoming year one of them is the Ayurveda Mela, and the uh, other is to promote women empowerment community. So we're looking forward to starting another exciting year and can't wait to share it with all of you globally. Uh, happy new fifth year launch to us all celebrating the four years of success. Thank you, Lata. Let's go to one guest. Maybe she has got a message prepared, uh, Urmila Sharma Valan. If you can unmute yourself and what have you got a message for healing our earth for us? Go ahead. If you unmute yourself, please unmute yourself. Thank you. Yeah, I've done it. Thank you. Good, good afternoon. Global Namaskar to everyone. I, I would like to recite something if that's allowed. Please go ahead. Okay. Um, just give me a second. It's it's just this is I'm a newbie here and I didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know what to do, so I thought I'll prepare something or I've got something <laughs> which I have managed to share with um, Bina 
Bina's Leicester Musical Memory Box, Git Sangeet Group. So let's see. OK, I'm not a singer. I pretend to be one. Uh, but the English part that I'm going to be saying is not the translation. Please don't quote me on that. Uh, it's just to link one verse with the other. OK. Samudra Vasane Devi Parvata Stana Mandale Vishnu Patni Namastubyam Padasparsham Kshamaswame Water, the essence of life, flowing freely, pure and clear, from the mountains high to the valleys low, is the source of all we hold dear. Earth, the foundation of our existence, a home for all living things, from the smallest creature to the mightiest tree, is the ground on which we cling. Okay. Devi Sureshwari Bhagavati Gange, Tribhuvana Tarini Tarala Tarange, Shankara Mauli Viharini Vimale, Mamamati Rastam Tavapada Kamale, Bhagirati Sukadaini Mata, Tavajala Mahimani Game Kyata, Naham Jane Tava Mahimanam, Mahi Kripa Mahi. Mama Gyanam Haripada Padya Tarangini Gange Hima Vidyu Mukta Tavala Tarange Duri Kuru Mama Dushkriti Bharam Kuru Kripaya Bhava Sagara Param Tava Jalama Malam Yena Nipitam Parama Padama Kalutena Grihitam Matar Gange Tvayo Bhakti Kilatam drishtum nayamaha shaktaha Patito dharini jana vigange Kandita girivara mandita bange Vishma janani he munivara kanye Patita nivarini tribuvana danye Kalpalatami va faladam loke Pranamati astvam napatati shoke Paravara viharini gange Vimukha yuvati krita tarala pange in Sanatan Dharma, the sacred water of River Ganga heals, purifies, transforms, and rejuvenates. Water washes away the wrongdoings. Together, water and earth sustain the circle of life, a delicate balance from the smallest atom to the largest beast. They provide us with nourishment and sustenance. Tava chen mataha stotra hasnataha punara pijatare so pina jataha naraka nivarini jana vigange kalupa kalusha vinashini mahimo tunge punara sadange punyatarange jaya jaya jana vikaruna pange indra mukutta mani rajita charane sukhade shupade brit. Sharane Rogam Shokam Tapam Papam Harame Bhagavati Kuma Pikalatam Tribuvana Sare Vasudahare Tvamasika Tirma Makalusan Sare Alakanande Paramanande Guru Karuna Maikata Ravande Tavata Nikate Yasya Nivasa Kaluvei Kunte Tasya nivasaha varamiha nire kamato mina kimma tire sharata china atavashwa pacho malino dina tavanahi dure nrupati kulina bobu vaneshwari punye danye devi drava mai muni varakanye ganga tavami mamamalami. But beyond the physical, there lies a realm, a spiritual connection to these elements. For in the depths of water and the roots of the earth lies a power that truly connects us all. 
ಪ್ರೀತಿ ಸದಾ ಸುಖ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮಧುರಾ ಕಂತಾ ಪಂಚಟಿಕಾಭಿ ಪರಮ ನಂದಕಲಿತ ಲಲಿತಾ ಗಂಗಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಮಿದಂಬವಸಾರ ವಾಂಛಿತ ಫಲದ ವಿಮಲ ಸಾರ ಶಂಕರ ಸೇವಕ ಶಂಕರ ರಚಿತ ಪಠತಿ ಸುಖೀ ತವ ಸಮಾಪ್ತ water a symbol of cleansing and renewal washing away our sins and sorrows earth a symbol of grounding and stability nurturing us all for a better tomorrow the earth needs water to heal i believe jaya jaya gange jaya ma gange jaya jaya prithvi dharti mate happy anniversary to this amazing group best wishes for it to achieve peace and harmony ಶುಭಕಾಮಿಶ್ವರಿ a divine energy a supreme energy kundalini shakti and yeah. w- what a what a divinity you brought us on this episode and thank you so much for all these uh, recitation the shlokas that you uh, water elements and all all elements you brought to us and yeah. thank you very much for that and let's move on to uh, nil kumar uh, where are we heading now okay we will have a, a quick comment from nishit and he'll be back in a while because he's producing something we go to hero then we go to be now okay so nishit yes super so i remember you know we talked about we we listened to the healing of earth song you heard the phrase they say children of our mother earth. and i remember this little girl who came on the very first episode and i want to share this with you was uh, this was the very first gayatri mantra that happened on healing of earth now so isn't that wonderful she was only two years and two months she didn't know all the words and she happened to be a friend's daughter and says she wants to do it at that time we had 94 videos in in a short space of time it was so difficult because you know nishit was bombarded with videos in in a mail and via whatsapp and there is me chasing everybody on the phone and it is so beautiful that we had one elderly lady of 92 years who also uh, uh, came and did the gayatri mantra we have plenty we'll show some later in some other time it will be beautiful to to do that and nishit you are coming back in a while and you've got more memories and flyers that you are going to share with us is it right yeah that's correct so you know i just wanted to say that uh, uh, look at the way the world works right being the technical director i get started off with a technical glitch myself just as it would happen but we are back now and so look i just wanted to say that we are celebrating our fourth fourth anniversary here at healing of earth and and obviously i am i'm filled with gratitude and amazement at what we've all achieved together as a community and reflecting back over the past 4 years i'm reminded of the early days when the world was grappling with uncertainty and now we had a mission to bring healing and connection which took on a new significance and and as the technical director of course my role has been both challenging and of course extremely rewarding from setting up initial zoom live stream sessions training the wonderful hosts that we had mm-hmm. uh, and all the participants to ensuring that the websites filled with the correct information each step was taken with a singular focus to bring us closer to foster understanding and to amplify our collective voice for healing our earth so of course the technical complexities of streaming the live events coordinating with partner channels managing the technicalities behind the scenes these were immense especially at the start but through these challenges we've grown not just our capabilities but as a vibrant community dedicated to making a difference 
So I think our hosts, who are the face of healing over Earth, they deserve a special recognition. Their dedication and their warmth have made every session not just informative, but a space of genuine connection and learning. And to all those who have supported us throughout, I think, yeah, if I'm not wrong, Mr. Neil Kumar, we've had 4,500 people onto the uh, sessions so far. Absolutely. Yep. So all the, so they are the contributors on the session, we were much, 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 much more, but these are a direct contributors. Yes. And Nishit, you mentioned about our host as a face. So uh, just, just a brief moment. Here is one of them who was there from the starting episode, Ravi Panot MBE. And he also remembered hilarious that we were all training and what to do. So let's just a quick hello and then we'll have a chat with him a bit later. Global Namaste, Ravi. Namaste, Namaste, Healing Earth team. Uh, what a pleasure uh, it is uh, to be amongst all of you. I can't believe four years. Neil Kumar, you're a legend, no doubt. We've said this many times. Nishit, fantastic man. Uh, so committed, devoted, not just to being a Earth, but um, also if you look at the work he does uh, in other spheres, uh, whether it is to do with uh, Diwali in London, uh, and um, also with uh, Dr. Lakani, uh, he's always been there. And uh, to think where we were, where we are, I don't think anyone could possibly have anticipated that healing our earth, the small team that started then, would become about four and a half thousand people who participated. That's all the people who come live, I guess, and uh, those who are also benefiting. Uh, because for a lot of people, every week, it's an oasis in the desert where they can come and listen to whether it's bhajans or Ayurvedic or yogic knowledge and philosophy. Uh, it's a community that's been created, and it's a fantastic vision uh, of Neil Kumar and uh, Nishit being um, there um, all the way through. And to each and every one of you, have been seeing as the progressing uh, number of new people who come and the ownership that people have taken different parts of healing our earth it is very gratifying i think it's a great achievement and i think um one just wonders where it goes from here uh absolutely amazing well done the whole team ravi you ended with the right segment don't go away we want to talk to you you say you wonder where we go where healing our earth has got a lot of offshoots it has been practicing for two years in different countries in live events now as well. And there is a wonderful news about the 22nd century women. We are going to take it into complete direction. The Veda Mela groups, the nutrition groups, so many things are happening. We'll tell you a bit more about it. And Sushma and Ravi have been our senior hosts. Ravi, we want to chat with you in a moment. So stay around. Nishit, you have to shoot off, but you had a concluding statement. And then we'll go to Hiral. Yes, it and Bina because Bina has got a button lined up. So all you Gujaratis, get your tepla and fafra and everything ready because this is going to be fun. Nishit, as you were saying. Yes, uh, so Rabiji, that was a very fantastic end to your um, uh, contribution. And I would say looking ahead, I see endless possibilities. So the journey from our first hesitant steps to becoming a beacon of hope and collaboration has been incredible. So I believe the greatest achievements still lie ahead of us. And as we continue to grow, my closing statement is that my commitment is not just to maintain, but to elevate our technical capabilities, ensuring our message reaches every corner of the globe. I think at last count we were at, we've reached 186 countries, Mr. Neil Kumar. Yeah, 186 and there may be three, four because it's difficult to trace on YouTube and on Facebook or on our partner channels where we don't hold all the stats sometimes. But yes, that's what an achievement. In fact, the hundred and over 80, Ravi, you were there in our Gayatri month we had reached in the first episode, 80 countries because everybody was locked at home. And we only had Facebook at that time, I think which had 72,000 views something. We were all gobsmacked. We thought we would only have a few people here and there. I remember training something like 34 people how to use the equipment and how to talk and everything. And one week prior to that, they would come at night and you would say, please talk like that. I remember Ravi particularly enjoying doing all those sessions with Sushma. 
So it was so beautiful. Uh, yes, Nishit, yes. That's it. So I'll be back soon sharing some more memories, uh, some of the sessions that we've had, some videos and some team activities from the Healing Our Earth team as we meet together on and off. Thank you, uh, Nishit. While you have your samosa break, we'll see you in a while. Thank you. So let's move on to uh, introduce quickly to Hiral, Kirit and Bina. Bina, get your bhajan ready. Uh, make sure you've got your fafra and gatias ready as well. Hiral in Mumbai, Global Namaste, our sound healer. Hi, can you hear me? Loud and clear, go ahead, please. Your message and Lovely. what healing of our earth means to you. Yes, I like to share so many things. And uh, I thought first I'll uh, write a speech for, for healing of our earth. Then I thought, no, I want to tell my feelings, the real feelings about healing of our earth. First of all, congratulations. Happy birthday to Global uh, Healing of our Earth and Global Namaste to everyone. And uh, i like to tell you that, Neelji, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity being here. I'm very, very happy in, in this group, the way you handle, the way people are here. They are so good, humble, educated, being very kind. Even if I don't know anything, they help me. In fact, this, this group and this platform is not only for uh, people who is well known or something, but definitely uh, I can say uh, it is a part of a family where I can tell my emotional, spiritual, mental, whatever things very without any doubt or it is something like like-minded people. So I can open up over here. So this is something very good you have been bonded in this in this platform which people wanted now coming up to vishaka mataji which she uh of course i'm also in iskon and i know something about uh krishna and the bhagavat what it is uh you know depicted to everything so one thing i believed our uh healing our earth is exactly like that what you have created neelji is we are uh, uh in we are as a sufferer as in uh, as in krishna said that we are a part of a sufferer which we choose to come on the earth and now we have to take care of ourselves and the resources what krishna has given us so definitely you are the connector which we are the part of that we have to take care of our mental spiritual emotional and uh, also we have to uh, even give it to the earth, mother earth resources through us. And actually you are connecting like that to us and we are giving back to the earth. So actually it is a big thing what you have created so and here, we have to take care of the earth. Let me, <laughs> let me just add there, when you said you and created and you connect, let me connect that. It is we. This is made by us. We are of course. each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know why I'm telling you is something where you have given me the opportunity and now we are the one who can heal the earth through, you know, to to with everyone, with the global, like that. Yes, Hiral. I love the word we and ours much better than I and me because we, our I is included in we. So we are even bigger. Yeah. Because we are powerful, That's we are bigger, we are more in harmony you know together we can bring the earth so well and heal so nicely i mean when we started and ravi was there in the first episode as was nishit as were other people you know we had so so many people and as ravi said where does this go ravi is a healer as well so he'll tell you a bit more about it uh, later he he's an ayurveda expert he's a very popular company as well he'll tell us about it but Hiral, I want you to meet as a as a one of the Rotarian lead in Mumbai because Rotary have uh, commissioned you to lead a project. Meet another one in Midlands who is also a Rotarian lead in Midland, and she's a pro he's a producer for health episodes at Healing Our Earth, and he is the uh, lead member at Saha, the South Asian Health Action. They bring out all the knowledge to the South Asian diaspora in Midlands so they can live healthily. Can it say a global wow. namaste to Hiral? She's also part of Rotary. Global namaste yeah. to 
Global Lobster. Uh, sorry, my voice is a bit uh, not so good today, but um, I'm also the, it's good to be part of the Rotary because I, we've set up the Rotary Club for Organ Donation. That was a global club. And my mission for the Rotary in the UK is to set up satellite clubs just to, on our cause based club, which is around organ donation. And our message is around no one should die while waiting for a transplant. So that's what the mission is in the UK. Um, and it's a great to be here. It's good to be here for the it's the fourth anniversary while well, we're celebrating on World Health Day as well. And really, it's great to meet such um, delightful and, and selfless people. All, Healing Our Earth is, you know, from how we've connected, we're all serving selflessly for one, one to help our communities. So I think that's really great. And, and as Neil G said, it's, it's about the we. We are kind of using our connections, using our, our networks to help our communities to, to heal the earth better. Um, and really, I think um, it's good to see uh, familiar faces. I, I, I do know Bina Ben, who's from Leicester as well. So, um, so great, great yeah. you mentioned Bina. Stay around because we want you and Hiral chatting and Ravi because we are all in a similar no, field. Neil, Stay I around. just wanted to tell you. Yes. Neil, if you can hear me. So I just want to do something for our healing our earth. So let's, uh, we didn't, we can't cut the cake. So let's do something different. So we can wish for the healing of our earth to grow. So let's collectively give, make a wish today together and how, what and how we can grow this, our uh, healing of our earth. So just for two seconds, here, let's close here. our eyes and just wish here. for us. Hiral, that will be very useful. Just wait three minutes. Let Bina finish the bhajan. Yeah. It's yeah. an appropriate time when you come because I know what you've got to plan and it will be very beautiful. So stay around. Bina, unmute yourself. Hi. Uh, global Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for giving me a chance. Nice to see you, Kirit Mystery and Lataji and Urmila and everyone. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm not a good singer. Sachu ko ke hu thodu Gujarati ma kais ke hu maro hu suke itli fine gayak nathi par ghar ghar ma gaushu. So I'll try this song. Uh, a manik a good friend share ni mana mukla velu bhajan ni I'm going to try this. Thank you. Mara shamariya sarkar janam bhar taro rumi. जनम भरता रो रूनी तारा लाख लाख उपकार ने गणता न आवे पार जनम भरता रो रूनी जनम भरता रो रूनी Bolu chalu tari krupaye, tari krupaye khau. Tari krupaye swas bharu. Tari krupaye gaure. Tari krupaye gaure. तो वरसावे अमिधार मारो साचो पालन हार जनम भरतारो रूने जनम भरतारो रूने रोम रोम मातारी चेतना स्नेहर दय चल कावे बैठो बैठो घट भीतर माँ बंसरी मधुरी बजावे बंसरी मधुरी बजावे तारा नयन तनो चमकार तारों वाणी नो रणकार जनम भरतारो रूनी 
जन्म भरतारो रूमी घेरी निंद्रमा हूँ घेरा तो रक्षण कर तो मारो साजो ताजो तू ज जगाड़े तारी कृपा पर वारी तारी कृपा पर वारी तू शुद्ध करा भी विचार करा वे भजन तनो वे पार जन्म भरतारो रूमी के मूलो भगवान तने हूँ हृदय कमल माराखो सत्संग रूपी सरोवर माथे राम रामृत जाखो राम रामृत जाखो तू गोविंद नो आधार आखी सृष्टि नो सरजन हार जन्म भरतारो रूमी जन्म भरतारो रूमी कृष्ण कन्हैया लाल की जय जय श्री कृष्ण थैंक यू well bina very well done even lord rami ranger has given you a nod so you are very lucky you know a prominent lord is over here and thank i think you and i uh, now... neel, neel bhai sorry uh, i've got only one line of the one of the hindi appropriate che a song mat apda so shall we bring it in a moment stay around okay that's round and we'll bring it in a moment vaishali lord ranger is here a very prominent lord in house of lords but for those who don't know him a very dynamic entrepreneur he was in fact i believe he won some of the highest awards when the queen was alive and uh, as a business entrepreneur he is a philanthropist now he also leads uh, lots of organization as well R and ravi you resonate with what i'm saying let's welcome lord ranger who has been there with us for healing our earth and wonderful to have him in the house of Lords in United Kingdom, it's like Rajya Sabha in India for those who are in India. Lord Ranger, global namaste to you. Jai Shri Krishna to everybody, and we are so lucky. This year we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of your amazing organization, Healing Earth. As you know, uh, you've been very kind in your introduction, Vanil. you are my inspiration the amount of work you do to promote our culture in the heart of london with the help of vishali is unbelievable and they are both wearing glasses that means there is something common they can see through the glasses they are actually glasses yes so you yes but anyway i'm so delighted to be here and to see your commitment to mother earth dharti mata hum bolte hain dharti mata and you know no supernatural power is going to come and help our land until we help ourselves and this is a very important you know the global warming the hurricane the rain the wind and glacier move, movement it is all due to the unprecedented uh, unprecedented progress humanity is make but the progress should not be at the cost of our next generation we must be very responsible that you know end of the day our children grandchildren will pay a very heavy price for our irresponsibility so neil i i commend you that you bring people to talk about these very important issues because if we do nothing we achieve nothing you very kindly uh, been you know uh, gave me introduction but my because i'm you know you can see from my gray hair i am no longer a spring chicken so i have gone through the run of the mill and i've seen so many things i see my very dear friend ravi banor mbe is here he's another stalwart of our community passionate uh, to do good and to make our community you look when i came to this country 
Many of you were not born, and this country was very hostile to us. We were a struggling country, India. We were struggling community in this country. We had no track record of success. They were not going to take us seriously. But because we came from a land of 5,000 years old civilization, and that civilization taught us certain values, and those values stood the test of time all those many centuries. And when we came to this country, we used those values to stay stayed positive in a negative situation. And look where we are today. Even we have a prime minister in number 10 Downing State. Could you imagine? We could never imagine. When I walk into House of Lords, I have to pinch myself. And I thank leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Patel, and few, you know, Bhagat Singh, Swatch the Bosch, for giving us freedom that I could go. Otherwise, I would be cleaning the House of Lords outside. That I wouldn't be allowed in. So please, you always remember those who gave us equality as we are today equal citizens. We are respected and we are really become a force for good and an asset to wherever we go, whether we are in America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, because the values we inherited, respect for women is prerequisite. As you all know, my father was assassinated for opposing the partition of India uh, before my birth. Can you imagine? I'm a posthumous child. I did not see my father, but I was blessed with a remarkable mother. She became widow at the age of 35 with eight children. Would you believe I was the youngest? She arrived on a refugee train. Thankfully, the, my father's reputation saved us. The engine driver recognized her and allowed us to sit on the coal tender, you know, where they keep coal us because, you know, you couldn't get on the train. People were hanging from all places. And I was only two months old. And you can imagine, my brother tells me, whenever the engine whistled, I used to go blue with fright. So they kept their hands on my head, and I came to India in a refugee camp. But my mother was very remarkable, intelligent. She collected all my father's paperwork, newspaper cutting. He was a very big man. He would have been Attorney General of India had he survived. So he, she brought the press cutting, his certificate, his letter from his friends, and presented to the local leader. He was shocked. This is, this is what I was. This is what I've become. I'm just trying to tell you the value of women. Those who keep women behind become, end up be, being behind in society. So therefore, no one person can run the family or society. The women power is prerequisite for a civil and progressive society. So my mother brought us up. She, she was educated, thankfully. Thankfully, she was educated. She got a job in a kindergarten school. And, you know, those were hard days for us. She was very, very intelligent. She'd go to rich people like Ravi Bernard's house and bring cast off his clothes and fit to us. So we will go to school, you know, dressed up in Ravi Bernard's clothes. So oh, that was the story. Thank you. That the story of a mother. She said, we will not give in. We will not give up. No father, no elite education, no family wealth. I came to this country. And I found this thing. Again, my mother's teaching kept me going and that we will prevail. There are always good people in this world who will help you. You know, you just, the world runs on the basis of good people. Like Nil, Nail Vishali, you will always find, I don't, many of you, I don't know because you're also very good to be on this show because you also have. So no, anyway, no, no, no. I will tell you, on 31st of January, my mother's statue was installed next to that of my father and our son, because my fa mother gave five sons to the defense of India as commission officer. She became the proudest Indian mother. That is the power of women, my friend. Just remember, therefore, today, my, my wife was looking at my back. If I had to watch my back, I could not watch my front. She looked after, she went to work, she brought income, she looked after children, and she also supported my business. So without the support of my wife, my mother, I shudder to think where I would have been today. So there are two women who played, where, well, in fact, there are three. I won't tell you the third one. You might start giving it to the newspaper. Well, the third woman was Theresa May, who made me a peer. 
So I am indebted to women power. So I find. But anyway, coming back to the healing earth is very, very important that we have to take some steps to restore the mother earth, you know, as we have neglected due to our greed for progress and money and power and everything. So you, you're doing the work, making this work, but you know, I know time is very limited uh, and I, I, you don't want me to carry on, but I will tell you one more thing lastly. If you want to bring about change, you must become powerful. It is no point allowing other people to live your dream. You have to live your own dreams. If you want to live, you want to buy a car or buy a house, it is you have to make. So therefore, I will urge you to join political parties of any choice and be, because without the group, without the power of group, you are, you know, you are not as powerful as an organization you are representing now. You leverage the strength of all the members and you become. So join a political party is very important because we are, we are, this is our country. We are not going anywhere. Our children and grandchildren are born here. They're married here. So therefore, uh, like Rishi Sunak did, like Priti Patel did, like Alok Sharma did, I did, uh, very important, uh, you know, Ravi Ji or anybody else. So you please keep an eye on the politics of uh, in this country and be there. If you don't take part in democratic process, you don't exist. Because we're very lucky that in this country, we are equal. There are laws against discrimination. This country celebrate, accept the diversity respect diversity and celebrate diversity. We're all diverse people and diversity is strength because we bring some unique uh, uh, strength to this country. But at the same time, loyalty to United Kingdom is a prerequisite for success. Those who do not have loyalty to the employer, loyalty to your family, loyalty to their friend, loyalty to their country, they are not, they don't go very far and they're not respected. So loyalty, 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 because you know, you marry a man or a woman because you know that they'll be loyal to you. Yes? So therefore loyalty for me is a very important. I promote those loyal in my company and because I can't promote a disloyal man who will destroy me and the company. So therefore, these are little things uh, and you, you are blessed. You come from a civilization which is changing the world now. Believe you me, you know, doctors, engineers, scientists, teachers, you know, mind boggles when I see a 2,000 or 2,000, 3,000 old temple. How did they make it? There were no lifting equipment. There were no cutting equipment. You know, with the help of elephant, they moved stones, tons and tons of stone to make those uh, beautiful temples. You know, our, our civilization is now being respected. Even in Middle East, we have a Swaminarayan temple in Abu Dhabi. What a beautiful, what a beautiful, magnificent site that is. That represents our civilization. We have one in Dubai, one in America, Nice that you see. And the people of Swaminarayan temple, they are well disciplined. Amazing, they're full of love because you can't win people with hatred. You know, religion is to unite, not to divide humanity. And Neil, I'm very grateful that you give me so much respect and honor that I think, you know, I owe you something. What can I send you, a brown envelope? Yes? Anyway, Jai Shri Krishna. And today, happy that we have a Ram Mandir. You know, when the Ram Mandir was open 22nd of January, I wrote an article, India is finally free when our Lord can return to his home. That is the day when we were really free. We were not free in 1947. We are free in 24. Thanks to Modi. Look at the power of Mr. Modi. A man, Chaiwala, he had a dream to change. He had a dream to make, make benefit uh, to his motherland, to, to, to strengthen his citizen. Today we are respected. Wherever we go, respected. The world is queuing to do business with us. Every industry is there and unbelievable. So you represent that civilization. And therefore, I beg you to keep an eye a little bit. It doesn't have to be a full-time job. 
just like a little hobby that you join the local association, you know, 25 pound a year, just go and see what happened. When they see you, they will respect our community, you know, that we are engaged in politics. We are, we are engaged in the development of this beautiful country, which has given us everything. You know, you know, I remember the days when I was, I had nothing and now I have everything and a little bit more friend like Nil. So Jai Shri Krishna, so, thank you very much for giving me this chance. So thank one you. Lord, one Lord Ram from Ayodhya to one Lord in London, Lord Ranger, this is मैं वो राम नहीं हूँ भैया कहाँ कहाँ राम राम कहाँ टैंट हैं वो बात मत करो उस राम की जो राम has been inspiring so many संत महात्मा गुरु for five thousand years वो राम तो बहुत बड़ी चीज है आपको पता नहीं कि राम से amazing we are lucky I'm planning to go to Ayodhya because remember I sent the water from River Thames for धरती पूजन because right. the river Thames water is in the Ram Temple Ayodhya, because you know they they brought it for two hundred rivers the water, and I I went to River Thames, Pittal ki gagar mein dala bade pyar se Bhagwan Ram ko ve ka meri jo thodi si contribution hai accept kar lena Bhagwan apko kabi bhi aise banwas na mile jo ap apne देश से बाहर हो और लोग आपके बंदरों को कब्जा कर लें तो आज मैं बहुत खुश हूँ कि ही इस कम बैक टू हिज प्लेस एंड यू नो अयोध्या इस गोइंग फ्रॉम स्टेट टू स्टेट इल बी द मोस्ट विस्टर सिटी इन द वर्ल्ड ट्रस्ट मी सो लॉर्ड रेंजर लॉर्ड राम हैज बीन हेल्पिंग द एर्थ फॉर ओवर 5000 इयर्स बंदे बीन हेल्पिंग ल and of course, you are my personal buddy, so I love. And you said what you want to send me, not brown envelope. I want your love forever because you've been very loyal. Whenever we require you for anything, you always say, Neil, what time, which place, including the Diwali in London committee, Ravi Lil Walsh, that every time when you were running a large empire, all the soft drinks and a special soft drinks for the whole committee and on the live event was supplied by you. But... Today, you have touched the heart of some of the women who are here, who are actually the directors of a new setup, which is the 22nd century global women. And since you mentioned that if you respect women, your mother, your wives, your daughters, then the earth will be a better place. Well, they want you to be the patron for that organization as well. And you've got no, no chance to say no because you are my buddy. So I will be talking to you about that because we have got an organization which is called 22nd Century Global Women for the women, by the women, of the women, towards the women. Towards the women is where we men will come and support them and make them at the least equal to us or what I believe that they are touched better than us because they give birth to humanity. Lord Ranger, stay around. Ravi wants to say something to you. And on on one condition, you know, Charlie, Nil. And you know Seema, because you met them at the Bleats episode. Nil, Lord Ravi Ranger, sorry I'm interrupting, but Nil, Nil Kumar rightly said, and whatever you said today, Lord Ravi Ranger, it touched every woman's heart. You touched that, you know, the point that you said that Sri Shakti, Nari Shakti, the women power, you gave an example of your mother, of your Mataji. And that's that's something that touched all the women on in this episode, not on just on this episode, but I think the women who are connected with us, the women from the globe. And thank you so much for, you know, sharing your story with us today, which was so, so inspiring. I, I, I don't think that we were aware of your story. So this is something that an inspiration, your life is an inspiration for all of us. And again, one point that you mentioned that just by watching, we cannot make the change, be the change, get into the politics, do something for the, contribute something to the society. And today I'm really inspired by whatever you said that, and, and thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, thank you very much. Dr. Vishali, one, my one condition, all the women committee 
has to come to House of Lord for tea, including Nil, my mentor. He has to be there. Then I will accept the pet patronage. If you don't accept my invitation and Raviji. So all of you who knows me, you come, I'll host a tea to show how far the Indian power has gone. And I just last, but that will inspire you even more. If you remember, I think many of you won't remember pictures of Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, Ganesh Ji, Durga Mata on t shirt, carrier bag, on doormat, all that. You know, many, many years ago, if you remember. And then we created a place, an organization called Hindu Forum of Britain. And I told these guys that we have to tell the world about Hindu religion, how it has enriched the world and United Kingdom. So I was very privileged to be the chairman of Hindu Ball in 2007, where we showcased the contribution of Hindu community, Hindu women in bringing so much benefit to this country. And we showed them that these images are of our deities. We worship them, we take inspiration. We do not want them to be used frivolously on carrier bags and throw them in the dustbin. And then since that ball, 750 people attended in Park Lane, Hilton. Every government department now has a Hindu advisor making sure that they don't hurt the sentiment of peace-loving Hindu community, which is quietly contributing a great deal. So Lord Ranger, thank you for sending the invitation for House of Lords to the women. And then because of that, I am included as well on there. But I didn't have to ask for a favor. You offered it yourself. We love you. And from Kenya, say hello to Caroline. Caroline, you'll have to fly into House of Lords over here and say hello to Lord Ranger in the House of Parliament, you know, in House of Lords. And uh, Caroline in Kenya also trains the Inland Revenue team there. Jambo, Jambo Sana. Jambo Sana, Mzuri Sana. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yes, welcome, welcome. We are a we are a community. We love all, hated for nobody. We love all. India is a cradle of civilization. Look at the diversity in India. Look at the religion, culture, living side by side. Not for one day for century. We do not hate anybody. We love everybody. And Lord Ranger, yes. Lord Ranger, also meet our supreme of homeopathy, a very famous Dr. Mukesh Batra. Who is over here? Please say hello. Then we go for a comment to Ravi. We go back to Mukesh Batra over here and Shubha is in Mumbai as well. Dr. Batra, say hello to Lord Ranger. You have obviously, I think, met him, but not. Yes. Uh, hello, Lord Ranger. So lovely to hear hello, you. Hello, Mukeshi. Mukeshi, Namaskar. Namaskar. Bhot, bhot kushu hai aap se milkar. And Vaishali will facilitate, Lord Ranger, Vaishali will facilitate a contact on that. Rami. You know Lord Ranger as well. And apart from, I mean, he was also one of the chief guests at the London Eye, where you actually were uh, one of our leads there. But apart from that, that, Ravi, Ravi I, Ji, Ravi Ji and uh, Shushma Ji very kindly invited me. They're a hardworking couple. Both of them have been honored by Her Majesty the Queen. Unbelievable. In one family, husband, wife. Yes, this is, they both do good. I tell you, this is an inspirational couple. Let me tell you, one of the most modest men, Lord Rami Ranger, uh, not only, as he said, inspires women, he is surrounded by very powerful women, his daughters and his wife. But what he does for the community, I told people from Kenya and India, you may not realize, that even people in this country, if you actually follow uh, Rami Ranger, uh, he is such an inspirational person. He, you see, what he points, pointed out that we should get involved in politics. I totally agree with him where you can't, not, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think there is a certain responsibility we all have, a kind of a moral responsibility that if we see something which is not right, which is unfair, which is unjust, we should be speaking up. We should be talking to whoever has said whatever and asking them why they have said this and why they are unfair. But a lot of us, have the history of India is that we've been very passive. We tend to be very, as Rami Ranger said, peace loving, get on quietly, and 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 as a home to probably more religions than anywhere else in the world, living peacefully. Although reading some of the press around the world, 
you may not think that's the uh, that that's a true impression. But what I want to say about Lord Remy Ranger is he walks his talk. A lot of people don't. If you see the any of his coverage, whether there's anything that happens in India, which is negative, he is on YouTube, he's on interviews, he wants to represent India fairly, positively, which a lot of our MPs, Indian MPs, in both House of Lords and House of Commons in this country, as well as councillors and such like, where they keep quiet or, or perhaps don't have the confidence or knowledge, this man's knowledge his, his just his attitude, his, what he brings to the table. We are so blessed, and I truly mean it. I would say, it, even if he wasn't here, and we don't need a brown envelope, only unless, unless it's just with love, is that he gives so much. And if we could become Lord Rainy Rangers, each and every one of us, I tell you, this country would be so much more powerful within the spending for our community because what he does is. Is I think unparalleled. I don't think there's anyone in this country who is sitting in the House of Lords or House of Commons, certainly of Indian origin, who is doing anything as much. There are others who are doing tremendous work, and please uh, don't misunderstand me. But we are so fortunate, and I hope you have a long and healthy life, Reverend Ranger. And may you thank you, Ravi. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi. I am I am humble. I'm humble and really, but enough is enough before I become even more heavy with, you know, the, the enough is enough. Thank you, sir. So, I am very grateful. So, you Lord, know. Ranger, Lord Ranger, stay around. I echo what Ravi said. If we summarize you in one thing, you are a daring, caring Lord of London because we know that nothing scares you. You speak up your mind. Stay around. We have got two singers for you, just for you. We are going to have Dr. Mukesh Bhatra singing for you. He's not just a homeopath. He's also a philanthropist. He's also very highly uh, accorded there in India. And Renu, both are going to sing for you just for a moment. Stay around, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Mukesh Bhatra, Global Namaste. Uh, how wonderful it is. And what are your memories about healing our earth? And... Uh, you are obviously one of our patrons now. You are regularly there. You are constantly in touch with Amrita, Vaishali, other members as well. And 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 something that you didn't know, you are also going to be the patron to make sure that women have equality, financial independence, and they move forward without having men at their back. Okay? So you are there as well. So what song would you like to dedicate to our Lord Rami Ranger and, and Ravi and all the people over here? My favorite, you know, and before that, I think, let me just, uh, you know, say a few comments. First of all, heartiest congratulations for your fourth year. You know, in medicine, we believe that, you know, it's one to walk, two to talk, and four to run. So you are now running fast, you know, with, with Heal Our Earth. And just to add to whatever Lord Ranger said, I just want to make three comments uh, on this special occasion today, because also today is World Health Day. And, you know, the first thing when we talk about Heal Our Earth is also that we should, if we have to be healthy, then, uh, you know, health is wealth. And we must understand that we may be rich, but we can't enjoy all the riches unless we actually have good health. And health is not just about physical health. It's also about mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health. As Lord Ranger said, it's also about your belief in Ram, Krishna, whatever you believe in, and a very positive, you know, vibes that you get uh, from the belief that you get uh, in the Lord above, something that keeps you through and makes you strong and face all adversities. So that's, you know, really what I'd wanted to say. And also that, uh, you know, I'm a very strong believer in uh, in the power of women. And uh, particularly in, as far as health is concerned, you know, if you remember, uh, there's a saying in Hindi and they always say, Dadi ma ke nuske. They never say, Dada ji ke nuske. Now, why do they say that? Because they always call about grandmother's med They always say grandma's med remedies. You know, the ones that, that are there in your, in your kitchen cabinet. You know, all the wonderful herbs that you get, which keep you healthy. Why? Because it's always the woman who's the center of health of a family. Whether she's the daughter or daughter-in-law or the sister or the mother or the grandmother. She's the health keeper of the family and therefore of society and therefore of the nation and therefore of the world. And therefore... If we have to heal our earth, we have to make sure that we keep our women healthy. And we must look 
particularly focused in things like cervical cancer, uterine cancers, which are actually very, very preventable. And there's not enough knowledge and not enough awareness that has been given to this. So I'm happy to support uh, any such cause. And I'm very happy to be here with you. And I wish you great, great success and many, many more years to come. I wish I, I miss you on WhatsApp, Neil. It was wonderful to, to chat with you regularly. And I'd just like to end with these two lines, which I always say, my wish for the world and also for my friends like, like you and for Lord Ranger, Kishore Kumar's old song. So on this wonderful, happy note, let me say global namaste. And thank you for this opportunity. Wish you all the very best. So Dr. Mukesh Bhatta, stay around. So what a wonderful, so ladies, some of you are the admin and, uh, and core team members. Well, you've got one stalwart, a Lord Ranger. Then you've got one herbal life, you know, a, a, a professional guy who is also a healer, uh, MBE, Ravi Banot. And then you've got the uh, Supremo from India, you know, he's now celebrating his 50th year. This month, he will be hosting a party where 50 years in a business at the top he will be. They're all going to be your patrons and they are going to be for the women, you know. They're going to be towards the women. They will support you, bring in a correct people of Pete. I mean, Lord Ranger is connected with all the political world. Ravi, again, is also a politician in his way. He's a justice of peace. He's a philanthropist as well. Mukesh Batra, again, look at how senior and what he can bring over the air. Vaishali, do you want to sing for Dr. Batra because he has sung for us and then we go to Renu and Renu can sing for Ravi. Lord Ranger sings as well, but on a Sunday, he goes on a strike. You know, on a Sunday is his day off, but he <laughs> might still sing for us. Uh, Vaishali, what would you like to sing for them? And Amrita, you will have to make a comment because you are new to Lord Ranger over here. Amrita is our senior admin uh, globally for the healing of our earth and an anchor as well. So it's beautiful to have that. Vashali, what would you like to sing a couple of lines for everybody since we are in that singing mood and celebrating mood? Sure. First of all, Dr. Badra, what a beautiful song you sang for us. Aachal ke tujhe leke chalu, aise gagan ke tale, jaha gam bhi na ho, aasu bhi na ho, bas pyaar hi pyaar chale. Bas pyaar hi pyaar, love, love and love. Love is God and God is love. Thank you so much for your support for women, uh, 22nd century women. And uh, we are so privileged and uh, we are excited. And I would just like to sing my one of my favorite Kana song. A few lines from that bhajan I would like to sing for uh, uh, for you and for Lord Rami Ranger and for all of us. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. ओ कान आप तो मुरली की मधुर सुना दो ओ कान आप तो मुरली की मधुर सुना दो मैं हूँ तेरी प्रेम निभानी मुझको तू पहचान मधुर सुना दो ओ कान हाब तो मुरली की मधुर सुना दो जब से तुम संग मैंने अपने नैना जोड़ लिए क्या मैया क्या बाबुल तब से रिश्ते तोड़ लिए तेरे मिलने को व्याकुल है अब तो मेरे प्राण 
मधुर सुना दो ओ कान हाँ तो मुरली की मधुर सुना दो मधुर सुना दो थैंक यू Wow how beautiful Thank you very much I need to leave now so thank you very much for this opportunity and all the very best and here's wishing you many 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 more years thank you Thank you Dr Patra and we are going to move on to our Renu Gidumal uh Renu if you don't mind and we've got uh, our our prominent special guest from uh, our spiritual world she has been our patron ever since uh shortly we'll be visiting sister Jenty who is the additional global head of brahma kumaris where most of us always go and she has been there at the start of uh, healing our earth so shortly we'll be visiting uh, her uh, as soon as she is ready meanwhile renu you have been with us since uh, pandemic and you did mimicry you were hosting you are a singer what have you got lined up for us First of all, dear Neil and all my Healing Our Earth family, global namaste to you all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. Wow. Beautiful Lord Ranger, uh, Ravi Banot, so nice to see you all and hear your amazing, inspiring words. Vaishali, I absolutely loved your singing. Really, really beautiful. I'm very honored and humbled and inspired to be here, Neil. I've been with Healing Our Earth since almost pretty much day one. and walk the journey i've uh, been in the background for the last year or two but looks like i'm getting back in the driving seat again which is really really nice um so i've got rather than take up too much of your time i'm going to do four very little snippets okay the first are different languages different genres so the first is a uh, sincere pranam to sister jayanti who is not visible but hopefully hearing this is a lovely bk bhajan i just sing the beginning of it not only women but everyone on the planet goes through hardships it's in the fire of these hardships that our gleam our sparkle our radiance gets gets really exposed so we say thank you to the hardships we pray for the courage the stamina to go through those hardships emerge at the other end stronger brighter and sparkling with life ye mat kaho khuda se meri mushkilein badi hai ye mat kaho khuda se meri mushkilein badi hai ye mushkilon se keh do मेरा खुदा बड़ा है आती है आधी आतो कर उनका है रुमकदम आती है आधी आतो कर उनका है रुमकदम तूफान से ही तो लड़ने खुदा ने तुझे करा है ये मत कहो खुदा से inspiring words from the brahma kumari now something whoever is i don't know if anybody is a lord shiva devotee anybody who likes lord shiva and shiva bhajans this is a very short bhajan lovely to see some hands up in there this is a bhajan for you very short and sweet to lord shiva in spanish the meaning is senior shiva padre madre shiva padre madre shiva father mother shiva Corazón de azúcar. Corazón means the heart. De azúcar, azúcar, sugar, sakal. Sweetheart, bola nat. Piel azul, skin blue. Señor Shiva, padre madre Shiva. Muéstrame el camino. Show me the road. Tengo que llegar. Take me back 
on the road. Tengo que empezar, tengo que empezar. Take me back now to you. So here we go. Clap along even though I can't hear you, but I can see you if you're enjoying it. Señor Shiva, Padre Madre Shiva, Señor Shiva, Padre Madre Shiva, Corazón de Azúcar, Piel Azul, Corazón de Azúcar, Piel Azul, Señor Shiva, Padre Madre Shiva. Renuji, I have, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Okay. I mean, and and the first Brahma Kumari bhajan that you sang, oh my God. I mean, that that something that connected, I think, with all of us. Yeah, there are four verses in that bhajan and each verse is so good. It really gives me so much himmat, so much courage. Um, so I will be very happy to send you the lyrics. This. Yeah, please do send us and Mera Khuda Bada Hai, Meri Mushki Lo Se Keh Do Mera Khuda Bada Hai. What a beautiful, what a, what a fire, you know, there is a, it ignited something within you, within all of us. And so, well, Shelly, while, while, while we are at it, Ravi is from Kenya, uh, Carol is from Kenya, Seema is from Kenya. Uh, what about how about singing Jambo Jambo Buana? You know, then we can have a smile on Carolyn and she oh, might wow. join and then dance and sing sings, for us right? as well. I, I so, can sing the refrain, but you all have to sing the rest of the song. Okay, so, I know you, okay, you can start, yes. And then I'd like to do a little bit of some mimicry for you all afterwards, okay? Let's go ahead. So, uh, Carolyn, what are you I'm Nagani. Jambo Sana, switch on your, uh, switch, uh, unmute yourself. Seema ji, yes, you're there. Good. Jambo, Habari. Habari, Habari. Mzuri sana. Ah, superb, Caroline. Okay, you're going to sing along with me, okay, guys? Yes, I will. I don't know anything apart from Jambo, Jambo Buana, Habari, Mzuri sana. Then it's what? Kenya? Mzuri. Hakuna Madata. Perfect. Okay. Hakuna Madata. Well, Absolutely, yes. we are Akuna Matata in Kenya, right, Caroline? Right. Yeah, there's no Matata. One, two, three. Jambo, 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 Jambo Buana, Abari Gani, Mzuri Sana, Wageni, Wakaribishwa, Kenya Yetu, Akuna Matata. Wonderful, Sima, unmute. Sima, unmute. Marikere Ukuna Sukari. Kenya Inchinzuri, 
Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Jambo. Jambo Bali. Jambo Bali. Uzuri Sana. Wakini. Watari Pekarishma. Kenya Yetu. Hakuna Matata. So basically what we're saying is we greet you all. Jambo is our greeting. Ah, hello. Jambo Bwana. Hello, sir. Habari Gani. How are you? Missouri Sana is the reply to how are you? I'm fine. Gani Wakari Bish for everyone. All guests are welcome into our country. And I have to say this, we Kenyans pride ourselves in our hospitality. We are, a lot of our revenue comes from tourism and of course coffee and agriculture. And Hakuna Matata. We have no problems. We so take blessed. everything very easy. And, and we Sima. have no Sima, yes. Kenya in Chizuri, one of the best nations on the earth, is the Pearl of Africa. Rami, it you is know? indeed. And I Rami I'm seated in my motherland in my in my mother country right now, actually. And I'm enjoying the weather and the, the rainy season is coming in, Caroline. Very yeah, soon. It's raining now, yeah. After all the heat we've been experiencing over and, here. And our Ravi is from Kenya. Well. I Ravi, know. Agree? I know. Ravi Ji, Global Namaste. 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 Global Namaste. I was actually Ramo born in Kitali. Me. And we oh, had the equator. Our equator oh. was in the back garden. We had this line for the equator. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, 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 the place I was actually born, Kitali, only a small town near Eldorate. Yeah. Eldorate, yes. Finished very near the equator. And then mm. from there we went to Kisumu and Kisi and, and we used to go to, my parents were teachers, so we used to travel around a lot, Mbasa, mm. Lili, Nairobi. So mm. you, uh, you, you're living in a lovely part of the world. And I was there to yeah. leave it. And hopefully next year we're hoping plenty to come. You're you welcome. must visit Kenya. It has yeah. changed so much. It's become so, Nairobi has become so beautiful. I was here five years ago. We have flyovers and we have bypasses and we have expressways. It's become extremely efficient. It's green as ever. Nairobi is known for its greenery. The air is still fresh. The water is still sweet. Nairobi means land of sweet water. And Raviji, you must visit because it'll. if you haven't been here for a while, it's going to blow you away. Sima, he can be part of the retreat that is being planned in 2025, which yes. will be beautiful. And Caroline, when you meet the president, tell them you met people from Kisumu, Eldoret, <laughs> Nakuru, I mean, Mombasa. Yes. Look, Shuba over here is from Mombasa. Shuba, Global Namaste. And, yes. uh, yeah, and Venus is from Mombasa. What a wonderful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Shubaji, I want to share something with you. Yeah. Uh, I want to share something with everyone. You can take someone out of Kenya, but you can never take Kenya out of someone because Kenya <laughs> steals your heart. Mm. Very true. It Very really, true. really steals your heart. And I say this to all our global viewers worldwide. If you have not visited Kenya, you have to visit this country. It's beautiful. And the people are wonderful. Don't you agree, no. Caroline? They are few, very wonderful. Not yeah. just the food, not just the safari, not just the beaches, not just the beautiful equatorial climate, but the people are wonderful too as well. The people yeah. are out of this world. Indian hospitality. Shubha, 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 please say what you have to say. I keep interrupting very rudely. Please forgive me. I'm so <laughs> passionate about my country. Earlier, Mr. Yet sung that song. So that exactly exemplifies, uh, you know, uh, explains Kenya. Jaha pyar hi pyar ho. It's only love. There's a lot of love here. Uh, but I would like to just sing um, just four lines for all of you, for all the inspiration. Neelji, Amrita, Vaishali ji, all of you, like, you know, just a little uh, thing from Mukesh, uh, Mukesh's uh, song, uh, which I think, which, because I've been listening to everyone, I said, that's the only thing which is coming to my mind. So <clears throat> I'll just sing a few songs just to celebrate today's anniversary as well. Congratulations, all of you. You guys are doing a wonderful job. 
I don't know what to say. Like, it's absolutely like, you know, I'm sure that it's going to go boom, like, you know, explode in a few years time. And I'm just very glad that we are a part of it. Uh, let me just uh, sing a few lines of uh, that song. <clears throat> एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के मोल जग में रह जाएंगे प्यारे तेरे बोल दूजे के हाउटों को देकर अपने गीत कोई निशानी छोड़ फिर दुनिया से डोल एक दिन बिक जाएगा माटी के मोल जग में रह जाएंगे प्यारे तेरे बो ला 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू दैट वॉज ब्यूटिफुल दैट वॉज ब्यूटिफुल थैंक यू शुभ जी एंड आई होप आर यू कमिंग टू नाई रोबी एनी टाइम सोन यस आई एम आई एम एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली गिव यूर कॉल एंड वी शुल मीट अप So when are you going to be here? Uh, say in a few weeks' time. So wonderful! Please do connect. Yeah, Sina, I would love to meet you. Sina, you will be connected by Amrita. You, you both got numbers of each other. Stay around. We're gonna go to Bina. She has got one line. She wants to uh, share with us, and then we are going to go to Lakshmi Ji and Renu is going to do a bit of mimicry in a moment. So Bina, unmute yourself. Oh, thank you. Global Namaste, everyone, and thank you so much for giving me chance. Agi che, eh, sorry, Gujarati ma par bolu shu ki agi che. Maru favorite che, na words fine che, and eh, uh, roughy ji ega elu che. Badi door se aaye he pyare ka, to falaye he. अपना लोया ठुकरा दो प्यार का तो फलाए अनजाने लोगों में कोई साथी तो मिलेगा कोई तो होगा जो हमको समझेगा ये सपना ये सपना ये सपना दिल में सजाए है प्यार का तो फलाए बड़ी दूर से आए हैं प्यार का तो फलाए थैंक यू थैंक यू बीना दैट वाज वंडरफुल हाउ वेरी अप्रोप्रिएट एंड वी हैव गॉट प्यार का तोहफा वी हैव गॉट अ वंडरफुल लव टू शेयर विद यू बिकॉज़ वी हैव गॉट वन ऑफ आवर पैट्रन मेंबर्स हु हैज सपोर्टेड अस एवर सिंस द पेंडेमिक स्टार्टेड and she has been with us for nearly 4 years now a wonderful soul amrita vishali please welcome sister jenti additional head of the brahma kumaris globally global namaste global namaste global namaste sister jenti om shanti om shanti and a global namaste to each and every one of you and congrats congratulations for this very very special anniversary and yes as my dear brother neil kumar said i've been with you since the start of the pandemic and it's beautiful to see how much creativity and wonderful um inspirations this program has given to people across the world so it's really Jayanti, beautiful since you are here with us on this auspicious day and what a wonderful occasion today to seek your blessings to have your blessings for healing our earth family um, and vaishali we just don't want blessings because sister sister jenti goes to several country to bless what we love when she comes is the energy she brings the calmness and sukoon she spreads over so why we have a lot of people from different country from from croatia and kenya and other people and in fact caroline i want to bring you up 
because you were with Seema at the Brahma Kumari event just two weeks back. Uh, Seema is gone, so when Seema comes and mm -hmm. say hello to Sister Jenti and your experience at Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti, Sister, and all of us, Global Namaste. Um, I'm an ardent member of Brahma Kumaris. I normally attend their various activities with uh, Sister Vedante, Sister Dipti, among other sisters who are there. So they normally have various activities. I uh, just recently celebrated the 50th anniversary of uh, Brahma Kumaris in Africa. And uh, I've been part and parcel of them, actually, and just attending their forums that they normally uh, coordinate. Um, I normally attend meditation also, and for real, it has been a turnaround on me, and I've been learning a lot and just practicing meditation and being at peace and thinking positive and having positive vibrations. Thank you very much. Well, Caroline, stay around because you will now see a nice soothing meditation from Sister Genti, then a message. And if any of you have got a question, we can. She, I think, are you in India, Sister Genti, at the moment or in London? No, I'm in India still, and I've just been attending a gathering of 2,000 teachers from all over India, and that delayed me a little bit, and so I rushed here. <laughs> you, are so, was, yes. you travel so much that even when I spin the globe, you have moved around <laughs> in the different parts of the world, so I always need to ask you where you are. And thank you for joining us this late over here. Seema, you met Caroline at a Brahma Kumari event, and it was so nice that Caroline, who is quite senior in, uh, in, in Kenya as well, uh, your experience, you went to Brahma Kumari. Tell Sister Genti how you felt when you went there in Nairobi. Om Shanti, Sister Genti Pranam. Uh, I Shanti. attended a talk at the Brahma Kumaris very recently here in Nairobi, Kenya, since I'm visiting my own country. It was a very beautiful experience, very elevating, extremely positive and very soothing you have a beautiful center here in Kenya it's shaped like a lotus the architecture is gorgeous I got the blessing to sit in Babaji's room and do a meditation and I met okay. Caroline very beautiful Caroline and I always say that the universe always has a plan there are no coincidences it was a great blessing for me to be able to connect with a fellow sister and I want to thank you deeply from all of us for gracing the platform today and giving us your blessings. Thank you. Thank you, Seema. Stay yeah. around because you'll have a chance to yeah. ask a couple of soothing questions as well and see if you can be enlightened. Vaishali, uh, say hello because you are now one of the senior um, uh, members of Healing Our Earth and you are in London now. You've left Los Angeles and India and you are here. So we would like you to go to the Global House at some point. And maybe you meet Sister Gently directly and interview like how honey does and how dimple does. So it will be beautiful. Maybe you can sing for her. Let's move to Sister Gently first. We want to have a nice spiritual soothing meditation. And then some of us will have a chance to ask any tips or any question. Over to you, Sister Gently and Om Shanti. Thank you, Brother Neil. And yes... Just sit comfortably and I'll share my own thoughts and invite you to join those ideas. And so first, just let the body relax. And now we go on an inner journey. And deeper and deeper within. Coming to that space within myself where I can truly feel the inner being. And in doing so, I realize this body is an amazing instrument, but the eternal identity is the light that shines within. I am that light shining in the center of the forehead and deep within myself there is peace. My original nature 
is peace. This is who I am. And in this awareness, not only am I peaceful, but the rays of peace reach out and I connect with my human family, knowing that each one is a being of peace. We've forgotten who we are, but this is truly our original nature. And in this awareness of peace, we can feel the presence of the divine, the source, the supreme, the being of peace who radiates infinite peace, limitless peace, peace without end, peace that can touch the entire human family. Peace that heals the soul. Peace that reminds me of my connection not only with my human family, but with all forms of life. And peace that reaches all forms of nature, the earth, the water, the fire, the air, the sky. And the power of peace from the divine heals nature itself. and gives comfort to all forms of life. Instead of violence, now let me be an instrument to heal through the power of peace. And as we share our thoughts of peace for humanity and the planet, God's light shines on all of us and carries us to a world of harmony, of light, a world of purity and love. Healing the earth happens with the power of peace and the power of love. Om Shanti. In this very special celebration, I appreciate that we were all given time truly to heal the earth. 
Thank you. Sister Genti, how soothing as ever. I'd like the world to know those who are listening to us on the social media of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, which website, that you have introduced more than 65 countries members to us. Whenever I came to you and said, I want somebody from this country and I want for this subject, you were so swift and so fast. I remember one of our favorite episodes, Healthy Mind, Healthy Planet, where we produced together Healing Our Earth and uh, Brahma Kumaris together. And that was in May of the pandemic. We started in April. The world pandemic was announced on 5th of April and on 12th, we started with Gayatri Mantra. And then we produced that and how wonderful it was. And ever since, whenever any, there you are, look, this was the, you remember Simran, this were different people from different country. Um, so many of them, at that time, we were just learning digital printing and multi collages at that time. And I think we visited 17 countries. Uh, thank you, Nishit, for sharing. Uh, there are more assets that are all in, uh, in healing our earth. So we love you because of what you have shared with us. And just for you, uh, our Renu Gidumal, who is over here, she's going to sing a line or two for you. And then our Vaishali is going to sing a line of uh, or two for you. And then we have got a few comments from Amrita and everybody. Um, and, and, and we love you for your interaction with us. So, Renu, go ahead and uh, what have you got lined up for Sister Gentry? Sister from Shanti, how are you? How wonderful to see you today. How wonderful to connect with you again. So, I was going to sing something else, but since you've been singing, you since you've taken us through a meditation of light, something joyful which we all know from our young days at school perhaps this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine I'm gonna take this light around the world. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take this light around the world. And I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna take this light around the world. And I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. Yes, Renu, let it shine and heal the earth. I loved it. Stay around, Renu. We still want you because there's a bit of mimicry and everything. Well, Shali, you've got alternative. You're going to sing also for Sister Jenti. <laughs> Om Shanti, Sister Jenti, Pranam. Um, uh, this meditation took us in a, on a different dimension and we are so, so grateful to be here. And I would like to sing uh, Ram Bhajan, uh, just a few lines of my favorite Ram Bhajan, Ram Stuti. <clears throat> Shri Ram Chandra Krupalu Bhajaman Harana Bhavabhaya Tarunam Navakanjalo Chana Kanja Mukhakara Kanja Pada Kanja Harunam Shri Ram Chandra Kripalu Bhajamana Harana Bhava Bhaya Darunam Nava Kanja Lochana Kanja Mukhakara Kanja Pada Kanja Harunam 
ಭಜದೀನ ಬಂಧು ದಿನೇಶ ದಾನವ ದೈತ್ಯ ವಂಶನಿ ಕಂದನ ರಘುನಂದ ಆನಂದ ಕಂದ ಕೋಶಲ ಚಂದ ದಶರಥ ನಂದನ ಶಿರ ಮುಕುಟ ಕುಂಡಲ ತಿಲಕ ಚಾರು ಉದಾರ ಅಂಗ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ಆಜಾನುಭುಜ ಸರ ಚಾಪ ಧರ ಸಂಗ್ರಾಮ ಜಿತ ಖರದೂಷಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಚಂದ್ರ ಕೃಪಾಲು ಭಜಮನ ಹರಣ ಭವ ಭಯ ದಾರುಣ ನವ ಕಂಜಲೋಚನ ಕಂಜ ಮುಖ ಕರ ಕಂಜ ಪದ ಕಂಜಾರುಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ 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 ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ we are bringing all this love and everything and we have also got uh, our lakshmi vyas uh, who is uh, there of our, our european lead for the outreach if you can unmute and stay around sister jenty there is something going on at healing our art so healing our art has moved on creating lot of offshoots one of them is organ donation one of them is a nutrients and uh, uh, health and gym fit another one is a veda mela and a beautiful section that is opening globally is the 22nd century global women now some of these people only know you as spiritual lead but in london so many years back so many years back you were one of the people who inspired people on women empowerment i very well know that you were there and on behalf of all the women and they will contact you obviously through me over there we would like you to be a patron of that uh 22nd century global women you have been there for healing our earth and all the women privately have requested that you would be a very good patron stalwart and as soon as uh about few months are passed because it's in formation in a in a structure from in a continent we have actually allocated separate continent heads with the country heads they are all going to come together so it's something we would look for the blessings from you for that and what are your thoughts on women empowerment so that they can be financially free financially independent also women in every sphere should get minimum equal chance to men or or, or a male but i believe that women are slightly ahead of men because they give birth to humanity your comment please women are definitely a little bit ahead of men not just because they give birth to humanity but also they give birth to the new world through spirituality i see how women are taking the lead in terms of spiritual consciousness and raising consciousness all over the world and so i think that the new world is going to take birth through spirituality and i think we're going to move from the area of darkness into the world of light through that and yes definitely women are in the vanguard for that and within that i feel that brahma baba is the one who showed the way um with affirmative action way back in 1936 can you imagine 88 years ago thinking about how women could be leaders and teachers and actually not just thinking about it but making it a reality making it happen and i think women have to just simply go back inside connect with the divine the divine is shiva the supreme the kalyari the benefactor the one who is the almighty but connected with shiva is the shakti and so shakti is all of you all the women and so shiva is the one who gives shakti to the soul and the women are the ones who really are wanting to take that shakti men also have that right but they have to have the love and the passion to be able to connect but women in a natural way connect with the shiva the source of power and they're able to draw that shakti within themselves and this power is the power that finishes all evil and gives rise to purity positivity 
that which is higher, that which is elevated. And so this is the role that women have to play at this moment. We are going through a period of huge turbulence. But turbulence is happening because it's a transition. When you move from one season to another season, there's a lot of upheaval. And when you're moving from the old world to the new world, from Kali Yuk to Satyug, again, there's a lot of upheaval that we see around us everywhere, but also a lot of upheaval inside. And so taking the power of the divine means that we're able to end the darkness first within the self and then be the light that shines that Renu was singing so beautifully. We are that light, but we forget. And so it's as we connect with the divine, we are reminded of who we are and what it is we need to do at this moment for ourselves, but also for everyone around us in our homes, in our families, at work, at society at large, and of course, the whole wide world. And so it's time to allow that Shakti within the self to arise, to awaken, and lead the way to a world of light. This is what we now have to do. Sister yeah. Jenti, thank you for agreeing with me, where I always profess and have been saying <laughs> for four years, that at healing our earth, we believe that women are not just equal, they are slightly ahead of us, because I gave a definition that they give birth to humanity, but you extrapolated with more further and better particulars. Sister Genti, I want you to say hello and to our lead for the organ donation. He's very prominent in India and now globally. Say hello to Rotarian Lal Goel. Lal Goel, say hello to Sister Genti. The additional and I'm going to come back to you, Rotarian Lal, in a moment. Um, our Renu has got a little mimicry for you because, you know, everybody loves you, so they plant something for you over here. Renu, let's have that, and then we'll have uh, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas's message for Sister Jenti. Wonderful. Thank you, Sister Jenti, for that beautiful explanation. I uh, really appreciate it. I hope this is not going from the sublime to the ridiculous. But the great thing about spirituality, I find that it always brings out the joy, the silliness, the childlikeness in all of us. So here is, I've got, would you like, would you like to hear about a little ant or would you like to hear about Lord Krishna? Little ant, hands up. Lord Krishna? No, okay. no, then just go for it. Okay. So this is a little kid singing, okay. So I'm going to be doing two voices. Come here. My dear Krishna can hear many tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. Come here, my dear Krishna can hear many tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. For you, my dear, khana banaya. For you, my dear, khana banaya. Makhan misri dood malai khub mangaya. Makhan misri dood malai khub mangaya. So much delay, so much delay, tu ne karaya. So much delay, so much delay, tu ne karaya. Maine tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. Maine tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. Come here, my dear Krishna Kanhaya. Maine tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. Maine tere liye dil ke ande mandir banaya. Om Shanti, Global Namaste. Om Renu, Shanti. Stay around. We still want the end. And <clears throat> Sister Denti, because you bring so much best, best in people, so Renu wanted to bring that musty mood right from the childhood to this, this level. 
We introduce you to Rotarian Lal Goel, who is uh, very prominent in the organ donation world. So Amrita will facilitate with the introduction of the, the BK team because we want him to be involved there. And it is a very good outreach. We would also like to invite from India, Air Vice Marshal, retired, Pranay Sinha, who is also another wonderful soul that we have got over here. And the reason why I'm introducing this man over here, Sister Genti, we have got this forum, the 22nd century, which will be for the women, of the women, by the women, towards the women. For towards the women is where people like us, Rotarian Lal Gohil, Dr. Mukesh Bhatra, Air Vice Pranay Singha, Heman Shumeta, who have got a lot of uh, connection with a lot of women, and they have got this affinity, and they verily and truly believe that women are at the least equal to men, and like me, maybe slightly ahead. So say hello to Air White Marshal Pranay Singha, retired. Global Namaste to you, Pranay. Global Namaste, Neilji. <clears throat> at the outset, uh, let me congratulate you all for this wonderful platform celebrating the anniversary. You as a director, producer, I am really amazed the way you are connecting all the overseas Indian diaspora with the root of India. It's a fantastic. And uh, let me say uh, hello to Sister Jayanti. Of course, you all spoke about the empowerment of women. Women are not only ahead of Nilji, they are divinely met so, uh, biologically met so. The 23rd pair of chromosome is XX and we are XY. We have been, the male have been muted with the one person and that's why they are stable. That's why they are the epitome of patience. That's why they give birth to the humanity. So, uh, to Shakti, all the Shakti available on this platform and elsewhere. My global namaste and uh, uh, to the star anchor, Dr. Amrita, who has been uh, always asking me to come on this platform. Uh, global namaste to Dr. Amrita also. And really, uh, uh, just the, uh, my piece, I can't sing, I can't mimic it, but I can say the healing earth, uh, the best Rig Vedic uh, sloka I can uh, uh, recite is, you all really live to that uh, 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 through your various connection, various verticals, be it organ uh, donation, be it climate changes, whatever you are doing, you are literally uh, living this Rig Vedic verse Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Ma Karchidu Bhag Bhavi. Sabi Sukhi ho, Sabi Nirogi ho, Sabka Kalyan ho, Kisi ko Dukka Koi vi Ans Praptu. Thank you, Nilji. Thank you. And keep rejoicing, keep celebrating. And your platform is really doing wonderful, wonderful things and getting connected with the Indian diaspora to the Vedic root, to the Indian culture, to the ethos. Thanks. I really appreciate you and love you all. Om Shanti. Pranay, I love the further extrapolation and Sister Genti's extrapolation. So all you women listening out there in social media and some of the contributors were allowed to come on the Zoom over here. Remember, you are special. We verily and truly believe that. So let us join the force and we bring the best women in media, best in politics, best in education, best housewives, best in every facet. And let's show the world that we are not challenging you men. Just come and embrace our attitude. And I'm, I'm being part of your gang here at the moment. And let us share love and joy. Sister Genti, Let's say hello to Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, who you know very well, and you've been there in the um, European Parliament as well. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, your message for Sister Genti. And after um, my dear Sister Lakshmi, then I'm going to have to leave you. Yes. Thank you. Namaste, Sister Jayanti. Jayanti ji, it's always a pleasure to see you. 
uh, I have to tell you that uh, you you are an epitome of womanhood, uh, so humble and so radiating all the time. Just looking at you, I feel so blessed and so peaceful. And um, once again, namaste to you. And I hope to see you sometimes at the Brahma Kumari Ashram. Thank you. Okay. And my dear brother Neil, really, really sincere congratulations, your attitude, many, many thanks for all that you're doing for the whole world, not just women, but for men and women and children. Thank you. And Sister Om Jenti, Shanti and I take your name. Sister Jenti, you've been a big inspiration for us, not just inspiration and a support. And a lot of people wanted to have a message, but thank you for staying around late. And we love you for all your contribution that you have supported us throughout the time since we started with uh, a pandemic. I think Nishit has got... Yes, go ahead, Nishit. A global namaste and greetings to all the wonderful souls. My name is Simran Ahuja and I'm delighted to be a part of the online global summit, Healthy Mind, Healthy Planet. This summit is taking place on the 31st of May from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. British summer time. The summit is brought to you by Healing Our Earth in cooperation with the Brahma Kumaris, where you shall experience live music and meditation from all the continents, right from Australia, moving around the world, and we end up with North America. You can log on to our website www.healingourearth.com and our Facebook page of Healing Our Earth. So I look forward to meeting you all as a host along with my brilliant co-hosts. Do remember and mark the date, the 31st of May from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. British Summer Time. See you soon. So Sister Genti, that was just for you. Four years back, we produced that together. <laughs> You were there with me all the way. You brought even the ex-Prime uh, Minister's wives and you brought some very prominent bishops and so many people from, I think we had 37 countries. We love you forever. Thank you very much. We'll be in touch with you for our women empowerment as a, as a patron. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Have a beautiful year ahead. So wonderful to have such a prominent spiritual leader who for so many years have been supporting. Of course, we know her well beyond for, for, for pandemic time. So it's so wonderful. So now we've got so many people that we are. Rotary and Ralph Boy, who is our regular producer for some prominent people. We've got our Ridi here. Renu has got another mimicry lined up. And then we have got our Guinness Book Record holder. I think she started when she was about only 15 with us and uh, and uh, and she holds a record for more than 136 languages. So Sucheta, uh, stay around, we'll be with you in a moment. We want your lovely voice over here as well. So Rotary and Lalgoil, your experience and your memories of healing our art. Uh, global Namaste, congratulations on reaching the milestone of your healing of our fourth anniversary. Your dedication and hard work have undoubtedly made a positive impact on the society. And when I look back, although my association with uh, healing of our earth is less than one year, and I was uh, uh, surprised, I will say even shocked when I was told that you have to be associated with healing our earth because I am propagating the about the cause of organ donation. And healing our earth is for the uh, benefit for the earth. But when I uh, studied and I have seen the uh, episodes produced by you, especially you, Mr. Neil Kumar, and then I found that you are doing it for the human mankind. You are doing for the humanity, whether it's a women empowerment, whether it's an environment, or even for the child's or mental health and whatnot, whatnot. And that's why uh, it is really a pleasure to be associated with you, although you know very well that from 7.30 to 9 p.m. I am in my Rotary meetings every Sunday, but I still have a feeling that I must attend your programs. And today, because I am traveling and my program was a very 
bit uh, more vibrant uh, the rotary meeting and it uh, linger on that's why it joined day so i still have a feeling the way what you are working is really commendable because for a platform like yours and the media attention and the, the panelists which you are bringing are uh, from around the world is giving a message that our earth is such a earth where all that with all that diversity if we come together with a positive mindset then we can change uh, the uh, the negativity those things which are happening nowadays and i must give uh, i must also mention and i was very much impressed when i came to know that you are organizing uh, with the mayor of uh, london every year the trafalgar square dipavali which is something uh, which shows that uh, when you are outside india because i stay in india whenever i go outside it it gives a sense of pride that uh, somebody is doing so inculcating such type of uh, um, uh, culture indian culture in other countries and this is really uh, a visionary can think and that's why i give full respect and regards to you mr neel kumar and my uh, i my regards to your entire team i coordinate uh, with uh, earlier with uh, your host uh, uh, ms vaishali and nowadays uh, ms amrita has been assigned to me the way they uh, talk to me uh, i feel sometimes i feel that why should i am giving that much time but the way they make me comfortable uh, they accept my sometimes unwanted demands uh, this is uh, really shows that they, your team is really dedicated for the cause and for you and mr neel kumar although i have not met you but i can see your personality the person you the the glow which is coming out from your voice uh, which is something impactful which is very much impactful and this shows that uh, you have a long way to go with entire world and uh, healing our all so i i pray to almighty god to give thy strength because i know that i will not be there much uh, in doubt in this earth but uh, you all will carry on and you will be celebrating golden jubilee platinum jubilee jubilee diamond jubilee and what not what not uh, and, and i wish all the best uh, as as my uh, one of the earlier panelists say that uh, we can't sing yes i can't sing i cannot do any mimicry but uh, but my wishes are always with you all and those who have given those very good uh, beautiful mimicry or the thoughts or the uh, song sang uh, the ram dhun sang by vaishali ji is really uh, smoothing and when when a person who is totally engaged in different aspects learn hear such types of things on the online platform it is really uh, very very remarkable uh, smoothing and i oh, pray really? to almighty god that you please continue this uh, ah. to a large extent see to it that it will be uh, uh, associated with more and more media organizations so that the reach will be more and the more and more people will be associated i will try to bring more and more people on your platform thank you once again to mr neel kumar and the entire team and global namaste to you all thank you rotary and thank you amrita wants to uh, say a, a round of appreciation for you and then we are going to move in a sing song zone all the way till 7 o'clock amrita your appreciation for rotary and lal goel thank you neel kumar uh, thank you rotary and lal goel you have always been a source of inspiration for me the, the kind of work you have been doing with everything that has been engaging around and the kind of contribution you bring bring the contributors in itself are so good and marvelous that they really give a very good meaning to our episode and we all personally look forward for your section because that also plays a very beautiful role and uh, virtually i think you have added up a melody in this music and i really hope this melody keeps jingling in everybody's life and you keep igniting everybody's life the way you have your own vision of empowering people through organ donation and the kind of noble cause you have been doing so my heartiest uh, wishes as well as our wishes from all the healing our family on behalf of that i would like to wish you as well all the very best and we would like to have your continuous support every time to ring this bell forever thank you so much Thank you very much. Global Namaste and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Rotten and Ral. Hang around because you are going to have some special rounds from a, from a Guinness Book of Records. So what we are going to do now, we're going to listen to one song from Sucheta. Sucheta, then be patient. We'll go to Renu, Vini Kalia. We go to Heman Shumeta. He sings as well and he's a yoga guru. We go to Ridi, who actually chants as well. We'll go to Mala in a while as well. She's out and about. So she will be coming too. So we've got so many people lined up. Sucheta, unmute yourself. Your first song for us and then stay around. Global Namaste to everyone. And uh, first of all, hearty congratulations to Healing Our Earth uh, for four years. And it's really hard to believe that uh, these many years have passed, uh, passed since I've also been a part of Healing Our Earth's journey. And um, thank you for um, all your support, um, especially during my Guinness record as well. And uh, I thank uh, Ms. Alexandra, um, Ms. Vaishali and uh, Neil Kumarji for inviting me. Um, so wishing Team Healing Our Earth all the very best for your future and for um, all the services that you do. Um, I would like to start off with a very beautiful prayer song. Itni shakti hume de na data Man ka vishwas kamzor ho na Itni shakti hume de na data Man ka vishwas kamzor ho na हम चले नेक रस्ते पे हमसे भूल कर भी कोई भूल हो ना इतनी शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर हो ना दूर ज्ञान के हो अंधेरे तू हमें ज्ञान की रोशनी दे हर बुराई से बचते रहे हम जितनी भी दे भली जिंदगी दे बैर हो ना किसी का किसी से भावना मन में बदले की हो ना हम चले नेक रस्ते पे हमसे भूल कर भी कोई भूल हो ना इतनी शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर हो ना हम चले नेक रस्ते पे हमसे भूल कर भी कोई भूल हो ना इतनी शक्ति हमें दे न दाता मन का विश्वास कमजोर हो ना दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल सुचेता एंड एंड यू नो यू सिंग इन सो मेनी लैंग्वेज यू स्टार्टेड विथ अस व्हेन आई थिंक यू वर जस्ट फिफ्टीन योर डैड वाज सो इंकरेजिंग हु इज अ डॉक्टर हिमसेल्फ and you are in dubai so cheta i know you might have to go in a while in just for a few moments but what other language do you think we got we got the usa to, uh, troop over here with the love english or maybe french or spanish which is your favorite two numbers favorite that are yours in different language i have a lot of favorite it's really hard to um choose one but um i would like to sing a few lines of a croatian song for ms alexandra who's um who i'm really grateful to um thank you for all your support during my uh, guinness journey and yes. uh, so i would like to sing a few lines of a croatian song for you please go ahead mogu ikad mi sunca nestane mogu ikad bez svega ostane Mogu, mogu al neću bez tebe Kada mi zima pokuca na prozore Jer vani je hladno, na zimu miriše Trebaš mi, trebaš sve više i više Prazinsti stižu, ljudi su boji A meni se samo s tobom voli Jer dani se kraći, a noći se tuge 
Trebaš mi, trebaš da otjeraš tuge Da me u ponoć poljubiš prvi Usreći srce i samo me zagrli Wow, it's so beautiful. Well, Alexander would like to say thank you. And we'll let you sing one more to Chela because you have to go uh, stay around if you can. Uh, instead of Spanish, choose a French one because uh, Renu will be doing Spanish a bit later. She, she goes to a lot of Hispanic countries. So maybe one French and say hello to Alexandra live. You are meeting her here. <laughs> hello, it's wonderful seeing you. <laughs> So nice to meet you, Sucheta. I'm so glad that he could manage to get you so many countries and everybody really, when they heard your voice, you know, you were singing in Latvia and in Macedonia and in so many languages, everybody felt like your devotion and your service to, especially to the cause of the climate change and everybody was so willing to help and support you. And so we are here for you and thank you so much for planting these seeds of positivity and, and artistic uh, value in our lives. Thank you very much. Really means a lot. Thank you. Brilliant, Sucheta. Let's have a French one from you. French one, yeah. Um. Et tu l'aimes si fort, si fort, au point je sais que tu serais perdu sans EOL. Tu l'aimes si fort, si fort, que j'ai besoin de toi. Thank you. Wow, it was so beautiful. Is the uh, doctor around or is he? We'd like oh. to thank him as well. <laughs> he's not around, but he's watching this, so. Super. And, and what message would you like to give the earth before you go? You can do a singing message or anything you like before you go. Um, well, I think, I mean, I'm not ex as experienced as everybody else here. I'm very young, so. Um, one thing that I've always um, really believed in and you know held close to my heart and something that I've been trying my best to you know um, spread to the world is um, to keep yourself away from vices like tobacco, alcohol and drugs and instead um, indulge yourself in musical or sport or sportive or you know artistic highs um, which is much better for you and um, while doing that you're not only healing yourself but also healing our earth so that's something that I really like to you know wish um, everybody around me and I wish this is some, you know, everybody um, just, you know, understood this and um, incorporated this into their life. Uh, so Cheta, you said you are not experienced, but you eloquently delivered a very lovely message. We all love you over here. Say hello to Dr. Satish uh, for constantly supporting and we wish you all the best and we are waiting for the next Guinness Book of Record. You are, of course, from Dubai and a resident Healing Our Earth singer. We wish you all the best and you have been part of our journey since pandemic. Thank you very much, Sucheta. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And all the very best to Healing Arat. So how wonderful. She started when she was just uh, 15. She even came with so many languages over there. And now we've got so many people. So we're going to extend our program beyond our time. So because we'll be going to USA in, in 20, 30 minutes as well. We've got so many people. Let's say hello to our Ridhi who is our yoga and meditation uh, producer over here. And then what we want to do, we want to go to Hemansu to get a hello and a message from him. Then we go to Vini Kalia, then we go to Renu, then we go to uh, Danada, then we go back to Vaishal. We've got so many people and lined up. So, global namaste, Ridhi, and your experience at Healing Our Earth. Global namaste, family. And it's such a pleasure that we've actually hit four years anniversary today from the very beginning just to bring together health and well-being wellness for the whole of the global planet helping the global planet to heal and it's so true what Neil Pai says we can't hold our breath for longer than two minutes we can survive without food we can survive without water but oxygen is the real medicine so to keep ourselves well fit and healthy and for many more years to come as well maybe have amazing time and also congratulations on the global 22nd century women's forum as well which promises to do some amazing work i can't wait to see what unfolds in there too 
Beautiful, okay. Riddhi. Stay around. We'll talk more about the Women Forum as well. Himanshu, keep ready because you are not just a yoga, you are a singer as well. Let's go to Vini Kalia. If Vini, you already put your hand up. One song from you, then we go to Mumbai. So we are we are going from different countries. Vini, Global Namaste. You are a resident singer at Healing Our Earth. How are you? I'm good, Nilji. Global Namaste and uh, many, many congratulations today. And I'm very glad to be here to be part of this fourth anniversary of uh, Healing Our Earth. And uh, I would like to uh, recite my poem, little poem, which I have just written um, before I started, uh, before I joined you. So um, many, many congratulations. I wish Healing Our Earth a very, very happy fourth anniversary. I wish Healing Our Earth a very, very happy fourth anniversary. Let's celebrate the moments of joy, the moments of glory. With great efforts of Neil Nishit and all HOE team, this has come so far. We are so proud of it. Healing our earth, shining like a star. Various, through various programs, singing, music, musical sounds, is spreading positivity, happiness, and smiles around. I wish and pray that healing our earth may rise day by day. Thank you. And now I'll sing a bhajan. Prabhu ham pekri pa karina Prabhu ham pitaya karina Prabhu ham pekri pa karina Prabhu ham pitaya karina Bekunt to yahi hai Erade mera ma karina Prabhu ham pitaya karina Beautiful, Vinny. Stay down because we are going to come back to you. Riddhi, let's introduce Himanshu Mehta, our yoga guru from Mumbai. And then he also sings. And then we're going to go to Renu. Then we go to Tanada. We go to Sharap. We have so many people lined up. So Riddhi, introduce uh, Himanshu and he will deliver his message. Over to you, Riddhi. Global Namaste, Himanshu Bhai. It's lovely to see you on here again. 
And for those of you that don't know, Himash Bai has been with us right from the very beginning and sharing his yoga wisdom and passion, which he knows so much about. He's an Advent um, protector of dharma. He's also a practicer of yoga himself. And if you're ever at Juhu Beach on a Saturday morning, feel free to go down and join his sessions. I've seen that it actually has massive benefits, health benefits. I've heard loads of stories about his yoga sessions, although I haven't been myself. But I have read his book, which is Making of a Yogi, which is available on Amazon to Global Namaste, Himanshi Ji. Please do go ahead. Global Namaste to all my family members of Eating Your Earth and happy anniversary. And may we celebrate hundreds, I mean, whatever number of uh, uh, anniversaries we can. And Earth is certainly healing with Eating Your Earth. Especially we are all healing, I would say that. Yeah. And what an amazing platform uh, Deep Kumar has created. Uh, hats off to him, I would say. Uh, thousand salutations. Okay. Because uh, I haven't come across any such platform globally, which has been continuing from such a long time. And that's also free online platform and connecting people all over the globe. And all are connected spiritually. Really speaking, I mean, so that's an amazing work he's been doing. Lovely. And I feel proud to be the family member of Healing the World. And of course, you're not just a family member either. You're actually a yoga expert and a yoga guru in your own right. And you've guided so many of us here at Healing Our Earth as well. Yes. Um, we can't hear you. Are you on mute? But I've got to say, um, for those of you that don't know, um, Himanshu Ji does actually have a very fascinating Surya Namaskar program, which goes deeper into the chakras. So it enables us to bring our asanas together with our pranayam, our breathing, and together with the energy and the prana that we feel, not just in our bodies, but connecting with the family as a whole, connecting with the universe, connecting with the wider consciousness so that's something that he's actually developed which is so exciting Namashu, can you try your sound now please you can try your sound now can you speak please okay i think Himanshu is struggling with sound so really if you can privately message to him we'll be back with you in a moment over here uh let's now now connect over here let's welcome our uh, usa uh, resident coordinator and a host sharon rose sharon a global namaste to you you have been almost four years with us you came as a contributor in the women international women's day and then we loved what you did and we said would you like to be host and he said yes and would you like to be a producer and he said yes and would you be our coordinator? You've been with us ever since, and you are part of different uh, groups of healing our earth. Sharon, global namaste to you. The global, global namaste, Neil, and everyone, all my beloved friends at Healing Our Earth. It is such, as always, a joy to be with you. You are the most amazing people, bringing love and grace and beauty and empowerment and healing to everyone throughout the world so sharon stay around renu has got renu has got fun mimicry and a song for you renu was our pandemic host she was there she was also a proofreader she was a writer she was a singer she was a musician renu let's bring a bit of fun hello everyone hi sharon fantastic to see you again after a long time I don't know if you remember me, but I remember you. And really beautiful, Viniji. Thank you so much for your lovely poem, especially written for the fourth anniversary. It's great to honor each other like this because it inspires us and urges us to move forward. So this is a little song. It's what we would call an EHV, an Education and Human Values song. And it's about a very small creature. So. In Kenya, Simaji, when you're in when you're in Nairobi, what's the smallest creature you see crawling on the ground? 
So I can say a little ants, you know. Oh, okay, Neil Vi knows. There's a little ant. So this is not me singing now to you. This is going to be a little ant singing to you. And when you hear the ant say the word sneeze, I would like you to all go, I chew as loud as you can. Okay, are you ready? We'll do a little rehearsal. I want to at least, even if I can't hear you, I want to see you doing this. Okay, Vishali, you too. So when you hear the word sneeze, right? Ready? One, two, three, sneeze. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Somebody from yours, that other very nice. Kulkani, that was a good sneeze, thank you. So here we go, this is the ant song. Remember to listen out for the word sneeze. I am a little ant. Oh, please don't step on me. I only sting when I am scared. I squash so easily. You are so very big. I'm so very small, but even if I stepped on you, it wouldn't hurt at all. No, it wouldn't, Neil. If you don't hurt me, I will hurt you. If you respect me, I respect you too. You know I'll blow away if you only sneeze. But you, so even if you can't love me, just don't hurt me, please. I am a little ant. Oh, please don't step on me. I only stay when I am scared. I squash so easily. You are so very big. And I'm so very small. Well, even if I pushed you hard, you wouldn't even fall. No, you wouldn't, Lata. If you don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. If you respect me, I respect you too. You know I'll blow away if you always sneeze. I, 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 too. Excuse me. So even if you can't love me, just don't hurt me, please. So even if you can't love me, just don't hurt me, please. So even if you can't love me, just don't hurt me, please. Thank you. Goodbye now. Goodbye. I've got to go. Thank you so much, Healing Arab. Global Namaste. Wow, Renny, you Renu, you haven't lost your touch. Renu was there because we also used to do children episodes because they were all stuck at home. And boy, did we entertain them. Renu, we love you. You are part of the 22nd Century Global Women Four team as well. Just before you go, yes. tell us a bit more about the 22nd Century Global Women. So this is a very exciting, visionary project that goes far beyond this century and the next century. It's paving the ground, it's paving the way, creating a structure and a platform that will enable every woman and every man who wants to enhance the profile of women the world over. As Neil has already said uh, before, that it's by women, for women, from the women and with the men, it's also to be through that platform. It's to give an opportunity to women the world over to have a say in a variety of um, variety of disciplines, variety of jobs, um, all kinds of uh, platforms that women shine in. Um, it is going to be enhancing for money management, for life management, for health management. Um, and it will link with the woman who is the housewife, the homemaker, as well as the woman who is in parliament, the woman who makes decisions at home and teaching that woman who makes decisions at home, who thinks she is very small, but she's actually an accountant. She is a driver. She is a, a, a coach. She's everything rolled into one, but made to be so small to enhance all her abilities to reflect to her to validate her so she sees herself as a global giant not just some little lady sitting in a house making rotli it is somebody to basically to empower to validate and to love the woman that is inside each one of us including every man there's this nari shakti in each one of us on the planet so neil bhai well done congratulations and everyone who's here please participate in this extraordinary, visionary 22nd century project. Isn't it wonderful, Renu? 
Uh, you mentioned it just like how Lord Ranger said as well. You extrapolated on that. And we've got the core team members here, some of the leaders, Vaishali, Sharon, Seema, Danada, including Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, who has been appointed as the European Parliament Outreach for us. Uh, um, for America, Danada, Dr. Sheila and Sharon will be leading North America. Seema will be leading Kenya with Mina Ben and uh, Caroline. Vaishali and Renu will be part of Europe team with Alexandra. We are still placing few people. Then we've got our other team members who will be participating as well. We'll be, we'll be Some of the women over here will become part of that. So it's so wonderful. Renu, thank you very much for being here. Thank we will tell the women say, a bit more about it. Thank you, Neil. Can I just say a big global namaste and a big hug, virtual hug, to my dear brother Nishit Pai. Nishit, you are extraordinary. I love you so much and I appreciate every single thing that you do, not just for me, Healing Our Rats, but for all your customers and all your family. You treat everybody with so much respect and dignity. I really learn a lot from you. And lots of love, Vaishali, Siva Ji, Dr. Lakshmi Ji, Riddhi Ji, Danada Ji, Sharon Ji, Neil Bhai. Thank you so much, everybody who I can't see. There's videos I can't see, but thank you very much. Mwah! Global Namaste. Thank you, Renu. And Renu mentioned about our Nishit. So Nishit has got a few messages lined up for us. So over the next few minutes, let's listen to a few messages. Then we'll go back to Winnie and we'll have Lata has got a message as well. Alexandra has got a message. So we're not going to stop if we overrun as well. So Nishit, hit us with some more messages that you've got. Sure. So what I'll do is uh, maybe I will just start with a message here. Bear with me one moment. I'm going to share my screen. Sure. And Seema, Vaishali, you're going to tell more about the women, 22nd century global women. Why 22nd century global women? What's the thought behind it? Sharon, uh, Riti, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, Lata, all about women. Ah, Dr. Milan Shah, our anchor. Global namaste to Healing Our Earth and a happy fourth anniversary. Uh, Dr. Milan Shah here, who was very active uh, in the beginning of Healing Our Earth back in 2020 when we first started off doing our guide for mantras. And uh, still following Healing Our Earth when I can and still very happy to host as well. And it's been really busy with the NHS National Health Service in the UK. So pleasing to see I'm actually at a wedding at the moment and I haven't got access to the internet to go to join you today. But Neil Kumar and all the team, uh, Amrita and uh, everyone there, Nishit as well, uh, big namaste, always glad to be part of the family. Take care and namaste. Bye-bye. Dr. Bill and Shah was one of our anchor and uh, contributor. And in pandemic, he used to bring the team, so we used to alleviate the fears of COVID. That was beautiful. Nishit, what else have you lined up? Sharon, you will have to give further and better particulars about the women as well, while Nishit is propagating something for us. And here comes Mina, our resident singer. Global namaste to everyone. Nishit, if you could maximize the screen this for her, please. Ready from Kings. The northern part of Australia, I am at Great Barrier Reef, as you can see behind me. And uh, today we are celebrating fourth birthday of Healing Our Earth platform. Uh, I would like to wish a huge, huge congratulations to Mr. Neil Kumar, the founder of this wonderful platform. And I am so privileged to be part of it and I have witnessed it grow. Um, and um, here is a song for you all. Panchi Nadia Pavan Ke Chhonke Koi Sar Had Na Inhi Roke Sar Had In Saalo Ke Once again, a very happy birthday to Healing Our Earth and many more to come. 
global namaste how very wonderful that was uh, meena trivedi our resident singer uh, nishit just before you bring a next one keep it ready we got vini kalya who has got another song ready for us so we'll go to vini listen to the song we go back to you nishit and we will get some more messages vini unmute yourself and deliver your next song Yeah, my uh, voice is volume is okay or uh, is very nice. Everything is fine. Nice? It is all perfect. Just sing. Okay. It's perfect. Right. So I'm going to um, sing this song, Nilji. Um, it is for healing our earth. That you know, कुछ भी नहीं होगा लेकिन हम लोग we will be always there for healing our earth. So <clears throat> the song is. Nand ye chand hoga. नतारे रहेंगे मगर हम हमेशा तुम्हारे रहे नई चांद होगा बिछड़ कर चले जाए तुम से कहीं तो ये समझ For those who didn't understand the lyrics, so I was watching us on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and website. Vinny was saying, "The moon may not be there, the stars may not be there, but forever we will remain yours." How wonderful! That means she is blessing, healing our earth. That whatever happens to the earth, the healing of our earth will always be there forever. Nishit, let's let's uh, uh, see a couple of uh, messages from you. Om Shanti. Hello. Happy, happy fourth anniversary to Healing Our Earth team, Nil Bhai, and everyone for such wonderful seva happening all over the world. This is an international forum, and I'm Amarjeet, Dr. Amarjeet from Bangkok, Thailand, currently in Dubai. And um, sorry, couldn't join you live, but would love to send all my uh, wishes because Healing Our Earth. is what we are here for peace on earth as we heal ourselves we also heal the earth so the name of the organization is also very appropriate and it's an international forum so everyone can join from all over the world and i'm the thailand representative and it's been a pleasure to work with healing our earth to help each of us heal ourselves so that we can heal the world happy happy fourth anniversary and may you have many many more years of success and lots of service om shanti let's chant om for prosperity breathe in om om shanti how wonderful our dr amachit kaur dua from thailand a very senior member of healing our earth team a scholar herself and a brahma kumari follower too and she was uh, she was linked with the government of thailand for one of the 
thesis and dissertation. So that is wonderful. Nishid, maybe we can take one more before we go live to USA as well. And uh, Danada, get ready because we want to know more about the women from you and the Veda Mela. Ah, we are playing part of our song, are we? Happy fourth anniversary to our Heal the Earth family. This is Timmy Cruz from the Philippines. Never stop believing that your angel watches over you. Isn't it true? Never stop sharing all the kindness that's inside of you because that's who you are circles of love circles of love never ending nor beginning round and round reach out and touch Feel the link of love holding you, never ever letting go. You and I are linked by the link of love. I love you. Happy anniversary once again. And thank you so much to my brother and my friend, Neil Kumar. You are such a blessing to me and to all of us. Congratulations. Okay, this was a surprise from me because Timmy Cruz is from Philippines. She is a singer that can turn your chat into singing instantly. I believe at the time she was in a theater there because she was actually acting in a very big uh, production down there in Philippines. So what a wonderful, uh, what shall we do? Uh, send her a, a thank you message directly from me. She's in touch with me. So it'll be, it'll be beautiful to uh, send that to her. Uh, Nishid, let's pause for a moment. Let's go to USA. I think our our lovely Sharon is with John, if I believe. Is that John with you, Sharon? Yes, our, our a wonderful soul, John, who has got more than 50 years worth of experience, not only in environment, but is a person with wisdom. Sharon, global namaste and global namaste, John. Thank you. Global namaste. John has just returned from how many months now? Three months three months in Baja teaching people um, in the way of nature, which we really at Healing Our Earth love and the world of nature. And I'm so happy that he's here with me today to celebrate the fourth anniversary. Yeah, it's wonderful. Great to be here. And Sharon, John has been part of us, not just in one episode, many episodes. Whenever we require, he rolls up at your place and to the wonderful uh, vicinity of Preston, which is such a beautiful uh, a place in Colorado for those of you who don't know where it is. And it's so nice where Sharon always share, shares the panoramic view of a soothing mountain with a fresh oxygen beaming, with the sun beaming on her and the fresh vegetables as well, because she's part of Seema's kitchen team as well. So Sharon, you've also got, apart from we want John to give us blessing, uh, we also want, maybe you've got a couple of videos as well lined up for us. Yes, I have a video of uh, Michael Henry Dunn. Yeah, so please I go ahead and share, and then we're going to move to Danada, back to Ridi. We'll go to Lakshmi Vyas as well, and Nishid has got some more uh, messages. So we don't stop till we cover everybody. Go ahead, Sharon, over to you. And I want to tell John about the uh, global Veda Mela that we're bringing here. Yes, and you and Danada will definitely tell people more about this. So let's look at this uh, Sharon's wonderfully produced movie reels for us. Go ahead. This is from a performance that he did with, and you'll see at the end, Dr. Dean, who was with us uh, recently. He was there live today earlier. He had signed in. Oh, great. Great. Okay. This is uh, the mountains of Crestone. It's actually the view from my house. <laughs> Stem 
of the night From the darkness comes a light And I know in my heart it is you And I know in my heart it is you When the fire in my soul burns with longing for the gold And I know in my heart it is you And I know in my heart it is you Truth is revealed, all the sorrow will be healed, and I know in my heart it is you. J.J. Ma, 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 J.J. Ma. In the still of the night. soothingly beautiful that is Vaishali, Seema, Ridhi, what are your thoughts? Isn't it wonderful? I I was like like I always say that it transcends 
affects us, you know, and especially the pictures which was relating when it came with Ma Durga and different Swarup, like No Durga. So nine different forms and the one picture which was so, so related, it was resonating and uh, the, the body of Ma, but Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, all three were here. So the Param Shakti is a Parashakti, not Param Shakti. The Parashakti was uh, portraying that. So amazing, amazing. The Divi I'm speechless, actually. Honestly, I'm short of words at the moment. But such a divine, such a divine singing. Amazing. Seema, what, what are your thoughts on this? I loved it. Okay, so I, I love all this new age music. I love Krishna Das and I love Manish Vyas. And this is what I listen to on a daily basis in my home. And what I love is the combination of the harmonium, which is a traditional Indian musical instrument, combining it with the Western language. But I couldn't help but get my eyes off Babaji. There was a picture of Babaji in the background. And I, 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 I do have uh, very close friends who have, have had amazing experiences by just saying the word Babaji and repeating Babaji, 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 and they have sensed his presence. So it was a very, a very, very profound and very deep um, experience for me. And um, Taran, thank you so much. You know, you brought all these images of Mata Durga who is the embodiment of Shakti, the Kundalini energy. And uh, as he was singing about darkness and lights, it's only through an awakened Kundalini that we can actually travel up Asa Nadi and reach our crown chakra into enlightenment. And she's actually depicted as a snake. The Kundalini energy is actually depicted as a snake. So it brought back very profound memories of my time in the Siddha Yoga Ashram in Ganeshpuri with Guru Mai under the School of Thought with Baba Muktananda because Kashmir Shaivism really celebrates Kundalini energy and enlightenment um, through. So Seema, so we are going to, beautiful. Seema, beautiful. we're going to take a round of chakra and Kundalini in a moment. Stay around, don't go. Vini, this is the first time you saw this video and you are obviously a resident singer. What did you feel when that was going on? So, um, if you ask me honestly, I had somebody at the door, so I just saw just a little bit. That's why I just um, stopped my video. Okay, um, Vini, we keep something ready. We are going to come back to you as well. Rata, you have a poem lined up, so keep it ready, but we take Riddhi's comment over here. But I keep your poem ready, so we go straight to you in a moment. Riddhi, what did you feel? You've listened to this before. We loved it, so we wanted it. What did you feel? Absolutely sensational. And just to add to what um, Vishali and Simandi have already said to us, it's just beautiful to see the way that Nada Brahma works together. The harmonium as an instrument really helps to open up the heart chakra and to help the prana to rise through the kundalini, as Simandi was actually saying. And it's such a beautiful experience um, to bring that together in a divine way that enables us to really start to look at things a little bit deeper. And there it was basically the sense of shaguna meditation, which is basically where we can start to um, look at the form of Brahma, look at the form of Mata, look at the form of um, the Ishwarup that this meditation actually takes us to. And the way that I always look at mantras and chanting, Nada Brahma is basically as a way to be able to lift ourselves up because we can start to embed those qualities deeply within ourselves. We can start to look at things and to resonate with them. And I thought that was such a beautiful lyric to actually start to look at the qualities of um, ourselves, the qualities of our Svarupa, and relating that back to nature in such a beautiful divine way. So thank you so much, Sharon, for bringing, you always have these amazing people that you can bring to us on healing. And it's such a 
pleasant experience. It's such a divine experience to to share that on a, a platform like this as well. So thank you for that you do as well. Ridi, eloquently put, we are going to go to Lata's poem and then we go straight to John's message. Then Danada has two things to talk to us, Veda Mela and the women, 22nd century, what she thinks of it. So Lata, your poem, please. And then we move to John for a message and then Danada. It's a few words I felt moved to put down on paper. And it says, healing our earth has inspired me. I thank our lucky stars for healing our earth. It was born with birth pangs in March 2020. It continued its journey, slow and steady, taking baby steps until now we have reached this fourth year in 2024. Healing our earth is there for us. Healing our earth loves you. Heal People love healing our earth. Countless blessings be with healing our earth. Peace be upon healing our earth. Healing our earth is connectable wherever I am globally. Thank you. And it shall go on and on and on. <laughs> well done, Lata. Stay around. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be coming back to you on that as well. Let's go straight to Danada. Danada has joined us a uh, few months back and she has come lips and bound. She's already leading one project on behalf of Healing Our Earth. And she's going to tell us more about it, not just that project, but she's also one of the lead member at uh, the 22nd century women as well. So Danada, tell us both, number one, first, what you think of what Sharon showed us and then the women project that you know and the Veda Mel. Go ahead. Say to all of us, I would say, uh, this is a beautiful platform. And uh, I'm very thankful, Neelji, for having me into this journey and uh, woven. And I'm very proud to be part of this, uh, that every action we take, every word we speak, every intention we set contributes at a brighter and healthier future for all. I feel each day we come together to learn, to heal, to inspire each other, and forging that connections that transcend boundaries uh, and empower positive change. On this special occasion, I not only want to uh, reaffirm everyone that we continue our commitment to nourish our planet, our communities and ourselves. We are bringing so many seeds that are going to be continuing to grow this community. And a very happy anniversary to Healing Our Earth. Um, here is to many years of growth and transformation and collective impact. I would like to dedicate a Sanskrit birthday song, if with all permissions, I'm, I'm not at such great as uh, uh, other singers here, but I just thought that uh, it is such a great occasion to uh, find a friend at uh, our 22nd Global Women's Forum, what we're going to do uh, to talk with each other's, not only issues, but empowering that positive change. And we're going to bring that to this platform together. So I would just take a moment and sing this and I'll explain the Sanskrit meaning. This is for the Healing Our Earth um, birthday uh, anniversary song and it it is it is given to as as a friend so here i go janma dinam idam hai priye sakhe shantano tu te sarvada mudam janma dinam idam hai priye sakhe Shantano tu te sarvadamudam prarthayamahe tava bhavashatayushi ishwara sada tvamcharakshatu punya karmana 
कीर्ति मर्जया जीवन तव जीवन भवा सार्थक सार्थक द ब्यूटिफुल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस पोएम विच से all friends of mine at healing our earth may this anniversary and birthday of fourth of yours bring in auspiciousness and happiness we pray that we enjoy 100 beautiful years ahead as we are in our 22nd century of years of life and may the lord always protect us may you and us earn the frame of your and our virtues actions and may our life be fulfilling and profound to make a difference on this earth to empower thank you so much now a little bit about veda mela uh, we definitely are so excited you just seen a little bit virgin what michael dunji has done here with the sharon's project and sharon Uh, there's something biology happened to my body my tears were rolling and my hairs were standing and i cannot tell you the ahead of journey in veda mela we are going to bring the fusion of health and wellness and the art and culture in the different aspect we not uh, just going to be celebrating the indian culture or the indic sciences but we are going to celebrate something more auspicious and ancient that is going to bring from all world's secret um different cultures tibetan chinese indian shamani greek uh, we have uh, joined so many hands together and all the bases all of that the mother and the finding nurturing mind behind this is nilji and uh, we really thank you uh, for the the actions and the the blessings that you give it to us and uh, for just to become better it's such a wonderful feeling and thank you so much and happy anniversary to us and our healing our earth thank you thank you danada what a wonderful uh chanting that you did i think it was beautiful you explained to it very nicely and and clearly and yes it is us together we are creating offshoots of healing our earth so it's very exciting with amela is that you actually delivered such a successful one with the taxes you know organization where tapas was such a beautiful and you are in touch with other people and we want to bring ayurveda and veda and vedic knowledge under one umbrella uh together and we're going to meet sharan pretty soon and other people in the team so you're going to visit colorado from there which is so nice shortly we'll be going to our our singing dancing duo duo you know um sarit and jerry sarit and jerry hello global namaste uh, sharan you love them because your origin is from israel so you got affinity with them as both the ladies are so jerry and sarit stand by we're going to come back to you on that um uh, vishali i want to have your perception of you on what you understand for 22nd century global women then we want to go to john john has got a lot of wisdom and he's also going to he's going to be supporting you women because he has supported regularly they are having internet problem there in craxton right now because the winds are very high vishali what's your understanding of 22nd century global women 22nd century global women is all about empowering women from all walks of life it's about promoting spirituality education mind management we want we want to see women in every area of life every profession we want to see women thriving and excelling in every area this is not just a a forum this is not just an organization that we are building we are building a legacy we are creating a legacy for the future generations of women and it not only just includes a uh, spirituality education but much more we also believe in in environmental because this is an issue 
right now, Sister Jenti and Vishakha ji, I think all were focusing on, you know, um, uh, the waste management and the environment, the pollution. What are we leaving behind for our next generation? So 22nd century women is fostering skill development. We want every woman to have that skill set so that they don't have to uh, be dependent on anybody in whenever it comes to finance. And especially in India, you know, I'm from India. I have seen in India, my, my grandparents, my mom, my mom never worked, you know, but I feel that homemakers, my, I, I have a huge respect for my mom, my masi, everybody. They are, they are homemakers. They're the pillars of, because of them today, who, who, whoever we are, we four siblings, we could achieve because of my mom. So we are here to honoring and, uh, of giving awards to even homemakers. So 22nd Century Women Forum, it is about environment and addressing various issues, like I said, plastic pollution and sustainability. So, and even by advocating for just laws and politics and honoring the contributions of women from all walks of life. So I'm excited about uh, sharing this with everybody because all women here, wonderful women, and like um, uh, Dhanada just now shared her vision. And this is just a beginning. And this is just a beginning. And we have much more work to do. And we are doing that work. We are willing. And we are all fired up. And we know that challenges are going to be part of. Because when we set a higher goal, we know the challenges. But we are ready for any challenges. And together we can. And together we will. Because we want to. Thank, Thank you, Vaishali. I love. Together we can, we will. You ain't seen nothing yet. So the women are getting together. They are going to forge friendship, sisterhood, womanhood. They are going to enhance each other. So if you are a woman listening outside this platform and you like to be connected, please kindly contact me directly in first instance and have a one-to-one, -one, one hour chat before you can enter the women's zone so you are trained for it. It'll be beautiful. And at this point, uh, let's go back to USA. Uh, Sharon, I'm aware that you've got high winds and uh, you might be cutting on and off. But we want a message from John for Healing Our Earth and what the women are going to create. And then we'll go to Mita, who has connected back to us as well. So John, Global Namaste and welcome to Healing Our Earth. Thank you. I'm going to sit up a little bit here. Yeah, it's wonderful to be back here. I'm so inspired by the Healing on Earth uh, process and the fact that it's celebrating its fourth anniversary is fantastic. Uh, we've been very busy here uh, making our own contributions best we can. Uh, recently, we began a series of Thanksgiving events, uh, which we hope will build into a Thanksgiving concert for Mother Earth. And uh, we've been doing these on the on the equinoxes, where we do have a get together with some music and uh, ceremony, simple ceremony, to honor nature and Mother Earth, and then to uh, have it be a, an official Thanksgiving from our species to nature itself, nature herself. <clears throat> so that's one thing that's begun this this past year. We began our first. Uh, First celebration of that sort. Another thing that's been happening is we've been able to secure uh, close to 500 acres are dedicated now to a piece of land that are being uh, it's being set aside for nature herself. So the the ownership of the land will be held by nature herself, the land herself, the water, the trees, the forests. The sacred sites there that go back 15,000 years, the sacred meditation seats made of stone. So all those will be uh, set aside, but they will help be held under their own system of their own rights. They own themselves. And uh, so the entire, we call this the sacred land sanctuary. I hope it will serve as a kind of example of how many other places around the world could set aside places where nature itself can hold the ownership of itself as an example of how we're, we begin to honor nature as 
inherently, uh, you might say, the mother of all. And to honor that with a physical representation of the rights of nature being held by a piece of land for all the trees and flowers and plants and the animals and the, and the elements, the waters, the earth itself, the sky, the open space, the air, the trees, the fire, <clears throat> all these are held. John, I loved what you mentioned, 500 acres. For those of you who are just wondering how big that is, that's over 2 million square meters, effectively like a little village. So what a wonderful news that is. No wonder, Sharon, you are giving thumbs up for it. So it's so beautiful. Vaishali, you will love it because you love environment and sustainability. And John is a master, not just in Creston or Colorado, he was, I think, one of the national leaders as well in leading uh, associations or uh, organization in environment in a very big way. Isn't that right, John? Well, I worked around the world, including in Nepal for 15 years, and helping set aside national parks and one that preserves all of their planet. Also, was very much involved in branding the term environment back in the 60s, so that we had a term that was not based on resources, which are taker based kind of ideas, but more we are part of the humans are part of a living system of plants and animals and and beings of nature and we work together collaboratively as a whole system. And so we chose the word environment back in the back in the mid sixties to represent a non resource based uh, relationship to the rest of life. John, um, you are a library of wisdom. Stay around. We still want to talk to you more. Sharon stay around. Let's say a quick hello to Mita if she before she loses signal. Mita, global namaste. How has healing our earth helped you, and what is healing our earth meant to you? Yeah, I think I've been uh, involved uh, as a facilitator when we started with the global Gayatri mantra uh, uh, recitation, and I think that so possibly I've been involved right from the beginning. So it has been a long journey doesn't look like four years. It It is um, a platform which uh, Neil, you have given to everyone, uh, irrespective of uh, they are very popular, very educated, or they are no wise. And it's a community platform. I think it's uh, nothing like that I've seen ever before. So it's amazing that it has grown to this uh, huge uh, uh, empire now, to this capacity. And uh, new projects are coming up as well. I heard about the women's uh, uh, conference or something uh, similar on those lines. And then I remember bringing, uh, you know, uh, Healing Our Earth several times, uh, uh, different kind of people during Navratri where, uh, you know, novices singers from West Bengal, from uh, South of India, from wherever, you know, and you accommodated all different kinds of songs. I remember, I think it's 2020 or 2021. I don't remember exactly, but it must be 2020. And uh, also some postdoctoral research uh, scientists uh, doing the research on sleep and circadian cycle, and then from a university singers as well. So I, I know that some were part of the integrated health, some were part of something else, but in a nutshell, it's a fabulous uh, platform, which uh, uh, should be even more expanded and uh, even more, uh, I know we are in many countries now, but uh, should be reachable to many people so that uh, areas which we have not yet covered subject wise, subject matter wise, we can cover that. People we have not reached, we can reach that, but we have done a lot and I mean, I have done, almost nothing compared to you guys who are regularly there, especially Neil, you uh, relentless living there every Sunday uh, for this many hours. So wishing all the best and many, many congratulations for the fourth anniversary. Thank you, Mita, for sharing your memories at Healing Our Earth. And yes, Healing Our Earth embraced anybody, any race, any creed. There were no discriminations, no gender bias. Everybody was allowed to heal and just go and gain some confidence, happiness, healings, energy, 
bring their energy and share with other love. So healing of our earth is a house with no keys, no windows, no doors. Nobody can steal anything. So everybody is welcome all the time, every time. Let's go to Jerry and Sarit. Global Namaste, Sarit and Jerry, how are you two? Global Namaste, everyone. Wow, wow. Um, can't believe we're four. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are four. <laughs> you, you guys are amazing, seriously. The amount of nourishing co content that you have sent out into the world since COVID has been absolutely phenomenal. I really put my heart my heart out to you, my hand on my heart, and just say thank you on behalf of everyone who's received some knowledge and wisdom and love and feeling of unity from everything that you do, because I don't know any other organization that's done that to the extent. But Sarit, Sarit I would rather, I'd rather say that rather than you do, we do, because we collectively are bigger than me or individual, because you see, collectively, our energy, our aura, our love and harmony can go wider and wider. As Mita says, she now wants to reach more people. So Mita, get on board, get into social media, reach more people. Uh, Nishit is putting some more facets to it. We are, we are training groups now, how to do Zoom expertly, how to go social media expertly, how to create website. We are actually basically turning everybody into full productions and producers, because this will also help you in your private life. Whatever you are doing, if you own a website, if you own online car, uh, uh, courses, or if you are in a company where you are actually dealing with people, see, a uh, computer is an inanimate object. You know, you are attributing life to an inanimate object. So it's personification. So it's so good idea that we get together. So Sarit is we, but Sarit, when we come to we, I don't sing, but you and Jerry do, and you've got a guitar as well. Yeah. So we want you to sing something to us in any language you like, because music and dance is international language. And then yep. we'll move over back to our 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 global admin, uh, Amrita, for our views, back to Vaishali. Nishit has got a few more things lined up as well. So it's getting beautiful. So go ahead, Sarit and Jerry. Oh, all right. Thank, thank you. Since, since you insist, <laughs> we we like to um to offer you that uh, a song that we wrote together. I think some of you have heard it already. It's called the Gratitude Song. Um, our sort of state, our unofficial stage name is the Gratitude Girls because we we love gratitude and we love sharing the message of it. So um, let me just move this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so, so we hope that you enjoy. <clears throat> when the rain pours down and your smile turns upside down, the world feels like it's getting on your case. Just think while you're screaming, someone could be dreaming of one day being in your place. Your first world situation could be someone's inspiration to have a home.
You know, to all of you and, and Sarit and Jerry, it's so wonderful. And this is something you'll have to do for the women uh, 22nd century. You'll have to compose the lyrics and let's see if we can create a song for the women, of the women, by the women, where women are telling each other, we will embrace and go strong and lift each other. We'll, we'll talk to you a bit more. Just stay around. Let's go to Mumbai with our pandemic senior anchor, she was there every day for every hour, right from the beginning. Simran Ahuja, Global Namaste. Global Namaste to everyone. I'm truly thrilled to be here. Just finished my live event at a live show. Um, and I'm so happy to be here with my beautiful family of Healing Our Earth. And uh, thank you, Neil Kumar, on this beautiful celebration of everyone coming together. All the beautiful souls. Simran, so this is... Let me tell the blog bit about you. Simran, I know for several years uh, for Bollywood, she's, a, she's an actress. She's a red carpet anchor. So all the big I-5 awards and Bollywood awards, and you see all the interviews that are done by Simran. She's now the most sought out anchor of India. She's an actress as well. And she's a philanthropist. And she's a yoga guru as well. So during the pandemic, she was there right from the beginning, right till end. Sometimes we would end up in Navratri at midnight. In India, it would be 5.30 in the morning and she's bright and she might have to go to the shooting. She was always there. And a lot of people, uh, you know her. Some of you have been here at that time. Nishit, uh, you had maybe a reel where Simran was actually... Simran used to even make up a promo reels. Uh, I would just send her a script and within one hour, she would just copy everything I've done and... Do it in a talking matters. Simran, what are your favorite memories that you remember of healing our heart? Okay, I, I think I'm on mute. Am I audible? You're audible. Simran, we are listening to you. Oh, yeah. Am I audible? You are very audible. Go ahead. Oh, wonderful. Sorry, sorry. I was I could just see the sign here because the moving car. Oh, I have some lovely memories and I was just trying to gather everything because I knew that I'm going to come on the show today, this fourth anniversary. So first I remember is the best thing that has happened to me that's regards the technology. I am so good with my shows is just because of Neil Kumar because he cued me and trained me and bombarded me and yelled at me to at times and how could this be possible? So thank you for allowing me to be the best version of myself, it is only because of you, Neil Kumar, and this lovely platform where I have friends from across the world. And I'm so fortunate that Dr. Lakshmi Ji is here. I've even been a part of your beautiful and your brilliant gathering of your spiritual shows. And to everyone who's there across the world, I get to meet people in the United States. I hosted Dr. Lalit Soda's book, Unveiling, and the book launch at the Grand Launch, you know, at London. And uh, the fact is that we all connected and I still remember that every time I would be on my Sunday show, Healing Our Earth, it would be a rejuvenation for me. And just like the song that I heard, because the moment I tuned in, uh, you know, I heard the very lovely song and everyone is so soulful. And I think this is just because Neil, Healing Our Earth has created and given us that platform where we are going beyond Earth, beyond this planet, you know, beyond everything beyond this universe and you're really going into something deep within being soulful beings. So thank you for allowing us to be that. And you've given us so many gifts, you know, that we have no words to express our gratitude. The fact, the biggest gift is that we have, you know, all the beautiful souls from across the world who've been teaching us completely free of cost. As they always say, all the best things in the world are for free. But this is one platform where we could just, be a part of healing our earth and learn and be fit physically, spiritually, holistically and mentally by meeting everyone, by sharing everyone's challenges and finding the solutions to it. So I do remember, Neil, that everyone used to say what challenges they face and they used to themselves, the doctors used to give us and the right guidance for the solutions for those challenges. 
So it has been the best place ever. My where my heart is healing our earth is, and I'm thankful to everyone who's a part of healing our earth because each one of you have brightened my space and everyone's space. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and a happy fourth anniversary to Neil Kumar and to everyone present here, Nishit, and everybody. Lots of love and regards to everyone. And Seema, uh, I mean uh, Simran, Seema is there in Nairobi. She'll be coming and saying hello to you. And Simran, you mentioned uh, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas. Well, earlier, Lord Remy Ranger was Jesus. here. To all the wonderful souls. Uh, yeah, so uh, Simran, earlier, Lord Rami Ranger was here. And see, he has already invited all the women forum into the House of Lords with a tea, coffee, and a lunch down there which is beautiful. And Simran, you particularly mentioned Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, where we hosted for the European uh, Forum Europe. And Dr. Lakshmi Vyas will also, within three years, make sure that we are all invited to European Parliament. She's actually representing the global 22nd century global women for the Women Forum into the Parliament. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, you remember Simran as our host at Hindu Forum Europe. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Um, I'm so nice to see you, Simran. I'm such a beautiful, you still look so beautiful and wonderful person. And I remember you hosted some of our programs um, in Europe and other uh, countries during the pandemic. And um, I, I used to make so many mistakes and you corrected it a uh, number of times. And I really appreciate, you know, your enthusiasm and your zeal uh, to work and help others. Wonderful. And definitely, uh, when the um, next uh, Diwali, we, when we celebrate in um, uh, European Parliament, I shall invite all of you. And let's make one it is, as a, one of the memorable uh, Diwali in the European Parliament. So if you are a woman listening to us on the social media, remember, connect to us, get trained, be part of the team. That's going to move uh, within the few months. The setup will be complete. It's a three-year plan to propagate, seven-year plan to plan events, and it will be doing retreats. But more importantly, it will give recognition to housewives, to women in every sphere, to teenagers, you know, right? From the age of 16 plus, whichever is the legal age of the country, it will also have online shopping, online courses, online products, integration, forums. So don't forget. And some of the stalwarts are already here. Some of the team leaders are already here. Simran is going to be a brand ambassador. So her job is to go around promoting that in different countries. She travels at least three countries a month. So it will be good exposure. Simran, say hello to Seema. Yes, hello, and lovely hello to you. So, so happy to see all of you all here. And Simranji, so it's so delightful to see you today. And you've given us such wonderful wishes. We miss your presence on the platform. We need to see you more often. So Seema, this is one of the recordings Simran did. Uh, I did. Ready. Beautiful. Global Namaste and greetings to all the wonderful souls. My name is Simran Ahuja and I'm delighted to be a part of the online global summit, Healthy Mind, Healthy Planet. This summit is taking place on the 31st of May from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. British Summer Time. The summit is brought to you by Healing Our Earth in cooperation with the Brahma Kumaris, where you shall experience live music and meditation from all the continents, right from Australia, moving around the world, and we end up with North America. You can log on to our website, www.healingourearth.com and our Facebook page of Healing Our Earth. So I look forward to meeting you all as a host, along with my brilliant co-hosts. Do remember and mark the date, the 31st of May, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. British summer time. See you soon. And oh Simran, my God. Simran, you were so good. I would just 
send you a script and half an hour chit chat with you on the WhatsApp and say, Simran, this is how I want it delivered. Are you ready? In the first take you would deliver since then, my God, the way you have been, you were always amazing. There are plenty of your promo reels over there. And it's so wonderful. Uh, Nishit, Nishit will vouch for it. Nishit, you remember in the early days, uh, Simran was there and recording the, the promo reels. Absolutely. Simran did support Healing of Earth fully. In fact, you know, those days we had longest sessions and it was quite late in the night uh, at her uh, hours and she was still there. Full of energy till the very end. So thank you very much. Wonderful memories indeed. And some of the episodes were 12 hours long. Invariably at starting, we were never less than 7 to 8 hours. The ones she announced at 11 to 6 p.m. didn't finish till 9 p.m. And it was so wonderful. I mean, many of you have learned hosting ever since, how to do, look at the videos and everything. Some of you are now expert to do producers. It's been so nice to do similar. So similar, your favorite memory that you can think of? Uh, I have, uh, when I um, when I performed yoga, uh, it was not for International Yoga Day, but Healing Our Earth had kept this session. And I received call from Japan. And they said that they just joined in because they realized that, okay, you know, we have this session on Healing Our Earth where they haven't done yoga before. But they learned everything watching your program, Healing Our Earth. And I realized, oh, that is the kind of impact that Healing Our Earth is doing. It somehow touched me deep within. And I say that even if it's for minuscule, uh, uh, you know, frame of time or, you know, for actually uh, not for a long span, but even if you give one tip to everyone and people remember us for that, I think that's a very big blessing. I do remember this and I cannot forget the Navratri days, nine all nine nights of Navratri non-stop that I was there, uh, you know, it was midnight every time there were the very, very precious moments where we used to sing the praises of the mm -hmm. divine and I felt mm -hmm. the divinity within and uh, I still have to come across a platform like, of course, you know, Healing Our Earth, which gives us that comfort and that solace and takes us on a natural high altogether. And everyone teases me with Global Namaste, which has again come from you healing our earth, Neil, and yourself. And everyone and says, oh, we love a global namaste. In India, everyone everyone says, oh, she says, oh, just love it. So I've learned all these are beautiful memories and meeting uh, the doctor from US. And of course, everybody from London, all your beautiful souls. Oh my God. It's very special. But yes, uh, this memory you. is very special that Japan, they joined in just because they wanted to learn something in yoga and they actually learned. So I still, that was very touchy. So Simran, so you mean you've actually changed lives. And... Simran, Simran, stay around. Uh, we want to ask Dr. Lakshmi Vyas is what, it's, what she thinks of 22nd century global women. Seema, can you tell us your view because you are handling Africa, which is a big continent where you, you are shortly going to set up a team of people who will be ethnic to Africa and then break it into every country and cities. What is your understanding and why why was the name 22nd century global women selected, which is 176 years from now? The name 22nd century global women is going to reach beyond this century and further. We're not only going to touch the lives of women today, but we're going to touch the lives of women tomorrow and for future generations to come. Every girl will have a voice. Every woman has the right to raise her voice and be heard. Several issues will be addressed from gen gender inequality to women's empowerment and so much more. Vishali very beautifully spoke about climate change, a huge issue. There are many women who are very active in the climate crisis right now. We want to empower these women and bring them together on the flat platform. We will be celebrating global diversity. We will be networking with women from all over the world, crossing cultural boundaries, addressing issues in different countries, addressing issues which are a big problem in my country right now. Mental health in Kenya is a huge issue, as is domestic abuse. And it's very pre prominent in India as well, and in many other parts of the world. 
we will be bringing women, like-minded women, and teenage girls from all walks of life to come together, to share their voice, to work together cohesively, to bring in a bigger, brighter, better tomorrow, not only for this century, but the 22nd century and beyond. And really, I I feel this is going to be so powerful. So we extend our invitation to anybody who is watching us globally right now, whoever would like to join our platform, who wants to make a difference and give back, please do get in touch with www.healingourth.com. And we feel very proud and honored and blessed to be able to do this. And Simran, Vishali, Amrita, Riti, all our team members, you know, and beyond. I'm I'm so grateful and I feel very blessed to be a part of this platform. Thank you. Thank you, Seema. So Seema will be presently heading Africa and Southeast Asia, where she has got the expertise and she has already created several contacts. Alexandra Horwood will be running Europe with the UK team. Amrita with uh, Bindu and other people running India, which is South Asia. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas will purely concentrate us into European Parliament and other organizations. America will be run by Sharon, Dr. Sheila Dobby, Donada, and other team which have already been put up. Uh, that team, the teams are still being put up. All the team has to be known through Healing Our Earth, so we know them directly. Obviously, then they will be, when we go vast, we will not know everybody, but everybody will be confirming the same thing. Bring love, unity, harmony, and uplift each other. So it'll be so nice. And if you notice, everybody is giving different version. We did this version is different. Oishal is different. Uh, Seema is different. But all the routes end up to the same highway. And now we go to our, our super admin in India, who is uh, part of every group, Dr. Amrita Sharma. Amrita, what is your vision for the... 22nd century global women. Um, thank you, Neil Kumar. Today's episode has been really special with a lot of memories that we all have cheered up and with special guests who have looked into the past, how fondly they celebrated uh, healing our earth and the time of the tough times of their life, in fact. And I think on the verge of that, the 22nd century global women will add on a feather to this because uh, I envision it as a good opportunity for loads of women. Uh, being a mental well-being consultant and a lifestyle counselor and knowing people and consulting people on medical grounds, I personally understand how important it is to have a sound mental health on many bases and women form a very big ground on that. As we say, as you say, she has been the creator and a part of from where the humanity has been out into the existence. And if we empower women, not today, but for future as well, the little girls, the girl child, and they understand how powerful they are. They understand how important their health is for them. We might be able to make a big difference, not only on the societal basis, on uh, community basis, but on the global basis, addressing various issues related to life, which can be related to health, which can be related to environment, which can be related to crimes, which can be related to a right to life. And as uh, Dr. Batra rightly said, today's World Health Day, we have been talking about health is our right. And I think this is one of the very good themes of this, this year's healthy um, World Health Day that women must know that it is her right and she must care for it. And that's what I look forward to make this platform as one of those, those platforms that will not only talk about the same issues of of domestic violence and about things related to women, but also to enhance as an individual and moves and show way forward for a better future for everyone to live in. Thank you. 
And Amrita, you are such a wonderful soul at healing our earth. Your contribution is immense, I know, because we are almost in touch daily, like with other core team and sorting various issues and contacts. And there are so many offshoots happening, some in India, some in Africa, some in America. So many things are now happening. So maybe a new setup will be very important from now. If you are not part of a core team, wherever you are listening from, don't worry. Start collecting your list of the women. Then you can approach your line later and you can also get training how to use your contacts, what to speak with them, which projects can be useful. If those who are at a core team, they're being trained right now how to make the website, how to run Zoom sessions professionally, how to learn social media through apps, how to run campaign and affiliation and the shops and the shopping carts and everything. So within three months, you may go to your line and you might get training as well. So it's so beautiful that we are moving in the right direction with the offshoots. We've also got huge panel of Ayurveda going on, the integrated going on. There are so many people uh, are working towards different, different projects. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, you are actually now going to lead specifically to take all our messages to European Parliament where we can be in three years, build up such a platform that we can get support from them uh, in, in, in holistic way, in political way, in influential way. How do you feel about it? And you've been part of a core team and attending a core team uh, meetings. What are your thoughts? Global namaste to all of you. Uh, yes, Europe is, um, it has its own charm and beauty. Um, we have uh, uh, 17 organizations in, um, um, in, in the different countries of Europe. And um, uh, um, I negotiate with them on a daily basis and uh, more and more other countries are willing to join us um, in the Hindu Forum group. So, um, so some of the area, some of the uh, points which I just want to tell you is catering is also a very important and um, area in Europe. So if, uh, a lot of people buy items from outside. So. Um, uh, a catering is also one of the part which I was just thinking, uh, you know, I can, we can take it forward with the help of the different women from different countries. And um, we have a meeting uh, in, in August in Germany. Um, I, I do, they have not given me the exact place. Maybe it is Hamburg. So um, there's a seven day conference there. So I, I will send the invitation to all of you. Probably uh, accommodation may be given to us. So if you, if you guys are interested, you can join. That is again, August 17th, that, that would be the date. So um, um, de definitely there's also a diamond market in um, Antwerp. Uh, in Brussels, and that, um, uh, th that is also one of the area which we I have kept in mind, you know, uh, there you get everything possible from tiny, tiny things to big things. And I know a lot of them, they advertise, they give me advertisement for my programs, etc. And uh, I can very well connect, uh, um, you know, to uh, all of you or whoever is interested to them. So, um, and um, well, about the parliament um, next year, already the uh, India delegation people have promised me to give the hall in the parliament. So it won't be so difficult for us to have a nice Diwali uh, in the parliament where, where all of you can come and enjoy the um, programs as well as a lovely dinner. Anything more you want to know, Neil Ji? Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, this is enough for a while. So wonderful that, that this is... Also want to, I also want to say um, thank you to you. I, I'll just read out what I've written for you. Um, Neil Kumar, you are on the scale of 1 to 10. 
you are 11 number, okay? In the scale of 1 to 10, you are always in 11 number. You are an incredible human being, caring, nurturing, and very appreciable, a perfectionist, and an excellent motivator. I appreciate you set up the team during the pandemic, allowed it to grow in hips and bounds, spreading across 180 countries or more. It's indeed incredible. Your comments and questions in meetings pursues us to think and your compliments tell us you listen actively to every speaker. You are never short of words and always encouraging. Let our organization grow in heaps and bounds. Congratulations. At the same time, um, Nishit, you are also a silent worker. We are aware that you are your input in this uh, is uh, is very important and it is always there from the beginning. Your skills and working behind the scenes are admirable and we all appreciate. You're strong, you are a strong pillar of HFE and an asset. Congratulations to everybody and let us grow in heaps and bounds. Thank you. Wow, what a wonderful, thank you for a lovely message. And I bounce it back to each one of you. Whatever you have spoken for Nishit and I, it goes back to each one of you because together we have made this difference. Together we have learned the reason why we constantly train and upgrade people and just put them in a higher position wherever we can is very simple. When we were young, there was nobody to guide us. And we made a conscious decision that whenever we get a chance, we would like others to lead the way and we just go and enjoy from behind. It's so much fun, no tension, no pressure. It's nice to have you guys leading the project. And now some of you are core team of Healing Our Earth. Those who have introduced more than 50 people are core team. There are some who have introduced more than 100. As Mita said that I have allowed everybody who is coming. If they didn't know, they were trained. Originally, those, those of you who were new and all of you were very new, you were getting a write-up from me, look at this angle, check your upload speak, don't do this, don't do that. And it was there because this was a part of things that we have been doing for so many years. But after pandemic, the technology came as well. And Nishit, it is nice to work with Nishit because coming from an IT world and it's easy to talk and say, okay, fine. I just want it this way. If we have got any issue, we just brainstorm and we find a solution. It doesn't matter what type it is. We did monkey loops in our first episode. It was not easy. It was frantically trying to connect people via WhatsApp and one person trying to spotlight and others to tell, take your finger off your nose because you're about to go live. No, don't look here, talk like this. It was so beautiful. So together, whatever you have said about us reflects back onto each one of you. And it's so beautiful because some of you have been there at outset in your own way. Some have been a core team. Some have become producer. Some have become a horse and some have become anchors. And, and each one of you have come lips and bound. And it's so wonderful. And I want to talk back about the women empowerment. We have got our Alexandra here, so I'm going to bring her on a, on a screen because I want to introduce her. Alexandra has been there at outset during pandemic. She wasn't just there because of pandemic. She was all in a regular touch. And I would say, Alexandra, I want somebody from this country, maybe for meditation or yoga. Okay, Neil, and within a few minutes, she would contact and she would say, okay, fine, this is connected. She's come lips and bound, and she's now a senior core team for the 22nd century global woman. And she will be nurturing the European sections where the UK people will be connected to. Uh, for purpose of classification, we have identified the United Kingdom as a separate continent. It is officially a separate continent, or if broken into simple continents, then it's part of Europe. So Alexandra, global namaste, and thank you. And 
So far, you've been attending all the meetings. We've had one-to-one -one chat as well. Your thoughts on how do you think we will progress on the 22nd century global women? It's so exciting to be part of something old and something new. So it's like, a, it's it's really, it's a new beginning, but it's actually just the continuation. It's, a, as we said, we are growing. We are not growing old, we are growing into the 22nd century and beyond. So this is really amazing. And it's, I think this transparency that we are like talking about the process so that people know things don't just happen overnight. People get together, they process things, they go through difficulties. We have to find, you know, the logo we have to. So it's really interesting. I just like that, that the whole process is open and everybody can join, everybody can put their input. So it's just uh, like another, another ship from 21st century into 22nd century. And we are creating this legacy together. And it's really an honor to be part of that. Um, um, yeah, thank you. And Alexandra was the first person of all the group as I was as I was nurturing the group and telling them, get ready, this is what's the next project. She, within 24 hours, came with a list of 40 people from different countries I said, very good. And then now she's put a set up a bar over there. She's already introduced more than several people on healing our art. But the new sector and and she she actually attended a dinner dance, a dinner meeting in Croatia where the influential media people were there as well. So she start, started taking her role very good. Maybe Croatia might be the first country for our award night. So Alexandra, we are very proud of you and you got a full backup. You are also upgraded into the special training team like Seema, Vaishali, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, Ridhi, where there will be special training given into how to use Zoom expertly so we don't have to be here, how to create websites so we don't have to manage your pages, um, how to run some of the social media uh, uh, platforms. I will be there. If I'm not available, Nishit will be there. If he's not available, Couple of you are nearly there now. You'll be able to help each other. So it'll be, it'll be wonderful. And together, remember, it's the women project is for the women, of the women, by the women. But for towards the women, people like Nishit, myself, Dr. Mukesh Batra, Rotary Lal Goyal, Lord, Lord Ranger, he came in place right now. We have got some big guns as well who will be coming. Uh, Sister Genti, we live, we introduced her. I mean, She's maybe one of the most influential women in the on the earth at the moment and being part of the additional head of Brahma Kumaris with having uh, centers in more than 140 countries. We don't have to look for anybody anywhere. We will get so much support. So I'm very proud for each and one, every one of you. Nishit, have you got anything to play for us? So we go to you before we end up with some singing sessions. It'll be beautiful. So Nishit, have you got it? Uh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, we are sharing multi collages with you of some of our episodes. You can see, yes. Stars, they can tell you stories which are brighter than yesterday. Brighter than yesterday. The streets have never been so quiet. The squirrels found a new hideaway. Tomorrow will never be the same. There is so much hope in our hearts. Brick by brick, we shall overcome and walk right into a new star. Welcome to the brand new world. In the children of a mother earth, reach out your hands. Let us see. Fearless green is greener in shrubs and trees. The skies have never been so clear. Air is purer for us to breathe. Tomorrow will never be the same. There is so much hope in our hearts. Brick by brick, we 
So quiet, the squirrels found a new hideaway. So clear, air is purer for us to breathe. Tomorrow will never be the same. There's not much for us to proclaim. Now that we have learned so well, nature can renew itself and sustain. Welcome to the brand new world. Give the children of a mother earth. Reach out your hands. Let us see. And these are just some of the pictures we shared with you. Very little. Uh, thanks, Nishit. Nishit was bombarded this, this morning and he has turned it into a reel. Uh, very well done, Nishit, over there. Uh, we've got so many pictures, so many memories, 235 episodes, more than four and a half thousand contributors. This is just some that we can share with you. Uh, you saw, you saw there our our Lata, Mita, Seema, Vaishali, uh, Mala, Ani, um, Simran. 
you saw up in India, you also saw Dr. Lakshmi Vyas when she met Rajan Patankar and Dr. Mukesh Batra, and then you saw Hemansu in the team. Wherever they go, we just set them up. One thing beautiful at Healing Our Earth is we connected everybody. There were no embargoes. There were no questions asked. They were say, just connect. Connect with people because if you connect, connect, connect together, then we grow as a community. There should never be fear. So everybody in Healing Our Earth is taught the same thing or asked for same thing or requested same thing. Love, embrace, and lift each other. If we all learn the same principle to lift others above you, then you are a human being who has grown into soulfully spiritual life. You put people above you. Don't worry. They won't stand on your head because chances are majority will lift you above them. But you need to lift others to do that. And no, no, no ego, nothing. Just embrace, learn with each other, teach each other, unite with each other, lift with each other. Because that way we'll grow. And why we are very keen on the women forum, as opposed to, and we're going to have a men's forum too, but first we are going to have women's forum. Now 70% of supporters at Healing Our Earth are women. And I feel they're so good. I mean, some of you have learned, uh, Vaishali and Riddhi have learned how to do collages now, you know? So, so gone that we will have to do that. You know, it, it's always me and Nishit who update the website. We make the flyers. We make the collage. You've seen most of the reels were with my voiceover because I didn't want to ask favor too much because all of you had your life to run to ask you to do collage and website was not fair. But now we are asking you. Why? Because in the process, we can train you. What is, what is, what is it good? Is it good for healing? No. It is good for healing, but yourself, for your personal development, and then for the Women's Forum and Ayurveda Forum and Nutrition Forum. So those who are very keen and are very serious, you should attend training sessions as well. When you are invited, you don't have to ask. You'll be invited automatically because there is a group and line management that we have got. But remember, this platform is ours. So together it is ours. If you feel that you want to contribute something, don't wait for tomorrow. Start making your list now because the train has begun. The train will carry on. The engine is leading all the way through, but it's not going to stop. We are just going to go just like in our life. In our life of a journey, if you think it's a train, first came our father mother to us because it was their father mother who brought them. Sometimes if we live naturally, then they will go and depart, but the journey carries on. Then we may have offspring or siblings, some of them may depart, the journey still carries on. Ad infinitum, the journey never stops. The world will always be there at least for next one or two trillion years. So let's unite now. Let's leave that legacy. 22nd century, as one of you explained, see my thing explained, and Vaishali, is for 176 years because we've got 76 years left now, 100 for the next year. We will all be gone. But does it matter? Should it be just about we or should it be about us and the earth? Should the earth do something for us or should we be doing something for the earth? So the younger generation may question us. You know, the younger generation now ask a question and say, Mommy, Daddy, what can I do for the earth? We used to say, what has earth done for me? What has society done for me? What has my parents done for me? What has the community leaders, the leaders done for me. Time has come, but what you can do for her. So at Healing Our Earth, it's very nice that we unite like this. Seema, you got your hands up, unmute yourself, your comment, and then we move on. Vishali, keep two songs ready. We want some nice soothing songs. Nishit, any other material you got, you can keep it ready. We are welcoming mm -hmm. that. Seema, I, I, over I, to you. I, I don't have any other material, but you can see me and Viniji are twinning. We've got the same interior designer. We are at the same library. Aha, so now, like we have twin towns, you've got twin uh, virtual backdrops as well, is it? Indeed. Winnie, Winnie, did you hear what Nishit said? He said your virtual background is similar. Okay, maybe Twin is, uh, uh, Winnie is trying to listen. Seema, go ahead with your comment. Yes, we're celebrating Healing Our Earth and our fourth anniversary. I'd like to finally give a few words if i may please go ahead it's been 
it's been four years, four years of light on our journey's grace, healing our earth, a sacred space. With Neil Kumar's vision, we unite Nishit Kotak's tech, our guiding light. Connection, joy in every stride. Learning, growing side by side. My heartfelt thanks to all of you who have lent your hands. Together we all are going to spread and are spreading and will continue to spread love across the global land. In unity, we find our strength and power, and hour by hour, we grow and we flower. Grateful hearts forever true. Join us and let us continue to heal our earth with you. For everyone who has been a part of this platform, and everyone who has joined us over the years and supported this platform to grow to where it is today. I want to thank each and every one of you. The vision has been so strong. A seed was planted, watered, it's grown, and now we are blossoming. So, Nishit Bhai, thank you so much. Mr. Neil Kumar, you really are a visionary. Thank you so much. And to the whole team, we have a huge team. I want to thank each and every one of you for inspiring me and being a part of my life. And to our global audience who watches us, we thank you very much because if it wasn't for all of you, we wouldn't be. Congratulations. I think we all need to give ourselves a big hand of applause for all our efforts, really. Thank you all. Thanks to you, Seema Ji. It would have been incomplete without these words, actually. And you always add up that glitter every time because your words are so sweet and empowering. And they always have a sweet melody of emotions, feelings, and a touch that we all miss. So... Uh, thanks to you and especially thanks to everyone for being so wonderful and so unique in their own ways. And uh, did anybody notice what was common in all these pictures over these five years or four years? The thing that catched me was smiles. The smiling faces over the four years till now, you can see. And I really wish these smiles keep embracing your faces and make your life more beautiful till the end actually and I think the vision of all the work that we are heading towards and putting forward may be through a single project of women empowerment or maybe through our retreat programs that we are about to plan and arrange or through the way the Mela concepts the idea is to share happiness actually Amrita I just want Thank to you. say uh yeah, I just want to say one thing um, uh, that I'm so, so grateful to be part of this community. And uh, Seema, you, the way that, like Amrita also praised, like we all love the way you you express and, you know, the, the love and the gratitude and the friendship and the bond that you you weave together and, and the way you present it it was like touching you know our hearts and we knew that it came from your heart and even I want to thank all of you and especially uh, Mr. Nil Kumar, Nishid Bhai and everybody you know I, in just past few months I, I grew a lot and I feel like I'm, I'm growing I'm growing not growing growing <laughs> but flourishing I can say that we all are flourishing we are spiritually flourishing we are we are so much, uh, you know, learning and growing together. So, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, uh, to be a part of my life and to be such an inspirational woman as you all are. And uh, thank you, Nil Kumar and Nishit Bhai, and for everybody, to everything. Thank you. And thank you, Vaishali. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to you in a moment with a couple of songs. 
since we are mentioning names, I would like to remind, we must remember Sister Gianti. She has been one of the, our, our patron member, uh, one of my friends and colleague, Nitin Palan, who has been there. Our backup team as a social media, Cash Mojaria, who is not here at the moment. Dr. Milan Shah, who was always there. Again, I, I we used to have a lot of fun training and putting them up there, you know, and he has come out lips and bound. He was one of the best anchors we had. We had little Honey Kalaria, who was completely new. Her Zoom would start failing all the time. From there to becoming a very good host, Milan and Honey are temporarily uh, having a break. So these are all wonderful soul. Shivali Natwani Ruparelia, Deepa Vitlani, our young child star Sia Vitlani and Ayush uh, Ruparelia. Ayush was only seven when he joined and Sia was 10 years old when she joined or nine years old. I mean, these are all, and then we had so many other children that were there and our Renu Gidumal, who you saw earlier, they were all regular, our Simran, Simran were attended maybe the most hours. And that is just from the beginning. And as it comes now, Seema, you look at you. I mean, you've got such a massive contribution to healing our earth. I know because at the back end, you are working with me some project. Vaishali, you come lips and bound. And in fact, you are learning technology. So Seema, you, Amrita have been pushed into Nishit stain. But first, we will just get ready over there. And then after you finish with Nishit, you'll be back with me. And we'll put you in a different level again, which will be very nice. Uh, so many Amrita, look at Amrita. Amrita has been consistent for the last nine months, every time being there and majority of the time not going to sleep till midnight. But she's also a super admin now because there's a lot of work going on behind the back that she's part of it. I mean, so much contribution of our Kamupalan from the, from the Mudra zone, our Ridhi Vyas, who was here earlier, even now our Alexandra. Alexandra is no longer a contributor. She's a part of a core team now. Our Sharon Rose, who is not here. Our Wai Ching Lee, our roving ambassador who connected South America to us, where Seema enjoyed because she used to love the cuisine. So Seema was able to ask for the dishes and talks about it. Our Tini Cruz, who is not here. She was our regular. She used to even make a couple of reels. Our Dr. Amar Amarjit Kaur Dua. I mean, she again was regular. Our Dr. Lakshmi Vyas. Very regular. Our backup team who are always there is attending uh, Latas, uh, uh, Mita, and, and there were a lot of others we were allowing as a backup team, you know, to, to, so they could see it. Everybody was allowed to make part of this asset, you know, which was ours and it's still ours. And the more assets we create, it will be ours because in ours, we are included. If we're included and it's ours, then we are even bigger. And there are various other members that maybe you may not know our our Dr. Sheila Dobi, our, our uh, uh, Dr. Nora Vyas, uh, our Dr. Bharat Panthania. I mean, there are so many of them that if we can bring and we can think of them. Each one of them are important because together we have built up a global community. Now the choice is ours. If any one of you has got a project that needs to go global, get a training how to do global planning. Some of you are now under training and picking up ideas so well that I'm actually very proud of you. And you've got a full backup. Then we have also got technology backup. There are some softwares that we have got that you will love it. You may wonder why just many, you know, just a small team was running the whole thing. And that was because we were also using power of technology. Anishit and I are back from a from same background, which is information technology. And we learned in the process, we did a lot of monkey looks, you know, we had to learn about upstreaming, making sure if the stream collapses, how do we connect back? How do we connect social media? How do we make sure each episode was started at two o'clock? We were very strict about it. We allowed, look, today we are overrunning by at least 75 minutes. It doesn't matter. So each and every one of you are very important. So if the roots and the tree are important, all the sub branches are important too because sub branches give other branches, which gives the leaves, which gives the veins, which gives the xylem and phloem. And without them, it cannot take carbon dioxide and cleanse it into oxygen. So each one of you 
how important you are. So starting from the early days to the current days and Danada, who is now come lips and bound, you know, uh, Michael has joined. There is a lady called Eleni, who you don't know, who almost knows how to do the, the scope, which is how I like when people present things to us so that we can move it into a platform or a, or, 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 or apps or something. So, so wonderful. And I love each and every one of you because you are there that it gives us confidence to go forward. So, Vaishali, give us a nice, beautiful song. We need to keep one song ready. We are still live, so no copyright music. Then, Lata, you will have a chance to make your comment. Vaishali, hit us with a nice song first. Yeah, this is... This is always, this song is close to my heart and I think this song is your favorite as well, Neil Kumar. So I would like to sing this for all of us and uh, here it goes. Dekhe ye wo kaali kaali badliya Zulf ki ghata chura na le kahi Chore chore aake shok bijliya आपकी अदा चुराना ले कहीं यू कदम अकेले ना के बढ़ाइए आपको हमारी कसम लौट आइए बेकरार करके हमें यू न जाइए आपको हमारी कसम लौट आई बेकरार करके हमें यू न जाइए आपको हमारी कसम लौट आई देखिए गुलाब की वो डालिया बढ़ के चूम लेना आपके कदम देखिए गुलाब की वो डालिया बढ़ के चूम लेना आपके कदम खोए खोए भंवरे भी है बाग में कोई आपको बना न ले सनम बहकी बहकी नजरों से खुद को बचाइए आपको हमारी कसम लौट आइए बेकरार करके हमें यो न जाइए आपको हमारी कसम लौट आइए ला 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 थैंक यू that's very shy. That is one of my favorite numbers. So thank you for singing. It was so beautiful. Um, very nicely done. Nishit, um, if you keep a standby, I want to know some of your memories because you've been with me, like I said, apart from the first 60 minutes, you've been with me all the time. We have regular sessions. We plan so many solutions and plan and, and, and we also help other platforms as well. So I want to know your favorite moments. And we go to Lata because she has got a comment. Lata, over to you. Unmute yourself. Let's have your comment. Neil, I've forgotten what I was going to say. But okay, Lata, don't I worry. know because I no, I have. I've don't worry. Don't worry. Think, I'm teasing you. Don't worry. Think back, and we will come back to you. Nishit, unmute yourself. I would like to know your journey. Has healing our earth helped you? What is Healing Our Earth meant to you? We never ask you, but we are now asking you. What has inspired you to Healing Our Earth? How is Healing Our Earth to you? Yeah, absolutely. So Healing Our Earth, when we got started initially, was just uh, another sort of a community project that I'm involved in. I've been involved in a couple that I support, and this happened to be uh, one more that I found intriguing. Uh, I do have to say that I I only know of Healing Our Earth because we know Neil Kumar through other areas like Diwali in London, uh, where I'm also involved. And so when I saw this um, kind of opportunity come up, I was happy to get involved. And so at the very starting, yes, there were challenges uh, with the Zoom, with training people on how to use it, getting the websites updated, we had so many channel partners. How do we go from streaming on one platform to multiple platforms and, and so on and so forth. And then uh, from there, we started getting 
a brainstorming session with me and Neil Kumar, and we then came up with plans of how to update the website. And so it would be a real fun ride from one o'clock in the afternoon till two o'clock before we go live. When I'm updating all the assets, I'm going live, I'm making sure that all the partner channels are live. And uh, behind the scenes, you know, people are being trained on what to say and how to do things. And uh, from there onwards, what used to take us an hour, we now can do in 15 minutes. <laughs> and such is the way technology has moved forward and how the comfort level with not only ourselves, but I think the entire team now involved, it just runs like a smooth, well-oiled machine. So I would invite people to go to the website at Healing Our Earth and go look at the past sessions page. It'll be a good memory jogger of all the episodes we've had. Most of the episodes do also have the replay of the videos that were uh, allocated for that session. So it's a really wonderful trip down memory lane if you want to go to that page. For me, there were some interesting sessions. We had the, the Ramayan, uh, was it the Ramayan play? The puppet Ramayan show? Ramayan puppet. Ramayan puppets that we had where Nilima Penyumarti used to That's bring. it. That was, a, that was an interesting one. Of course, then we've celebrated Diwali. Navratri was an interesting one. Uh, and we even, uh, I think, did one virtual uh, 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 session of Diwali in London where we partnered with them to do a virtual session. And so it's been fun over the four years. Uh, there are many interesting episodes, but the recent ones that I've been enjoying a lot are the Ayurveda ones, where uh, Dr. Amrita, Dr. Rajan, uh, Professor Ish, and the whole team uh, with that side of things, uh, they've done a stellar job with uh, that uh, that series of sessions. Um, I really enjoyed those um, recently. So thank you, Nishit. And you know, you are a wonderful soul. You are patient. I have never heard you talking back. You always find a solution. You are, uh, you know, you are such a wonderful soul that uh, just have to tell you, Nishi, this needs to be done. That needs to be done. Okay, Neil Kumar. Okay, it's done now. And if we are all like that, can you imagine life is so beautiful? It's so easy to direct a team of a people if everybody is cohesive and willing to learn willing to accept because you know in a concord pilot the pilot is only one because if there are 20 pilots they go in different direction then you crash not at the destination you just crash at the takeoff okay so it's very important that all the teams are working in situ and just move forward nishit you are a very valuable soul as is everybody else amrita is gone past midnight or coming to midnight in your country you are still there before you sign off your last message, and then one song from Mini, one from Vaishali, and we'll close. Amrita, over to you. Unmute yourself and and your favorite memories. Um, thank you, Neil Kumar. Well, all I have to say is um, love you all, and uh, you will always stay in my heart. And as Sister Jayanti said, um, the heart resonates the soul. So Neil Kumar, basically, your soul is really pure enough because it resonates so much of love that you you sparkle in everyone. And um, the radiance of that, you know, when the sun comes and the beams of the light, they spread in the whole world and automatically everything comes into light. That's what is the light of healing our earth that I felt and my fond memories are um, these memories that I see um, in people. Um, in fact, with, before joining this, uh, when I had a very tough time in my life, I used to listen to radios and things um, that talked about life. And I think this is life where people share their things and they talk about positive things and how we must grow. That's very important. There are very less fairs where people talk about growth and spreading happiness and love. And that platform Healing Our Earth has given me and I will try to keep it ignited all my life because 
it resonates the soul of my heart. So thank you so, so, so much, everyone, to be a part of my life and for resonating and igniting my soul um, with immense love and happiness and also giving me a lot of opportunities. Every day is a big learning for me. And special thanks to Neil Kumar, uh, Nishad Bhai, and all the team members, Vishali Ji, Seema Ji, Danada, um, uh, and uh, uh, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, Alexandra, Lata Ji, Mita Ji, everyone, um, Vini, Vini Ji and Bina Ji, everyone, and Riddhi especially. So every one of you are very amazing souls um, to meet you online. Virtually <laughs> is another beautiful thing. And I really wish to see you in person uh, to get your blessings and love and share some gestures of chitbits and yes, have a gala time because ultimately this is what is life. So keep sharing and sharing and all the best and best wishes from my side and the whole family of Healing Our Earth. And I wish you all to see you all in the future with the future episodes Art Healing Our Earth, where next Sunday we will be bringing to you the Ram Nomi special, as we all witness Ram Nomi on the 17th of April with the Navaratras, which is starting from the second, uh, from the next days with the new year. And so Ram Nomi special will be with celebration of bhajans, kirtans, and a lot more on 14th of April, 2024, 2 p.m. British summer time. Thank you, Amrita. And the following episode, Seema, tell us what's going to happen here. We have a very exciting episode coming up on the 21st of April. And it's a vegan vegetarian kitchen episode, but we're going to be bringing in an element of beauty from the inside out. And we have, of course, a Hollywood expert with us, Vikrani Acharya, and an Indian Ayurvedic skincare expert, um, Dr. Amrita. So we'll be bringing a lot of facets of Ayurveda, what foods we can eat to nourish our, not only our mind, body and soul, but also our skin as well. And Vashali will be bringing in, of course, the importance of diet. She'll be talking about several kinds of food that nourish us uh, from the inside and out. And ingredients that we ingest that are actually employed in outer skincare ingredients and she's also going to be talking about foods that 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 are aphrodisiac foods as well. You know, this is a topic that many people are interested in, and sometimes many feel it's a taboo and it should not be addressed. But she's very boldly said, you know, why not we cover this? And I said, you know what? A lot of people are really interested in this, so we're going to be talking about that. So and Amrita Ji, what you are trying to say that if you got your loving partner. Come and listen to Vaishali because she can bring love and romance in your life. Is that what you're saying? Vaishali, is I'm that saying, right? is that I'm what saying our whole family at Healing Our Earth is so loving romance. I don't know. I can't speak very much about romance. Vaishali, is that your well, point? Well, Vaishali, is that your point? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I believe that, you know, such food and uh, it's all about romance life is you need to be in romance with life isn't it and the food and the topic is so itself is romantic i think food can be a romantic topic and Absolutely. you have to make it so so romantic and seema are you looking forward to it just like i am Shari, very much so you know, it takes Basically. me back to valentine's day and chocolates <laughs> for example yeah. why do why do they present people with chocolates and then amrita you can bring so much in on the ayurvedic perspective on shilajit and all the herbs I, that are so no, i think uh, seema ji vishali ji has touched my heart because it has always been one of my favorite topics which i think people must know about which uh, uh, is not just about herbs but about the foods as well which is so interesting and it will be so amazing to talk about it because um, uh, sexual health is one of the very important aspects of every individual's Absolutely. health. And I train people for, for their uh, mental, physical and spiritual health, how it is really closely connected. So we'll be talking more about it. And I think I wrote a blog or post on it uh, about strawberries uh, and strawberries in cream. relation to that. Strawberries, cream and chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, I think I wrote you know, that reminds me. So looking this forward is a to a very it, good topic that and, and this is another issue we can actually address in our women's empowerment uh, platform, because culturally, a lot of women 
are are confined not to open up and speak about uh, sexuality or sexual health or many of them actually suppress issues that they're suffering with through menopause and with sexual health because they feel it's taboo. They're not allowed speaking about it. So this is something very strong that we need to bring into the platform. When I speak about this, I'd like to bring in one more issue. Uh, female circumcision amongst the tribals in Africa. This is also a big issue. You know, there are a lot of movements against it that are speaking, speaking against it. We need to highlight this more and bring this to the awareness, bring it to global awareness that, you know, we need to address this problem with girl, with girl children, girl teenagers. So there's so much we can cover. I mean, we're talking now, we're, we're going forward on the women's platform and we're exploring all the avenues that we can speak about. But this vegan vegetarian kitchen is going to be very unique. We're maybe have... maybe Seema, we can have a... So thank you. Thank you, Vaishali. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you, Seema. From what I gather, you three women are planning a dynamic episode, which all the men, if you are listening, is going to be fun because the way to men's heart and brain is through food. These three women are going to bring a subject, how you can use the food, aphrodisiacs, and the Ayurveda style, how you can improve your life with your loved ones through gastronomy, right? Let's move over. So it's beauty in and beauty out. We might even get a bit of a plant-based makeup done and plant-based food and all these three experts. And they're not the only one. Sharon Rose will be there. Uh, Chef D will be there. Alicia will be there. There are lots of other experts. So men, if you want something from your women, these three women are going to corrupt you on the 21st of April which is second week from now, because um, next week is Ram Naomi, where we'll have a lot of singers talking about that. Amrita, before I let you go, you sing very well, Ram Ayageto Angana Sajawangi. If you could give us one version of that, then we'll go to Seema. Seema joined Healing Our Earth, singing Achutam Keshavam. And that's how her journey began. Then we'll go to Vini, then we go to Vaishali. And then, Vaishali, you can close officially. Amrita, over to you. Let's have one antra of Ram Ayage. <laughs> Ram Ayage, Ayage, Ram Ayage. Ram Ayage, Ayage, Ram Ayage. Meri chhukri ki phaghaj. जाग जाएंगे राम आएंगे मेरी झोपड़ी के भागाज जाग जाएंगे राम आएंगे राम आएंगे तो अंगना सजाऊंगी राम आएंगे तो अंगना सजाऊंगी दीप जला के दिवाली मैं मनाऊंगी दीप चला के दिवाली मैं मनाऊंगी मेरे जन्मों के सारे पाप मिट जाएंगे राम आएंगे राम आएंगे आएंगे राम आएंगे मेरी झोपड़ी के भागाज जाग जाएंगे राम आएंगे राम आएंगे very beautiful Amrita what a soothing voice you are an asset to healing our earth but you are also asset to humanity we are very proud of what you are achieving what you are sharing over here and some of the admins that you are leading we love you all the way from anywhere in the globe over here good night in India you've gone past midnight and in case if you are still listening at the back, please do so. Let's move over to Seema. Your journey began, and we need to keep a song ready, please. Seema, your journey began with Achutam Keshavam that I remember. So yes. maybe one I think I've that, forgotten please. some of the words, so I'll just sing it's one okay. We're not under exam, just one, one word. Thank you. Kona Kethi He Bhagavana Ati Nahi. तुम 
मेरा के जैसे बुलाते नहीं तुम मेरा के जैसे बुलाते नहीं अच्तम के शबम कृष्ण दामोदरम राम नारायणम जानकी वल्लभम राम नारायणम जानकी वल्लभम Wow, superb, uh, Seema. That's how you started. So wonderful. Vinny, let's listen to one antra from you. Then we'll go to Riti. Mita, keep one antra ready for you as well. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, Bina. Let's, 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 let's finish off with a nice energy so that together we combine and unite. And what better than the women over here? So, Vinny, one antra from you of your favorite bhajan or a song. Uh, shall I uh, sing a song then? Please just go ahead. Any one antra. Inayan dari dari Eja bari bari Rana pinita Karji ki se kabar Soothing, Vinny. Well done. Thank you. Uh, uh, Riddhi, keep your uh, antra ready. But let's go to Croatia. On a Sunday, actually, Alexandra refrains from singing. But last time, I think she sang a Croatian. Maybe she did a poet or singing. Whatever your style, go. Let's have an ethnic Croatian song from you. Oh, I, I, I really don't. Well, after these beautiful, sacred voices, I just can't. Um, and you are I, not under exam. Go ahead, just do it. We are I, together. I, I can't. I can't even recall. You know anything? I, I haven't lived here for twenty five years, thirty years. I just have to like. But okay, but so us, I, us. I, have, I have one quote. I just came. It came to me in my mind, and I just found it on. Yes, a, please go ahead. It's a uh, from uh, by Mother Teresa. Uh, because somebody mentioned there was so much smiles. I think it was Dr. Amrita. She she just left uh, throughout those four years on those posters and flyers and announcements. And and she said, uh, Mother Teresa said, joy is prayer. Joy is strength. Joy is love. Joy is a net of love by which you can catch souls. So I can really feel that, that we are really doing that. And it's wonderful. Wow, thank you, Alexandra. Joy is love, joy is care, joy is... Uh, Vaishali, you will have to find a song that is including joy in it, okay? So keep it ready. You will be the last one before we do Gayatri Mantra. Uh, Bina is here. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, she's good. She actually she actually speaks Tamil, Marathi, English, Hindi, and Gujarati. So what will be your favorite antra today? Today. I can say a prayer. Yes, just go ahead. Okay, I will Everybody will get a chance. Go Shanta ahead. Karam Bujaga Shayanam. So I'll, I'll say the prayer. Shanta Karam Bujaga Shayanam Padmanabham Suresh 
ಸಂಶಂ ವಿಶ್ವಾಧಾರಂ ಗಗನ ಸದಸ ಮೇಘವರ್ಣ ಶುಭಾಂಗ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಕಾಂತ ಕಮಲನಯನ ಯೋಗಿ ಬಿರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಗಮ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಭಯಹರ ಭವ ಸರ್ವೋಕೈಕ Oh. beautiful you even had alexandra closing her eyes and feeling what you were singing not that most of us understood but she understood the energy she felt it look you've got a love heart from her over there i loved it dr lakshmi vyas so it was so beautiful stay around you are a very valuable member of healing our earth please stay around ridhi we can't escape your turn either your shloka mantra or your best favorite antra Lata, me, uh, Meeta, be ready. One, one antra, only short antras, okay? But be ready. Meena, you can have an antra ready as well, okay? We are enjoying. We are overrunning by two hours. It doesn't matter because that's what we do at Healing of Our Earth. When we feel good, when we feel happy, when we feel enhancing people and building people, then we don't stop. Carry on, Riti, over to you. Okay, so we're going to do Om Thriyam Dakam. ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಉರ್ವಾಕವೀವ ಪಂದನ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಕ್ಷ ಅಮೃತ and this by the way is a really nice mantra for any time that we want to feel a sense of healing a sense of wellness a self sense of protection around us it's my go to mantra in order to be able to just feel whole and complete and it's also a way to actually pass on that healing to those around us to our family to society and to the globe as a whole as well Thank you. So you can see our young smiling host over here and a producer is not just good at yoga and meditation she loves mantra to well done ridhi stay around let's move around meeta one antra from you any favorite that you know one antra or you can do a mantra or you can just do a simple poem whatever you like go ahead i'll say the saraswati yeah go ahead so um it goes ಯಾ ಕುಂದೇ ದುಶಾರ ಹಾರ ಧವಲ ಯಾಶುಪ್ರವಸ್ತಾವೃತ ಯಾ ವೀಣಾ ವರ್ಡಂಡ ಮಂಡಿತಕರ ಯಾ ಶ್ವೇತ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನ ಯಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಚ್ಯುತ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರಭುತಿ ದೇವೈ ಸದಾ ವಂದಿತ ಸಾಮಾನ್ ಪಾತು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಭಗವತಿ ನಿಶೇಷ ಜಾಪ್ಯಹ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಫೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಲೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಜಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ನೋ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋತ್ಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಡೌನ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ವೀನಾ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸೀಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ವೈಟ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ who is always worshipped by gods like brahma the creator of universe vishnu the administrator of universe shankara the transformer of time may she who removes the darkness of ignorance protect me wow seema i mean uh, meeta since i know you in pandemic you have come you've come a long way so now you should get more and more of this in okay so well done don't stop because i remember four years back to what you are now beautiful bring in more and i think vaishali would love this kind of things and riti would love uh, lakshmi vyas would love all that so it's so beautiful let's go to bina bina you have now become a regular since lata has introduced <laughs> you to us you like uh, healing her do you feel good at healing our earth thank you yes yes honestly i get so much energy and so much love from everyone so it's so nice to join this group thank you so much for uh 
giving me chance uh, to one, say. Antra, that is favorite of yours. Please go ahead. Okay. Hume jo tumhara sahara na milta Bhavar me hi rehete kinara na milta Kinare pe bhi to lehar aadboti Agar tum na hote अगर तुम ना होते हमें और जीने की चाहत ना होती अगर तुम ना होते अगर तुम ना होते वाव बीना व्हाट अ पॉइंट वन Exactly. Agar healing our earth na hote to kitana mazata hai. It's so very well done. Very apt. You saw even Riti swaying there. Vaishali acknowledging. Seema was swaying over there. Lata had a smile. Isn't it wonderful? You brought it very apt. And we got what's going on in your life and the way you have come up. We are very proud. You are also going to be instrumental later in the women's forum because you have got a sorry story to say. So it is so beautiful. Isn't it wonderful that when when we when we combine the energy, how useful our platform becomes? Look at what Alexandra says: goosebumps all over. Alexandra didn't understood your word, so Alexandra, what she was saying is, "Agar tum na hote, if you were not there, I wouldn't have a desire to live. I wouldn't have, um, you know, the, the life would not be worth living and something." So she's dedicating that to healing our earth. That ever since she has come to healing our art, her desire to live has improved. So it's very much, uh, Bina, that's what it's all about. And finally, let's go to Lata. Lata, one antra or a poem or anything that is ready for you. Go ahead, over, unmute yourself. Yeah, but um, I just wanted to say a couple of things that I remembered now. Sharon, when she talks about healing our earth, she always says, I found my home. And I think we all resonate with that, don't we? Because we feel we're at home when we come here. And it gives us the energy to charge up and then keep driving on, no matter what challenges life throws at us. We've got to keep going on. So thank you. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Nisha. Thank you, the team. And Seema, I loved your poem. <laughs> I resonate with that. It's so true. And I love that song you sang, Bina. <laughs> it's so, so apt. So thank you very much. But I'll, I'll sing a little antra now from the movie Furs, which we all sing at a time of celebration. So this is the one. I don't know if I can sing it, but <laughs> otherwise I'll say it. Spar bar din ye aaye, bar bar dil ye kai, bar bar din ye aaye, bar bar dil ye kai. Tu chhe hazaron sa hi meri hai arzu. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to us, <laughs> to healing our earth. Happy anniversary to healing our earth. Happy anniversary to all of us. <laughs> so, well done, uh, Lata. Well done. You managed and you did it. So we are very proud of you. Well, ladies, uh, does anybody else want to sing anything? Or Vaishali, you do the last song and. Do the Gayatri Mantra and we close. I don't mind. Uh, today we kept the time free. We are two hours over. It doesn't matter. I love the mantras. I love the mantra that uh, Riddhi, uh, Dr. Lakshmi Vyas and Meeta did. If you want, we can bring in more mantras. Vishali, you are of course an expert because you also speak Sanskrit and you come from a, a family which are very highly educated from singing and Vedic knowledge and and uh, mantra knowledge and culture knowledge and everything 
Uh, do we want more mantras or shall we have a last song from, oh, Seema is trying to say something. Go ahead, Seema. Um, since, you know, tomorrow we have a very big eclipse that's going to hit the North America very strongly as well. And followed by the nine auspicious days honoring the goddess, the Devi. And Charlie, you sing so beautifully and with so much devotion. Can you give us Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu or something similar? Anything that resonates and aligns mm. with Navratri that you love. So we can bring this auspiciousness in now itself. Let me let me quickly bring my, my book. Just one and, and while she she's doing beautifully. While she's doing that, um, it's so wonderful for us to remind people that next week is Ram Naomi where we will have Dipti coming from Egypt because he actually attended the Pran Pratista. We want to know more about Ram Bhajans, Ram Kirtan, Ram Stuti, Ram Affinity, Ram with Diwali, Ram with Sitaji, Ram with Hanumanji, anything to do with Ram Naomi, we want to know. So if you are part of it or you are you got affinity to Ram Naomi, um, just please connect to either Vaishali or Ridhi or Amrita, or if there's a specific time zone, just text me a message, please. Let's bring in Mita. Maybe uh, one of the scholar singer you had, he did very well. Maybe you can ask him if some students wants to join, maybe we allocate them particular half an hour where multiple can come. So Nita, make a note of it and come back to it uh, very fast. Riti, get all your team that loves that. Dr. Lakshmi Vyas, uh, ask our European team, whoever has got the message from Ram Naomi, let's bring them and let's celebrate again because now with the Ayodhya temple opening and whatever the promotion did, we need to promote that as well. Vaishali, over to you. Yeah, um, like Seema said that we are going to have Chaitri Navratra um, from Tuesday and uh, so this is uh, from a Saptashati, Durga Saptashati, Argala Stotra. And uh, I think, uh, is it okay, Seema? Can I recite that? I story? love Argala Stotra. So this is one of my most favorite one because this is uh, for Lakshmi, Mahalakshmi. And uh, I think it, too. it's all about prosperity. Healing our earth brings prosperity in everybody's life. So may healing our earth bring all the prosperity in everybody's life. And uh, here... It begins. Jayanti Mangala Kali Bhadra Kali Kapalini Durga Kshama Shiva Dhatri Swaha Swadhana Mostute Jayatvam Devi Chamunde Jaya Bhutarti Harini Jaya Sarvagate Devi Kale Ratri Namostute Madukaita Bavidravi Vidatru Varede Namaha Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi Mahisha Sure Mirinashi Bhakta Nam Sukhade Namaha Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi Rakta Bija Vade Devi, Chanda Munda Vinashini, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Shumbhasya Ivani Shumbhasya, Dumrakshasya Chamardini, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Vanditangi Druge Devi, Sarva Saubhagya Daini, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Achintya Rupa Charite, Sarva Shatru Vinashini, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Natepya Sarva Dabhatya, Chandi Keduri Tapahe, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Stuvat Pyo Bhakti Purvatvam, Chandi Kevya Dinashini, Rupam Dehi Jayam Dehi, Yasho Dehi Dvisho Jahi, Chandi Kesatatam Yetva, Machayanti Habakti Taha, 
रूपम देहि जयम देहि यशो देहि द्विशो जहि देहि सौभाग्यम आरोग्यम देहि मे परमम सुखम रूपम देहि जयम देहि यशो देहि द्विशो जहि विदेहि द्विशताम नाशम विदेहि बलमुच्च कैहि रूपम देहि जयम देहि यशो देहि जिशो जहि ओम महालक्ष्मी नम ओम महालक्ष्मी नम ओम महालक्ष्मी नम वेरी वेल डन वैशाली कम्प्लीटली स्वयं स्वयं एंड शी वॉज एक्चुअली माइमिंग टू यू कम्प्लीटली सो रिधि वेल डन आई एम ग्लैड दैट इवन यू आर पार्ट ऑफ दिस दैट यू नो what we are now going to do we are going to close the session now we are going to do something unusual today as soon as i unmute you you are the next person to sing this and you are going to do one om one gayatri mantra okay just one but each one of you will do one vaishali you will do the last one with om shanti shanti till i close the session okay so when you are unmuted you are on and while while whoever is singing and if you are unmuted that means you are the next one okay so ridhi you are starting one gayatri mantra over to you om om dhur dhurva swaha tat savidur varniyam pargo divasya dinahi Tiyo yo na prachodaya. Om pur bhuvasvaha tat savitur varenyam. भर्गो दीमहि दियो यो प्रचोदया ओम भूर् भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो दीमहि दियो यो न प्रचोदया भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो दीमहि धीयो यो न प्रचोदया भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यं प्रचोद neel ji me uh, just the way seema was asking for uh, uh, ya yeah, devi sarva bhut shri just the gayatri mantra please okay. we are finishing the series thank you all right om bhoy bhavasa tasamitamani niyam something went wrong okay don't worry we'll come back to you see my your turn oh go va swaha tat savitur vareniyam har ko devasya dimai deyo yo na प्रचोदया 
Okay, Vaishali, you can do the full three one and then Om Shanti Shanti. When we are private, we listen to uh, uh, Vini and maybe uh, Mita is somebody as well. So Vaishali, over to you and officially we close it. Om Bhur Bhuvasvaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo deva sadi mahi Dio yo nah racho daya Om bur bhuvasvaha Tat savitur varenyam Bargo deva sadi mahi Dio yo na racho daya Om bur bhuvasvaha Tat savitur varenyam Bargo deva sadi mahi Dio yo na racho daya